Welcome to the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. If you like a lot of wrestling on your YouTube, join our cult. Hello and welcome to the return of the killer throbbing Cultaholic <laughs> Wrestling Podcast. You're listening to the dulcet tones of Mafu, joined by the A team, the Monday Night Raw of Cultaholic themselves. Yes, the draft's been finished, they're back. Jack and Ross, healthy ish. Well, eh. <laughs> I've recently had a little bit of a cold, but it's not too bad, and I'm getting over it. That's good to hear. Pat. I might as well pretend I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin, Matthew. In 2001, you'd be the audience, right? So I've had, right, the flu. What? what? An ear infection. What? what? Another ear infection. What? what? Sinusis infection. What? what? Tonsillitis. What? what? That's it. What? Uh, oh, that's good. Didn't even rehearse that. It was yeah, good, that. Well, yeah. <laughs> been a I remember my line. A few, fun few weeks, but we're back. I'm glad to hear that you've uh, you're on the mend at least oh. because Jesus. Well, the reckless down to the vid. I had mucus right. obviously in the head with the vid when that happened. Apparently, it didn't clear because I was susceptible to this stuff anyway. Uh. It's all happened at once. So thank you, COVID. You are the and gift that, was, that keeps and that on was ages ago, that as well. Yeah, yeah that was oh, the week yeah. before WrestleMania. I had COVID. Wow. It's the only proper long-term booking in the world now. <laughs> Bloody long COVID. So mm. yeah. lovely. Oh, well, I can speak for everyone uh, that is listening and watching this. Oh, no, the brother Adam was here, man. The brother Adam was here. (laughs) Yeah, because he knows that he's going to say something that he's not supposed to say. They're going, I'm not supposed to say that, Uh, and then leave it in anyway. You're more professional than that, so... (laughs) I think I think it's a bit of a like a novelty when Adam turns up. It's like the like the Puerto Rico crowd. It's like, whoa, it's here, the wrestling's here, but they know what they know what the real where the real you know what I'm trying to say. Every comment, <laughs> shame Adam is not here. I was getting used oh, to Adam being God. here. I miss Adam. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it's like when the wig, it's like when the wiggles oh. placed that blow and then the original guy came back like no it's him. Oh Jack, how are you feeling? God, I'm all right, Matthew. Yeah, Shambea Halla, as they say. What a what a guy Bad Bunny is. That's I'm talking about wrestling, what am I doing? How are you? It's you all right? What are you doing? Yeah. yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, good. Ugh. Get this smell of wrestling right off me. Yeah, I know. Nah, I'm relatively healthy. I've been doing more exercise and stuff like that because long COVID's been beating me up. So I've been walking around like Victor Meldrew. It's only the first week <laughs> oh, yes. proper I've had oh. too much energy where I'm like, I can't go to bed yet. Mm. My body's picked up the tempo. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, I've been getting into my, it's uh, the cycling now. Nice. It's really boring at times, but quite nice to stick on in the back in the background if you're doing a bit of like... Rather like our award-winning or... segment, Tubman in Japan. It's kind of like Tubman in Japan because it's got bikes and it's soothing in a way. And um, I've joined a fantasy cycling website because what? I'm doing so badly in the office fantasy league compared to, like I've really fallen off after the past few years um, that I've signed I've signed up for this game where you pick cyclists and hope to score your points. So that's been my week so far. The Giro d'Italia is on, which is like the Tour de France, right. but in Italy, and it's been a thriller minute. Last uh, last yesterday, one of my riders crashed because a dog ran in the way. <laughs> it's really oh class. well now you've really sold yeah, it yeah 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 stuff can just happen the dog was fine the dog got out of the way that's the most important yeah, yeah. thing like, did you get knocked off the bike because the dog was in front of the bike it was a man and um oh, oh yeah he, sorry <laughs> it's all right and <laughs> <laughs> he uh he swerved to avoid it and there was a bit of a backlog and no one was seriously hurt the dog didn't have like was wearing armor that said like viva italia on it or <laughs> well now from just a few twitter accounts i've followed in the subreddit and that there's already Immediately, there's jokes like, did so-and-so's rival pay the dog to... I've watched too much wacky races. Yeah, yeah. It's all I'm thinking of is like, that's a setup. It's a stunt dog. But that's been my my week anyway. We do talk about funny animals on this show. Well, I did when I had Hall of Fame mania uh, a while ago. Just to get out of the way, um, the sad news, Long Boy the Duck has passed away. Oh, well, I just saw that Long Boy (laughs) disappeared. But now Long Boy has passed away. Has a body been found? Are these two separate stories? What do you mean, disappeared? What's going all on I got, here? All I got told, <laughs> my good friend, listener of the podcast, a big fan, Matt McKnight, who's from Philadelphia mm. and hates me talking about how Philadelphia fans stink, uh, said, oh, sorry to tell you this, long boy has passed on. Oh. He wouldn't give me fake news. Do like that dog. In, in, like, oh, no. uh, I clicked on the link and it took me to like, I'm not sure if it was Matt's link, but I clicked on a link and it took me to like. Ah, ha, 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 ha. ITV says, university plans memorial to tall duck feared dead. Oh, missing. And he's here today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Don't fall off. So, Cocaine Bear took him out. Oh, I guess right. something now. Yeah, all right. Be it dead, boy. though. There's hope. There's, there's still him. hope. Long boy might not be long gone. Mm. Yes. Might that's come it. back. That's it. That's the happy thought going through this podcast. In the news this week, 
that isn't related to Longboy. A different type of Longboy was Brock Lesnar. Uh, news on him bleeding. Then to be backlash. Uh, as we all know, bleeding is not really looked on in a positive way in WWE. Now they've gone PG three years ago now, it's just expected. Brock Lesnar apparently is all right to bleed. He's okay with bleeding. He's just not allowed to bleed. So that's why whenever he does bleed, it's <laughs> always why? hard way. Wow. Which that's, I think is a really good way of getting around that. That's more dangerous. Probably. Imagine just going yeah. backstage after. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> what about like Can you it? believe it happened again? <laughs> I can't believe I rammed my head into the turnbuckle again. That's worse. That's yeah. way worse. It's good the way he does it, though, because he sort of does it and then goes like that. He, like, rakes at the same oh. time. He's like Shawn Michaels at Hell in a Cell back in the day, but yeah. without the blade. He, we, oh, he takes yeah. the, the slingshot the, thing. Yeah. slingshot, yeah. yeah. Whoop, mid oh. there, there was no reason for Shawn Michaels to do that. <laughs> He's just, just because showing he off. could. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, WWE rejected Wembley Stadium as host of Clash of the Castle. The news that they were offered, but they were they were offered more money to hold the event at the Principality Stadium. Oh. So I think they'll just put that news out there to go. No, we could have run there, but we had a better offer. Oh. As if Wembley Stadiums, you know. Yeah, argue, well, it's it's much more prestigious than the Millennium Stadium, whatever it's called now, the Principality. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Although it seemed to be a, I mean, well, I didn't go, so I don't know, but it seemed to make it more memorable from an outside perspective, Cardiff. You remember it being the one that happened in Cardiff. Right. Whereas London hosts loads of, not maybe not wrestling events, like, but loads of stuff. I get you. Yeah. It seemed like it that there was something to do with the, the Welsh Tourism Board or something, or yeah. something to do with that, which maybe wasn't there in London. So from I guess the, that sets it apart yeah. as well. So let's just say they moved me to from, a bigger castle. Uh, from the pictures I saw, I think it was of the area where you were hanging out before the thing. Oh, Tiny Rebel. It looked like there was like a bit of a, it was a good area for... There was a, a fair few pubs day. in a, sh a, sh a, sh a short space yeah. there, Ooh, just okay. over the road from the stadium. It was lovely. Mm. Like going from um, that there, the, oh my God, I've forgotten the name of the place, over the road from uh, St. James's. Shark Bar. The strawberry. Oh, right. Oh, Shark Bar, yeah. The Shark yeah. Bar at St. James's. Just to make nice everyone one. at home understand, obviously. Yeah. Uh, that, that was like tiny rebel to the, the principality. The Shark Bar. I've not been there for ages, but they tried mm. to host a wrestling event once that went badly. They did WrestleMania it was like a 2013. Party. Was it WrestleMania? And they did the thing where they ordered it via box office minutes before the thing goes on. No, it can take a while to come on. Oh. Uh, and not only that, one of the misfits, the, the guys from the band, who also, as you know, that period of wrestling history, Sorry. wrestled what? for WCW very briefly. That one, the big boy. I what think it was, yeah, because he was going, ooh, wrestling. And going, I used to be there. <laughs> and you're going, Jerry only, what are one you doing misfits, here? One of the misfits was there yeah, but, in the shark yeah, bar. Because they... You didn't have to fly over with Newcastle. The, they happened to be touring in the area. With that one. I'm not sure if you had that out for, you the know, at the event. Yeah. <laughs> it's snork. It's me. I don't recognize you. Hang on. Oh, Was that the uh, name of the cartoon back in the day? The Snorks? Uh, I, I know what you mean, heads, yeah. yeah. Oh, the Snorks. Oh, then the water ones, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This Joe Coffee this week. I will, I will get to NXT. It <laughs> oh, was all over the, the show. I've watched Welcome to Wrexham once. Yeah. <laughs> Nick and their, ch their tune. Oh, did he? Yeah, oh. the Wrexham tune. Oh. Bastard. Get. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was because Celtic won the league. Yeah. All he right. slipped it in there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Bastard. Slipped it in. You could, <laughs> you could tell Miles. He's like a 14-year-old, honestly, isn't he? <laughs> You know when you start, you have your first few cans of Fosters yeah. and you think you're a man. Is he a good, <laughs> is he a good heel? Because no. we hate what he's doing. <laughs> we hate what he's doing. It's working. He's there with, he's yeah. getting the badge in as well. It's no, pathetic. No, I'm Dahl also had the badge. Yeah. There's oh. so much Stone Island on NXT. This <laughs> week. Ridiculous. I think Sergeant yeah. Slaughter was booking. Mm. Uh, I was going to say something about Tony Atlas saying something about his shoe-like, but I realised it would get me demonetized, okay. so let's move on. Getting the blood, but he's what is shoe? He likes, he, uh, I can't know if say the word, but we're getting take money taken off his. PG you know, it. Some, uh, his shoe love, <laughs> his shoe love humbles him. Um, he's happy. A lot of wrestlers know uh, that I have what they call a love. Um, <laughs> you saw where the girl punched me in the face 50 times. I'm a very aggressive guy. My love, I have what you call a shoe love. But it's, it sounds like song lyrics, but it's non-sexual. What it does is humble <laughs> Is it now, Tony? <laughs> what it does is humble me. Ah, oh, Tony. I get a girl to play dominatrix. That puts me in my place. That sounds sexual. <laughs> and it humbles me. Right. When I first started wrestling, the old timers used to say, if you're not strange, you're in the wrong business. You can't argue with that. But the again, the best news person in the business, Andrew Kelly, has put, so if you're an aspiring professional wrestler and not quite finding the success you want, go out there and find yourself a love. What? <laughs> 
Right. Well, thanks for including that in the news. So it was a very quiet week this week, honestly, because all the news is talking about like in the wrestling section. So it's just the uh, stuff like Joe Janela making his North Wrestling debut at Thunderstruck. Mm. And we're going to have commentary between Tom Campbell and Vader Scott. Mm. This is the big show that will make or break North. Oh, wow. He'll make them, of course. Also, also Gangrel. Also, also Gangrel yeah, and Scotty yeah. Duhotty. You may have heard of them. Yeah, yeah. Tickets on sale. And finally, again, it's been a quiet uh, week for news. Booker T confirms he ordered from TGI Friday oh, during WNXT. Got I Palmo, didn't he? Booker T, to quote him, <laughs> it was the end of the show. The show was over. That had nothing to do with me. Right. <laughs> I don't know why he said it like that. <laughs> I am not the master of time. <laughs> the show was actually over, by the <laughs> Two way. Two hours had passed. I didn't go, show's over, I'm hungry. I knew I was going to be exiting the building <laughs> shortly afterwards. I wanted my meal hot and ready to go when I got there. Yeah. I got chicken Palmo from Friday's. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only time we'll hear Booker T and Quick Delivery is hey. in the same page. In America... That's all I've got this week, sorry. In America, are Palmo's less... They're looked at differently, aren't they, than they are over here? Because over here, it's like the ultimate drunk. A lot of British wrestling people look at Italian food differently Whereas over here than they do in America. Over there, don't they go... Oh. I think that was subtle enough. Yeah. yeah, they do. It's chicken... Well, obviously, he's admitting to it. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh no! Carry on. Let's it's door dash out of this segment. Yeah. yeah. Oh my word. Shut the doors. I thought you meant about me in the restaurant and try not doing that and all that. Well, clearly you're the other end of the scale. Though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can't get him. Stay away from me. He's obviously been to the Tony Atlas school. Okay. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a love for find, chicken parmo. Find yourself that love, and you'll be fine, no matter what happens. Oh. Up the pizzas. Up the pizzas. Yeah, not too pizzas, far. Though. Yeah. No, to a moderate degree. I have a woman dressed up as a pizza and it humbles me. <laughs> <laughs> Next segment. A domino is a trick. Oh! <laughs> Back of the net. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, uh, Tubman in Japan. No! Yes! <laughs> Tubman in Japan. Come on! Yes! Yes, that's why we're here. The rest of the podcast <laughs> crap. It's Awful. <laughs> Ross has to get away <laughs> soon. So it's going to be really funny if he stays for, you know, the crap news bit. <laughs> Tumblr and Japan Hall of Fame and then leave for the wrestling. <laughs> anyway, here we see uh, Fuji rest day. When he gets back, we absolutely have to have him on for the final edition of Just a wrap up of what happened. <laughs> but it wouldn't be Tubman in Japan. What is Tubman on Japan <laughs> yeah. by the end? Tubman was <laughs> in yeah. Japan. <laughs> anyway, Look at the oh, oh, he's gone straight down the corner Hang shop. On, yeah, he's oh, no. just Wolverine, the, the waiters, handing them out. Oh, why is he in the thirds? That's odd behavior. Know, so right? aesthetically pleasing, though. No, is no. it? I, no, would, even... I would say so in an off kilter way, but you might just your mileage may vary. That salad looks like it's gone off a little bit. Oh. Or is that just because we've got a little bit of a hue on the screen while you're looking at here? You might have put a filter on. Looks a bit yellow. Mm. That's a lemon. <laughs> But look at that sticky sauce. It's so sticky, it's sticking to the side of the bowl. Mm. It tipped upside down. Oh. oh, The most wrestling I've done on rest day so far. Just sat around, took in some sun, and ate some chain restaurants. The life, eh. Mm. Big uphill day tomorrow. Going back up to the Five Lakes area for the first time since I went last Five year Lakes, during eh? a typhoon. Whoa. I told him I loved him as Shockmaster. Yeah. <laughs> it's meant to rain tomorrow, so maybe I'm just never meant to experience that area dry. <laughs> Look at that. You don't get that oh, over here. No. Do you? Look at how in line everything oh, is. Oh, wow. Fuji Five Lakes is a region at the base of Mount Fuji. Oh, it's oh. picturesque. It's like Durham. This is one of the lakes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It's like Kiel de Reservoir. Yeah, it is. <laughs> the name This Fuji. is the second lake. Oh, uh, it's Mount uh, Fuji. Uh. Is that the only mountain over there? I don't know. It's the one, isn't it? It's the iconic It's one. massive. But they, I think there's two smaller mountains near it. They wouldn't need any more mountains with that mountain. Look at that. Look at the clouds coming off the top of that thing. Is it clouds or is it steam? Is it a volcano? I don't know. It's wearing a hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's a court it's judge. Expect, it's ex <laughs> <laughs> go back. Go back. Go back. <laughs> <laughs> I said that you to never leave the country of Japan and God. bore this podcast forever. I can't believe Mount Fuji's getting roasted on this episode of the podcast. Well, well, last week we had to come up with stuff because... Because it just Pachidi insisted it the on best? doing them oh, all okay. over. God, so we're doing so voices good, for Fuji. The mountain who doesn't talk. Oh. Lovely little boats there. There's a peddler. There's Andrew <laughs> Flint off there. Who knows? Oh. Find out soon, eh? <laughs> oh, Richard got drunk, went on a peddler by himself. Mm. Got lost. But he didn't because he uploaded the pictures, didn't he? That's a great photo. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Imagine smile, living smile there. Smile for us, Fuji. Imagine living there. Oh, you blinked. I'd have to take it again. 
God, Mount Fuji's in for a battering. It's like the thing in Japan as well. I'm a more it's got Boris Johnson here. I'm a Kilimanjaro man. Myself. Oh, yeah. right. That's a great name, man. Speaking of great names, Matthew, I wrote down what he's been doing this past week, and I want you to pronounce every single word. Are you going to delay oh, it? Are you right? Yeah. The that ratio on that curry's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Fuji, fresh day. Fuji to ya oh, Yamanako. Do we have to Yama do Yamanako. this? Go on, Ray. Ya Yamanako to Kamoroka. Kamoroka to Enoshima. What? Kamo <laughs> Kamo Kamakura to Ka Kamagawa. What? Kamagawa to Sakura. What? Sakura to Sukaba. What? Sukaba to ear infection. What? <laughs> that's what he's been doing uh, this past week. Oh, why does it always that's, rain that's on the cover of the Oasis album? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Fuji Speedway. 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 Oh. Is that like motorbike like racing? More like slow way with the rain today, like. <laughs> Actually, breaking distances are increased with rain. You know? They said I couldn't come up here, but I'd pretend I couldn't understand them. How That's long? How long? Probably the end of the segment. Yeah, I fell off. I've broken both my ankles. Are they building a the bridge there? That looks exciting. Looks now like they're pretending new, they don't understand me. Brand new bridge there, potentially. Wow. All the best of them. And he's going to come around and it's going to be a bridge. Like, remember that area I saw when I broke my ankles? Look at those sedimentary rocks on that, on that riverbed. What's going oh. on? What are the other types of rocks? Um, um, hard, soft. Big, small, That's exactly what I want. Yes, round, the soft rock. Jagged. <laughs> this is like <laughs> soft rock. It's like, it's Pop. Like, it's like avant garde Black podcasting. Cool. How obscure and weird can we get and still keep people? You know? Is that a jacket potato or a large we're scotch egg? Like, we're like Radiohead. No, we're changing the you. game of podcasting. I went to the shop window and I said, Is that a. <laughs> Finish the segment, Matthew. <laughs> I'm just, no, it is rich. I want Richard to give me some Japanese cuisine here because this looks like I could have bought this at Rinkton's. You know, when the van comes around, oh, we want a chocolate tea cake there, love. Oh, yeah, I'll have one, please. Yeah, I could buy that off Rinkton's, Richard. <laughs> Where's the Japanese cuisine? Whoa! <laughs> no. That was good. A thousand miles an hour, and Richard's managed to capture it right in the center of frame. That's yeah. what this segment's all about. <laughs> you don't get photography like that anywhere else, do you? No. Come over. No. I can't. I'm busy. My parents aren't there. <laughs> Me. Right. Please. What's next, Joel? No, right. Hey, hey, no. More food. Joel, end it. How do you eat rice with chopsticks, though? The clumps together. Is it clump oh, is it yeah, sticky yeah, rice? Sticky That's rice. fair. Yeah. That's good, yeah. Oh, it's individual rice. I'll take it well. I was going to say, yeah. I, nice. I drink my soup with chopsticks. Nice to say that potential fishy dish cut up into a lovely little pieces for Richard, like he's a child. <laughs> How many? I, how asked if they could, I asked if they could put it on the ship so it looked like a bear's face, <laughs> and they declined. Oh, Joe, already three days ago. We've got more days to go. No, yet. no, <laughs> no. <laughs> cool. He's in Slough now, apparently, with those buildings. Good. Oh, lovely stairs. He's seen a thousand. Looks he must like be a, sick wow. of these, Richard. Looks like a Tony Hawk's level when you, he's done his grinding <laughs> on those two things, so I've got his colour. <laughs> oh, oh, more, more ringstons. <laughs> more ringstons. Ringstings. Ringstings. <laughs> no, I can't. Rings. I've had that before. Is anyway. that some sort of bready pudding? I don't oh know. Oh, my God. Oh, wow, Richard. Oh, yeah. I think the thing, I think the problem with this segment <clears> that <throat> always makes me on edge is that it's assumed that Richard makes us do this, and he really doesn't. No. And there's a lot of animosity, I feel like, towards Richard from Matthew, <laughs> as if he's commanded him to do these segments, and he's never once asked us to. Who is it? Someone told me the other day that there was a comment last Ooh. week that uh, people didn't know why this was a thing on the podcast, and someone had to explain, like, Richard used to work here for a long time. <laughs> Oh, yeah, the new viewers. <laughs> the new viewers. I hadn't thought we had to catch up, people. <laughs> They'll be like, well, who is this guy? You know, in OSW, you mentioned Neo, who like was on the first two oh, episodes of OSW. Yeah. If you didn't know that. Oh, my God. From your reaction there, I thought he'd done something or something had happened to him. But no, it, oh, fair enough. I just wasn't expecting to hear Neo from OSW. Right, I'm, an OG, I'm an OG. I'm an OG. Yeah, wow. yeah. What is that? Don't know. Some sort of chicken wing with some sort of How cream. Is this all on the one post, or have you been going through the post? Oh, he's got a week's worth here. No, come on. No, let's just the on. We've been oh, waiting. Oh, upturned boat. Mount We've... Fuji again. Yeah. You can't get rid of it. <laughs> Hello. I was in the first OSW review. All right, Fuji, whatever. Uh, Joe, we were, we've just been going on till you stopped. If you keep on clicking, this will never please end. Stop, stop, please stop. We've still got a few more days Joel, to go, lads. Joel, we stop. can't end it Joel, like this. We need stop. to find out where he's been. Joel, Look at stop. that bitch. <laughs> Come on, Joel. Let's go. Wow, it's a plain bready bread. It's quarter past two. A it's quarter past two at the time of recording. Ross has to be away by plain five. Plain bun. Or by six. He's gone to the other side of the world for a plain <laughs> bun. Oh, Looks like England. Oh, I'm, I'm finished now. I, well, I reckon the lawnmower was a bit drunk when he made <laughs> this. Like, Is that Jeff Hardy's garden? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to look Japanese tourists. Have you heard of Jeff Hardy? <laughs> <laughs> Try to avoid him. Uh, go on next. <sighs> 
Come on, Joel. Yes. Yay, a telephone pole. Right, that's it. I'm calling it. <laughs> Everybody get excited for the Cultaholic Hall of Fame. Ah, the Hall of Fame, which only involved me last week. In condescending order from last week. Oh, I remember now, yes. The never-ending property on right move, 21%. That threw me off then. Yes, this was some person's advert for the property they're trying to sell, but they decided to do it in the style of a karaoke video. I'm not sure if this got us demonetized last week because it was a song that sounded a lot like Never Ending Store. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. But it's like Never Ending Property. Lots of rooms. And oh. it was going all right, going, okay, this is kind of out there. I get you, yeah. At one point, they were looking through this massive place and just with no warning whatsoever or no explanation, they had two giant rats wearing outfits. I haven't been stood up real, in the room. Real ones? No, like oh, big they've toy. they in. Oh, right. No, okay. oh, yeah, real like toy rats, but they're just there like, mm. here's the table, Sounds here's the like... doors, here's the stuffed rats that you have to pay tribute to. <laughs> was this Fraser's pick? It was, yes. Ah, fair enough. So third place. Slap a song on anything and Fraser will choose it. He loves a musical. Does he? Yeah. Well, the fans didn't agree. <laughs> third place, AEW Dark, which second, is my pick, 29%. Place. Well, how bug is that? Because I had the idea of, well, you know, we're doing this thing last so week. With Matthew Jack. did the equivalent of an Oscar win nominee printing off their speech before winning and not of course. winning. Of course. I'll or just like, skip the bit You know then. when like Ian Wright broke no, the goal scoring record? Apparently he had that vest on and anything. Oh, he, he yeah. He revealed his like whatever, however many goals. But it had been like a month since yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the last scored. So yeah, you've done that. Best one of that was... Uh, Pete Rose. The baseball he, player. Yeah, yeah. He wore like five jerseys or something. So when he was like getting up to breaking the record. So when he did, he could sell five of them. It was like the jersey I wore so, when, <laughs> I, when I broke the record. I've read a bit about Pete Rose because I didn't know when he got involved with wrestling. He seems yeah. like one of the greatest baseball players of all time. He is. But he's also a the carny. biggest scam artist in, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. still... He may one day get in the Hall of Fame, but... He's not in the Baseball Hall of Fame, despite no, no, being like because, one of the greatest ever, yeah. Yeah, because he... Yeah. He still says that he doesn't. He didn't bet on mm. him to lose. He always bet on him to win, but it doesn't always look like that was the case. But mm. whatever, I think, anyway. It's, also, it's a weird case. Barry Bonds has hit the most home runs ever, but he's not getting in the Hall of Fame because, because he may have had artificial help. That's one of these things. He, he, yeah, yeah. Oh. That entire period is just a steroid era. It's crazy. <laughs> when you see a baseball player from that era, they look like Godzilla. Yeah. Like, have you seen Jose Canseco? I can't believe oh this man God. was on steroids. <laughs> yeah, hurry. Yeah, no. yeah, it's it's so similar to wrestling in terms of the sleaziness in the 90s. Yeah. And That's England. what I think AW Collision should be. Any wrestler who wants to be on steroids, <laughs> yeah, yeah. go to Collision, mm. and we know you're on them and it's fine. Yeah. Let's see how high you can throw about the person. <laughs> Let's see how far the human yeah. body can go. If you want to be clean, <laughs> stick to dynamite. It's fine. Yeah. One thing you will not collide with is a drug test. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully you will collide with the moon. Uh, so my thing was going to be, just a segue into going, well, last week we had, uh, because <clears> of that, thing that guy in the podcast has where he insists on not going to the Italian. I bought oh, the I bought guy. the Italian to Puppet Jack. <laughs> okay. And he had a laptop and he had a big bag of pasta about me mm. for the flat for ages. Because not be pasta in ages. And I was gonna say, well AW Dark, we've just got an Italian person to it's have a Puppet Jack to picture a Taz. Uh, Is that meant to be striped that? It no, looks, it printed off weird. <laughs> it looks yeah it's, it's wearing the older way strip oh, in wow. Newcastle. Oh my god. I don't know why. I think it actually works really well. So yeah, it does. there Taz, you go. Taz Puppet, has been to Jack Wills in Durham. <laughs> Puppet Jack and oh no Taz. <laughs> well, blown uh, over by this reception. Well that worked. Adam's method of drying 50%. Right so Fraser oh. explained this to me and I thought if this is Adam's pick then it will win but it shouldn't. It's not Adam's method either. It's just universal. No, it's not. That's where I disagree. I do it. Do you as well? I For people who didn't watch the podcast like last down. week, it is as Ross has demonstrated with his hands and <laughs> noises, <laughs> like he's an eight-year-old shooting sticks at someone. Or is a that... big Star Wars fan, right? That's of what course, I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do. Is it, you have a shower, shower stops. You get your hand, you actually just Thanks get rid of the water. <laughs> I'm setting the scene. People are shutting their eyes going, all right, I'm ready. And you do that, then you dry off, rather right. than just go immediately from... Because it gets the all the excess off. And I asked why this is done, and Fraser or Ross maybe, one of them said to stop the towel getting wet. 
And I was like, well, then what is the towel's purpose? Sodden, I think, What's is the, the difference. Okay, oh, right, okay. It gets damp, obviously, because you still it's are a, a bit wet, but you just get all the excess it's drips. Meant off, to, it's meant to get wet. It's a towel. I think you can use it the next day. Oh, right, yeah. It doesn't start smelling. Less, less <laughs> washes needed in this cost of living crisis. Exactly. Oh, more environmentally absolutely. friendly. Fair yeah, enough. So we have your one shower a week, because that's what we can afford. <laughs> you get the most out of it. Right. Well, it's not... I don't think it's worth winning the Hall of Fame. And I suggest that if, if I'd done it, for example, it wouldn't have won the Hall of Fame. I like to, I like to agree with you. It does say Adam's method of drying. Does it? Oh, well. Oh, oh, well, yeah, well, yeah. I've yeah. been doing that since at least 2009. So, you know, maybe <laughs> it's mine. Yeah, well, It's yeah. not mine. Everyone, yeah. most people do. I don't do yeah, that. Well, well done, Adam, for discovering that in 2009. But uh, then uh, maybe I should do it and I'll have to wash towels less. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Well, at least we learned something. How long do you use a towel for, Matthew? Ooh. If you do do the... Until I'm dry. I mean, no, no, no is it like, before you wash it. How many days? Yeah. How many days do you get out of a bath towel? Ooh. It's hard to tell because you've got several in rotation, don't you? So you, yeah. you lose track yeah, a little it. bit of... Yeah, I go on. I've, my, I've got mine in an order, though. Oh, nice. Yeah. I've, got, I've got green, black, green, black. Oh. Degenerate. I've got two sh- words for you. <laughs> towel time. <laughs> Oh it's God! Time. It every time I can't do that. I can't do Adam's method of dry oh until you do an X Pax. Oh, please release towel time merch. I'll buy it. <laughs> the King of Rock. I'm just the King of Rock. Who? Matthew blazed off his face on weed. <laughs> Don't forget to bring a towel. <laughs> Two towels in the room, green and oh, black, swinging them around. That's bringing three so bags. Good. Three bags of me to AW all in. Why is that? Well, it's got me towels. <laughs> <laughs> just imagine going for a piss in the urinal and someone's the burst pipes happened I've got you ah, I yeah, knew this would happen <laughs> go Tuesday looks like you got some towel love there Matthew in the words of Tony Atlas <laughs> but does not go that far no. how does Egyptian cotton feel on you I need to shine a towel right now I'll t- go off sheer smell that's, how I, that's my barometer for if it's towel a bit changing musty. Yeah. yeah right yeah. Yeah. Imagine yeah. That fir- the first one on the face don't go <laughs> Then you got to change the towel. Absolutely. The way, the way it, it mine, our bathroom doesn't have any windows. So once you've had a shower, you need to leave the door open. Yep. So yeah, yeah, yeah. If you forget to leave the door open, it's game over. The towels are going to need to be washed. So you need to leave the, the door open after a shower. You leave your towels in the bathroom? Depends. But well, sometimes I'll take it out of the bathroom with around me. And then that's fine. But then the Hello, other t- but then ladies. some of the other towels that are just hanging there will then get just because of all the humidity in the room. This is thrilling. <laughs> really good discussion. Yeah. You're like, can we, can we please go back to Japan? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Uh, you uh, are. What Rich is doing for a towel situation? <laughs> oh, He's no. on the move that much, and the towel will take up a lot of room in his bag. Is yeah, he just good? You, you get surf really quick in Japan places. where you don't shower for three months. I was going to say, when you stay places, the towel is generally part of the stay, isn't it? Well, I don't trust hotel towels. Do you know? Yeah. Do you know? I like to take my own, yeah. Oh, really? Mm. At least, like, at least any hotel, it's your right? own, I guess. Yeah. No, no. I'm like, that's half the appeal of going for a hotel. I don't even need to bring better, a They're normally better quality towels as well. Like, ooh. Okay. <laughs> Hang on, sorry, the, the window's open. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dangerous game, I find. Oh. I reckon the cleaners would use the towels to clean the rooms. No. Well, like clean the mop. bathroom, yeah. Like, it's a mop, yeah. Yeah, but they're always, they're always like, white as hell. Like, mm. like they die in there. <laughs> <laughs> I could use another towel. Instead, I'm going to use this one, then dye it white. <laughs> yes. That makes sense in my head. <laughs> anyway, anyway. <laughs> the love of God, what is your Hall of Fame pick? Is it me first, is it? It is. Um, I'm going to go for something really impressive I saw while I was out on the town this past Ooh. weekend. I was in Filthy Muck Nasties, right? Mm. A classy establishment. Ah, yes. You've got live music up above. Yep. You've got different live music down below. There was a lady... And she took my breath away because she got a cup. I wish I brought the cup with me. Now I forgot to do it. Your basic like, you know, just what what you get a double vodka lemonade in oh, yeah, that yeah. sort of cup, thin, very circular, quite narrow. You know, plastic. What I mean. No glass. Glass. And she took this oh. cup, and in her inspector gadget coat she was wearing, <laughs> she put this cup on her head. She then got down into a presser position. Press up with the cup still on her head. She then stood up. She walked around. You know when you go into filthies, you got that little like bit that's raised with yeah. the little, yeah. She walked up there. She came down. And then she did. And the last time I checked, this was the correct terminology for it. She slut dropped <laughs> with the cup on her head and it didn't leave her head. What? And it was one of the most impressive things wow. I have seen did in all my days. Did the cup have liquid in it? Yeah, it did. What? She was playing. Such a dangerous game. And I think she that's her party trick because obviously she had the Inspector Gadget coat on mm. just in case, you know, bit of a spillage. Take the coat off, mm. you're fine, aren't you? Got those Was hotel she... towels to soak it up. <laughs> she wasn't 
But a performer at Filthy Mary. No, no, she's just, just a punter. Just, just walking about. Yeah, walking well, around. Oh, have... I thought she was a cocktail person. No, no, no. Have, like, have you just seen these TikTok cocktail people doing it? Did she have like you know? mates cheering her on? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. People with the phones out and whatnot. They're like, oh, look, she knew, some people knew what was coming. I didn't. And oh. I was unbelievable. Okay. I That's wish I had a thing that. to describe how, do you know what I mean? Listen, like a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? Wow. I couldn't keep that there just to stand still. And she's doing all that. Mightily impressive. Yeah. Right Wow. Genuine talent. Do you have any video footage? No. Oh. You just have to imagine. Okay. Okay. Oh. Go to bed tonight, close your eyes, think about Lady and in Inspector is. Gadget Coat. Yeah. Walking over my face. Oh, sorry, Tony. Um, yeah, that's nice. When I went to field these last, I did it with the insane clown posse. <laughs> Looking for somewhere to drink after their gig at the Riverside. That's so we went up to there. really mad because I've been to Filthies with Alphantasma. That's no, it's insane. Oh, yeah. oh, wait, was that the night? Ha. Oh, so, no, okay. yeah. so we had to leave Filthies because Alphantasma got embarrassed because he was bending down to like tie his shoe or something and a shot girl tripped over his outstretched leg and spilled oh. all her shots. And then they sort of looked at each other and she was like, right then. And he was like, sorry. And then... Like, she went off in a huff, like, because she'd spilt all of her shots. But it wasn't either person's fault. It was just one of those things. And then he went to me, like, can we go somewhere else, please? <laughs> I was like, oh. Um, he also got told off for dancing on a platform. And the bouncer was like, get down. And I thought he was going to hurricane rana him. But he didn't. He just <laughs> he just got down. No, hey, if you want to do that, you could put a drink on your head. It was St. Patrick's Day. I remember that. Oh, well. So it was, it was busy as well when this girl tripped over his foot. Like, it was there was not room. And um, at first I thought, because he was a heel at the time, <laughs> I thought he was oh, going to be right. like an arsehole about it, but he was genuinely very sorry oh. and felt awkward. And I thought, even cool people have awkward moments, and that's all right. How are the insane clown posse? Who's your favorite one? Is it Violent J or is it oh, Shaggy 2 Dope? Yeah, you can. It's Vampiro, okay, isn't it? Okay, yeah, Violent yeah. J. Oh, no, he's part of the Deadpool, <laughs> that's right. Uh, Violent J was cool because uh, the woman was playing uh, the music, and then it's awkward, isn't it? Because I don't always appreciate the there so there was just she finished a song and then there was like she finished and then him and uh, the other one just turned around and went hey! oh, like that and it's like nice. oh yeah there was a human being playing yeah. like I'm just ignoring the hell out of them so it was nice I, like, I have to ask the question about the insane clown posse now were they in the clown makeup no at that time of night they'd finished so they'd mopped up I like with a hotel they, towel I like to think they like live in the, I don't think I've ever seen them without it yeah anyway. they, they, they just look like lads okay Violent J had one of the, he had a whole load of little symbol tattoos and stuff like that, and like various things here. One like like a little cut here sign there. Ha ha ha. He had the little symbol that you see on um, the labels of shirts that says "Only wash a certain way." <laughs> <laughs> they have odd lads, aren't they? Oh, they were lovely. Such a following. The lovely J and they have a <laughs> nice. Live <laughs> one. Shaggy too nice. Shaggy too nice. There we go. Have you ever been to the festival they have? No, so it looks good. so scary. It might be easier to go there than play Hellfest. Or, Sam keeps on download. saying that he wants to go and like do a documentary there, and I'm like, I don't want to. Do no, 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 no cameras. Yeah. I'm there, no cameras. <laughs> <laughs> like going to Benidorm. <laughs> so uh, second place. Oh, it's me. Well, I'm going to pick a really nice, obvious one this week. Uh, Puerto Rican fans. Yeah, okay. mine. Well, you got the Hall of Fame. Uh... You bloody lovely gets. We have been sat here on our laurels for too long. I think the UK, no, not us. The Irish crowd. No, I, 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 I say North American and... crowds. They're the issue. They're boring. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. I'm saying like the fans, like the European uh, influence. Used to say that the day after WrestleMania, didn't we? And there's everyone chanting. We used to be so proud of how loud we were over here when we had the big shows and stuff like that. Hasn't been any, in quite some time. And even when we are at our loudest and chantiest. <sighs> I like, even on our best day, I always we see, couldn't even compete with Puerto Rico's I see ferocity. Telling us off on Twitter, saying chance ruined the wrestling. Shut up, man. Who said? No, that's that? not true. The old, the old Americans. Uh, though. <laughs> the old, no the offense Americans, to any Americans listening. No, all the offense. But all the offense. Yeah, you need to try harder. We're also, different to you. I never, know, I never know how to. Uh, so apparently, we pronounce it Puerto Rico, but in America they say Puerto Rico. So. I don't know. You say tomato, yeah. I say tomato. But no, you're right. They were they they enhanced weaker elements of the show and dragged it up as a whole. Yeah, fantastic. Yeah, you bloody lovely, magnificent people. Thank you very much. And it's, uh, I was going to say, the country of Puerto Rico, no, it's a territory. I think they, told. but they've got a very strong identity. They like being, Absolutely. yeah, of course, yeah. Bad Bunny, Booker T, <laughs> Suavemente. Sua the two most Sabio famous Vega. Puerto Ricans. Logan Paul lives there, of course. Savio oh, Of Vega. course, yes. Yeah. Uh, he loves it so Sabio much Vega. for some reason. Why is he there? The Cologne. The semicolons. <laughs> uh, is that their sons? 
<laughs> yeah, Puerto Rico fans, thank mm -hmm. you very much. Mm -hmm. What have you got for us? Um, ooh. Oh, I had thought of something as well. Oh, yes. I'm going to preemptively nominate something that doesn't yet exist. Um, I'm going to okay. call my nomination AEW Collision, comma, the greatest wrestling show ever made. <laughs> because Aww. I'm a bit worried about it, but in a really funny way. I think that it's prime... Like, it's got potential for, like, a rise and fall of AEW Collision DVD. Just looking Not already, at, just before looking, it even exists. Just looking at the clues, I'm scared for it. But I can also tell that it's going to be my favorite AEW show by far. Dynamite can get in the bin. I'm an AEW Collision boy <laughs> already. Um, I am partisan AEW Collision loyalist because it looks like Punk's going to be on it. And from the clues this week, it looks like probably Miro and Thunder Rosa are going to be on it. Tony Khan may have created a, an entire new show for people who Hate him. stand up to him creatively <laughs> and he can't deal with them. So he's just gone, eh, you can all have your own I'm show. The link there, yeah. And I think that it, it'll probably start off with loads of really fun and creative ideas and then like eat itself. <laughs> it's just going to be... Un, an un, I think it's going to be an unbelievable journey, AEW Collision, and I'm really excited for the good parts and especially the bad parts too. I've been watching a lot of Trainwreck Records on YouTube that okay. goes through lots of like novelty songs and really bad albums by great artists. They talk about the last... Oh, Train Records. That's Todd it. in train, the Shadows. Train Wreck Records. Oh, train wreck. Todd no, in I'm the Shadows. Fun. Yes, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. I used to oh, think yeah, sorry, I, it's not on the channel, is it? Sorry, I, I used to pardon. think he was Bo Burnham. Really? Yeah, he's not, but... <laughs> Before Bo Burnham got that big, when Bo Burnham was still like a YouTuber, yeah, yeah. there was theories that Todd in the Shadows was Bo Burnham. Oh. Because they've got similar voices. I love that theory. And he's just, a, you don't see the bloke, he's just sat at his piano in a hoodie. Bo Burnham like, plays the piano? Bo Burnham that's plays right. the piano. Oh, that's yeah, it. Yeah. Clues are there, aren't that's they? It. Got it, Holmes. <laughs> so, he talked about CCR's last album. CCR? Cl hey. Credence? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And I've they... seen that video. Yeah, yeah. Because he started about... the other members write songs and singing that. Yeah, but it seemed to be like it seemed to be they had a bit of misunderstanding or just sick of each other. So the lead I, I, singer. Well, you called them CCR then. Didn't you yeah. not know their like second most famous song of all time? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have now. Oh, I have now because yes. of that. Yeah, because you sung this you a week. Of course. Yeah. No, this is mint. Well, yeah. Bro. Hi. <laughs> CCR. Have you ever seen the rain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, he knows it now. Yeah, no, because of you guys. I hadn't heard it before. Really? Oh, really? Yeah. Fair yeah. enough. Then I would not, and I, I know what to refer to. <laughs> it's on, I think they sing it in, or is it in Almost Famous, the film as well? Oh. Anyway. Almost there. Joel but, is looking angry. I don't think that's in Almost Famous. It's not in Almost Famous. It's not. not. Joel has confirmed. Well, Tiny Dancer is. So. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, so the, the point is, <laughs> the point is, see this long-winded thing. I'm just going to see if Chris, uh, see, uh, no, if you ever seen the rains in. I'll make this quick then. He made, it, the singer said, all right then, you guys think you're so smart, you sing this album. <laughs> and he went, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. You think you're so smart, you do it if you think you're so good. This is what this might be. Oh, Miro doesn't want to do the thing I want to do. <laughs> ha, how about you right. have a show? Yeah. Thunder Rosa, hated by everybody, mysteriously, or whatever. Uh, also, it's weird that she's been added, maybe, or sorry, the clues are, because she also did a thing this week where she said that she might not be able to bully wrestle again. So they've mm. never, ever officially said... Maybe that it was she's, a red heron, that she's, no. They've never said that she's not injured. They've always gone That's along. It's just been like Britt Baker and them going like, yeah, she's faking the injury, lads. And now she's turned up and Tony goes like, we've got a queue of wrestlers wanting to wrestle. I'm like, hang on. She's been injured. Mm. So well, who's... Jack, I watched an episode of AW Access oh. when I was off. <laughs> just sorry to, to hear that. Just to see what it was like. <clears throat> it like? was one of the worst TV shows I've ever seen. Is it manufactured? But, yeah. Okay. It's part of, yeah, there was a, the episode I saw was the episode with uh, Ty Conti and Ruby Soho having their big yeah. heated moment. Uh. The cameras were there and yeah. Um, Rip, uh, sorry, Thunder Rose is a big part of the episode and her back yeah. is shoot hurt. Just to dis dispel all the rumors really? and innuendo, yeah. Well, yeah, on the episode it is. Oh. <laughs> so the AW Access goes along with potential kayfabe. Just to put mm. that in there for balance. Yeah. She's really hurt. She couldn't okay. wrestle. She yeah. couldn't train. That's Tony right. Schiavone was having a heart to heart with Britt Baker in a booth That's in a right. restaurant. Just forget about her. You don't need Thunder Rosa. Just forget about her. Britt Baker, when Thunder Rosa breathes, just screams in agony. Yeah. Fantastic television. I'll take a really bad show. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't finish it. I turned off. Rubbish. It's not for me. No, like not not for me and uh, not any, a lot any, of people. Any wrestling fan who's invested in wrestling, 
it's not for you. It's for people who don't watch wrestling. Yeah. Who maybe so used like, to back in the like day. Sammy and Eddie having their talk, and yeah. it's just like, that's right, that real life thing that was now real life because the 16 cameras film. So it's like, <laughs> like, it's like Total Divas. Yeah. <sighs> exactly. Then why? With even more Divas. Such a shame. So that is your pick. That's a nice pick, but you did say you were going to do songs that sound like other songs. Yeah, but I thought, well, you can't, we can't on this video obviously play the songs. Could so. just sing it. Yeah, I'll try. Um, so, <laughs> the just I just want anybody watching to find the Panic at the Disco song because obviously in the aftermath of this whole Ed Sheeran thing, when Marvin Gaye's estate took him to court because thinking and lost, he used the same four chords. I, I, think I that, went back and listened. <clears throat> you heard the songs back, back. Yeah, they are similar, but yeah, it's similar, lots of songs but, are similar. Right, there's so many more that are worse examples of that. Noel Gallagher's admitted before. He's gone, yeah, I took that bit from that song. Like, you know, the get it on, get it on, ding, yeah. ding, ding. That's just cigarettes and alcohol, by the way. That's that's where you got that from and stuff. The song Shaker oh. Maker is the Coca-Cola advert. Uh, I've been driving in my car with my name, Mr. Saw. So. God, you're right. <clears throat> yeah. Noel Gallagher just admits that. <laughs> um, yeah. But the, so the Ed Sheeran thing, I'm glad that, I'm not like a particular fan of his or anything, but I'm glad that he won. Because there's so many worse examples. And I saw, I've seen videos and that pop up in the aftermath of it saying, this is egregious. And one of the worst ones that I'd not heard before is a Panic at the Disco song. We all know Panic at the Disco. Well, well imagine and all that. Um, <laughs> they've got a song called Star Spangled Banger. <laughs> oh. Which I was going to nominate, but then I thought, no, he's doing it on purpose. So I didn't, because I thought if he's just done this thinking he's not ripping anything off, he's the stupidest man in the world. But it's a, it's deliberate. I think it's a deliberate homage, but it's so bad. So find that song. Get past the first intro chorus, because it's a slog. It's really bad. The first verse then just becomes a Thin Lizzy song. <laughs> like, if you did you listen to it when I sent you the thing? No. Right, well, it's... I was waiting for you to sing it. In a gap in the podcast, I'll play you it. And, oh, okay. Right. Because it's, it's... Which Thin Lizzy song? Just, it could be like... Boys are back in town or dancing in the moonlight, but it's the verse. It's the way he does it. It's like, we oh, okay. It's bad. So check that out as well. But my nomination's AW Collision, comma, the best wrestling show ever made. <laughs> yeah. Good picks. Even better for you at home. Go to patreon.com forward slash call the holic and place your picks now or whenever they go out, which hopefully won't be the day before this podcast goes live next week. Well, you assume when you're not here that someone else might take care of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Who's you know? that a shot at then? Fraser. Uh, yeah, it is Fraser. <laughs> probably, yeah. Thank you, the fans, and, and so, thank you, when Fraser. You, when you ask him about it as well, he's, he'd be great in under interrogation, Fraser, because he's so calm. Have you put the Hall of Fame thing? He's like, I don't think it's live yet, actually. What's your... What's no, that I'm... robot robot wars that used to flip things up? Chaos in the 2. That phrase is chaos 2 when it comes to deflecting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, praise you if you see the. <laughs> I don't think it's actually up here. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, friend. <sighs> that says this week in the wrestling. It's this bloody week in the wrestling. Ha! Ah, Ooh. this week in wrestling. Mm. SmackDown, Wabbit season. Mm -hmm. The LWO open the show, but are interrupted by the Judgment Day, who tear up a fan's LWO shirt. That was a great moment in SmackDown history. That Dom's getting better at that than that. He couldn't, he couldn't do anything that mask, but now that shirt. That faces were horrified. <laughs> no! The, the guy at the front row was ready to square go with him. Oh, it was so fantastic. <laughs> Dom argues with Ray, who challenges him to rematch tonight. Rhea challenges Ray instead, which causes Selena Vega to get involved too. They all settle on the mixed tag match. Now, before we get into the show itself, let's point out the magnificent oh, yeah. drone camera going from out to the inside, to over the thing, and his like in it? Goodfellas. Yes, it is. I, I was so happy you said that rather than Kurosawa. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that it was just looked magnificent. And then we got off, and we're like, oh, "Okay, Puerto Rico is ready for this." Yeah, They're already loud. The, I got. I started midway through backlash to get sick of the drone shot, though. It didn't quite no. work when they were doing it mid match because yeah. it was all like, what? The start yeah, mid match didn't like the, start the start of the show. show yeah, yeah, yeah. Started. We've had turbulence. Yeah. Bom, bom, bom. <laughs> I was concerned the entirety of SmackDown was going to be in a different language because you've said all the things happened there in the opening segment. How do we know? Yeah. <laughs> Anything could have happened mm. in that different language, but yeah. <laughs> America um, sucks. Yeah. <laughs> but I guess it's something we're going to have to get used to because I saw some sort of 
PR bollocks they were doing that. Nick Khan was saying, uh-huh, they're going to do, yeah, hey, uh, hey, hey. But not specific to Puerto Rico. They're going to do more like location specific yes. events like Sammy in Montreal, you know, Damien Priest and Bad Bunny here. They figured out like, yeah, they're, they're trying to get a nice way of saying, I'm sorry, lads, but like, America's a bit rubbish. All the other countries are so much better. I can't wait the AW just... trying to do Australia. That was their big news. Or oh, rumor right. innuendo. It's just, I think it's just, I don't even mind. It's just that whenever you tailor the show, like like when MJF came out in Long Island and he was the face, yeah. it's so much better when, when things have more energy behind them. I can't wait for them to go to India. Via. Oh, oh yes. World oh. title challenger. Yes. Great Carly on a little motorcycle. <laughs> as long as they bring Scott Steiner in again. That's how he gets mm. around, by the way. I've not just plucked that out of my arse. That's how he gets around. Oh, right. Yeah. I, I There's a video of his uh, wrestling school slash promotion, and he arrives on his little motorcycle just to see over his talent. The Great Carly? Yeah. Is it a normal-sized motorcycle? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's just a very large boy, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Dom tries talking, and the crowd are usually loud for the booze. There's a lot of booze in Puerto Rico, mm-hmm. and they're all there in this segment for when Dom tries to grab the microphone. Fantastic stuff here. Uh, the Good Brothers then beat the Viking Raiders after Mayor Yim takes out Valhalla, sorry, Valerie Halla, as she's known to her friends, on the outside. Or is she Michin Mayor Yim? <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. We do. She's Michin Mayor Yim. Yeah. It's just a nickname. It's yeah. just a nickname now. Mayor Yim's her name, her okay. birth name, her shoot name, and Michin's just a nice nickname. Okay. Uh, AJ Styles is commentating. Wade Barrett reminds us the draft only counts after Backlash, which is why they are here. Okay. Crowd is into Gallo's old man punches. Oh, uh, it was great. The ooh and the ahs were the, the punches from different teams. I put WWE does not deserve Puerto Rican fans. <laughs> I thought all, me- all four men were on fire in this match, just slapping each other around. Even Carl Anderson was getting involved. The, in the crowds stuff. obviously infused them with, yeah. well, they want to try hard in front of the better crowd. The crowd like, well, look, we're going to react to anything. The kids did. The kids would probably say they didn't have to go this hard, but they did, kids. <laughs> didn't have to <coughs> slap so much, but I'm here for it. No cap. Mm. Um, it just <laughs> makes they, you want to... hit that pussy. <laughs> the OC have been presented like a... <laughs> the OC have been presented really dominantly since the AJ Styles came back. Yes. Uh, it's just a bit weird when like they were considered like not even worthy of TV time when he was away. Just a bit of a weird juxtaposition. Yeah. I get you. You yeah. know what I mean? We get the announcement that the tournament for the fake title is starting the at... The fake title. It's a fake, fake title. title starting at Saudi Arabia. I assumed it was ending there. Like, I don't know, I just assumed that they would want it. It is. It is ending there. It started on Raw there on were matches on Raw, yeah. Seth yeah. Rollins is in the Did final. Did they change their mind? Or I just typed the little <laughs> Rollins is in the yeah, final. Yeah, they changed it again, didn't they? Rollins I think the, I misheard. Rollins is in the final already. He's That's there. right, yeah. <laughs> they will find out the SmackDown finalists mm-hmm. tonight. It's a bold bollocks. You've got to be, oh, sorry, you've got to be sad for Cody. Nah. It's a, it's, a tor- it's a tournament. It's a tournament. There's one man I'm always sad for. It's he Cody Rhodes. It's a tournament that was there for him to win, which I didn't think was a very babyface thing to say. It's stupid mm. of him mm. to be interested in that title anyway. It is. I know he's it on is. Raw, but they've already proven with this, with the SmackDown people getting involved, that the draft doesn't matter. He yeah. should still be focused on Roman, and it's stupid that he isn't. Yes. Yeah. It would have been a horrible thing for Cody to win that title because it's saying the world, I couldn't beat Roman. It's yeah. almost like they should have had him be, just beat Roman <laughs> at WrestleMania. Don't be silly. <laughs> <laughs> Benga Belair cuts a promo on EO Sky, but she's interrupted by Damage Catal. They all have a brawl until Belair is saved by Raquel Rodriguez and Liv Morgan. That's our champs. There was some good healing from Bailey saying that all Bianca does is gloat about her reign. Because that was a big thing about the Mm. promo. Like, she was going to break the record. Oh, yeah, that is funny. If she retained. And then Bailey was like, all you do is talk about yourself, you (laughs) self-centered so-so. In a way, Bailey's kind of like, oh, but Rollins is a face now. But Bailey's like the Rollins of the women's division. When he was a heel, yeah. Yeah. the lowest hanging fruit, but it's really funny. That's a good point. Yeah. Uh, Banker reminds us she's mint, and Bailey's like, "You're only mint because I've made you mint." <laughs> and Bailey reminds us she, she's still feuding with Cole, which means poor, poor Maggle has top dollar and now damage control. Don't worry about. <laughs> <laughs> There's a nice drop kick from Eo Sky as well. There's a shock. There's yeah, a shock well, in this segment. Yeah. A nice drop kick from her. Yeah. That's analysis. Yeah, yeah. Karen Cross oh. is, <laughs> is ready to take out Nakamura tonight. He asks how much his honour is really worth. Whose honour was that again? I, I didn't I Shinsuke couldn't Nakamura's. Out whether he meant his own honour or Nakamura's yeah, honour. Nakamura. How much is Nakamura's honour worth? So Karrion Cross's gimmick outside of the, the egg timer and all that sort of the cards and all that sort of bollocks is picking someone to have a feud with mm. and making up what's wrong with them. <laughs> Rey Mysterio, yeah. he said he was a mm. knackered old goat and then Rey Mysterio ran rings around him for <laughs> several weeks. Yep. Nakamura, he's gone, everyone thinks you know, uh, they know who they are until you take away one little thing. 
Where's he got that from? Is he just bad? <laughs> Imagine <laughs> who just likes rock music and dancing. <laughs> what you know about? They're just bad song lyrics, aren't they? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're crap. And he's like, Mr. Nakamura, how much is your honour really worth to you? Mm. What does that mean? <laughs> Why have you said that? Where's that come from? Madcap that Moss, sense. you may think that you are a kiss from a rose <laughs> in the moon. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel bad for him because his whole gimmick only works if he's winning as right, well. Right, yeah. yeah. Never right, though, is he? No. Yeah. It's bad writing from the whoever's in charge of SmackDown yeah. these days. It crosses the guy who's like, all right, tonight I am going to make this dude look good. Grr. Like, I've got no complaints with him in the ring. <laughs> he is what he is in the yeah. ring. Actually, I was going to say that tonight you look really good, but we'll get on that later on. Yeah. Backstage, the Usos are excited for their six-man tag match at Backlash. A very serious solo warns them to do their part and he'll do his. Oh. Also, I just summed it up as solo is not happy talking to them because they're losers. <laughs> yeah. I, it makes you think that Roman's told Solo to do something because they're like, we're going to do our part, you're going to do yours. And then Solo's like, mm. looking menacingly. But we still don't know. It's getting a case of the Bray Wyatt's now for me, this storyline. Oh, really? It's, it's inching forwards instead of jump, like stepping forwards. Oh. It's like an inch. Remember when Uncle Howdy, and they called oh, Mr. Howdy then? Mr. Howdy. When Uncle Howdy <laughs> came and he laughed. And that was the progression for the storyline <laughs> yeah, that week. Yeah. It feels like we're in that phase. You just of described the three months worth of story. <laughs> well, so yes, well, I agree. Sometimes with your he'd point. be in the main entrance. Sometimes he'd be in the crowd. But he was always appearing and laughing. Specifically, the week where he came out the entrance ramp and he laughed for about fifty-nine seconds or something. And Twirling that was his wrist. Then the people coming back the break. Like, this is still going yeah. on. Where have they um, gone? I don't care. <laughs> AEW Collision, and they can Mr. stay there. Oh, yes. oh God. Oh, I love Collision already. <laughs> it's just going to be the... Well, they always describe wrestling as the island of misfit toys, don't they? It's going to be that. The misfits and misfits. Everyone's going to want to be the champion. General Rection will be there. There's going to be so many fights Oh, punks. Stage. We're getting Flash a Roman Reigns-esque like, reign from Punk on Collision. Whatever title is going to be on Collision. Punk's going to show you, lads, what a real title holder looks like. That's right. The Pepsi world champion. <laughs> 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 the Street Profits beat Imperium in a tag match just before Imperium goes to Raw. Yep, don't mind if I do. Really quick, though, but makes the Street Profits look really cool. Uh, frog splash, crowd hot, yay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the crowd really helped Babyfaces, apart from Bianca Belair at Backlash. <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> I wonder why they hated her. They just like the, they don't hate, hate he her. They so cool. Guy. Uh, I've seen sentiment start to turn against Bianca Belair from Mania, though, onwards. She's a bit like Cena now, isn't she? In no, I, I disagree. <sighs> but, but a lot of people do think that, yeah. I think the control damage control thing isn't, it's been done now, really. It feels like... No, wait, mm. I said the wrong thing there. I mean, I don't think there's not much there that Bianca's got to prove herself I think against. when Bianca beat Asuka, a lot of people didn't like that because Asuka's really cool. Mm. But I never thought Asuka had been built to take the belt from her properly anyway. She just nah. turned up with a new with face paint. That's all it takes. It, sometimes, but then when she beat Asuka, I remember seeing, being surprised because I tweeted like, Loved that match, and loads and loads of people were like, didn't really like it. I was like, woo. The people, the, the finish of that changed lots of people's opinions. Right. Um, so but it's I okay because she'll be appearing on a, which AW show? <laughs> Collision. There we go. I it's think it. that Bianca, they're going to have to either, yeah, they're going to have to either get the belt for her turn of heel if it keeps going in this way. Hmm. Or have someone else, you know, beat her like Eos Natalia. Oh. Yes. That's the answer. That'll be the thing to prove it. I can't believe they did that on the other program. Anyway. <laughs> but in this tag match here, it, do you notice it, Matthew? At the start, they did a discreet tag to the Imperium boys, and Ludwig didn't realize it was that discreet. He wow. didn't know he did the tag. No. Oh, it was so good. I thought it was just like, go get them. I, thought, I think Ludwig thought they were doing like, yeah, let's go, high five. But it, the referee counted as a tag, and he didn't know it was fantastic. Oh. Dawkins did a great hot tag again. He's in his own. Hey, element, ref, right? look, I'm tagging. <laughs> Dawkins has answered the everyone's being he sensed the moment getting away from him when everyone was behind Montez and he thought I'm just going to get much better and then see what happens I'll rinse Braun Strowman on the outside oh, oh. The, the bush as that man says on Instagram that I see from time the to time the bush eating his takeaways oh, no, Braun, Braun I'm not ready go around again and get more tired oh, that's <laughs> I told him I was tired. Oh, here we go. <laughs> That's the Tommy the Turtle Man, isn't it? Is it the a, Bosch guy? I see a, a big fella. Blonde. He, uh, no, no. Oh. A big older fella, like maybe oh, 50s, no, and he no. just, like, always gets like a Chinese takeaway, and he's always like, the Bosch. Mm. Mm, Bosch. It was a rugby player used to yell at, wasn't it? Probably. I don't know. Tommy the Turtle oh. guy looks like the next evolution of Rob Beckett, the comedian. Yeah, big or, teeth. And then you go one more, and it's Jack Swagger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Midway between Rob Beck and Swagger. Yeah, he is, yeah. Then you go one more and it's Richard Branson. <laughs> what? I thought you were going to say Lesnar, but you've got Richard Branson. I'm loving that, yeah. 
Maybe. From, from the neck up, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they play Nakamura's mute. Wait, no. Cody Rhodes cuts a promo on Brock Lesnar. He says that Puerto Rico will be etched into his heart because it'll always be the place he beat Brock Lesnar. Oh, he's right. And go back on the road to finishing the story. So he, he says here that he wants to finish the story, which in my mind means winning the WWE title and beating yeah. Roman Reigns. But then on Raw, a few days later, he's changed his mind and he's on, now my heart's set on this crap belt over here. It's muddled. Well, been it's in, muddled. He'd been ending the tournament, hadn't he? So he couldn't go, I don't want to bloody do this. I, I guess you can only beat what's put in front of you. Yeah, it's yeah. true. Unless you're in the WWE and the draft doesn't really count because it doesn't count for certain people. Yeah. Um, yeah. I thought it was weird how Cody was like, someone hasn't explained why Lesnar's attacked him all these times after WrestleMania. <laughs> Even though we have been told it's because he was in the main event. Yeah. We know this, don't we, Cody? Yeah, Brock said that. Yeah, we know this, Cody. You bastard. I wrote <laughs> down here, it would have been hilarious if he got squashed after this promo. Because this promo made me believe he could beat a Brock Lesnar. And then he went and bloody won, didn't he? Yeah. So good promo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done. I like him uh, changing colour in his face from how long he was yelling. What colour did he go? Orange. Oh. Well, more orange, I guess, because he's a very orangey person. <laughs> uh and then he yelled, and he just said, I'm going to finish the story, Morning Glory. And the crowd went, oh, yeah. Need a little time to wake up, wake up. I, it's, I, love, I love Oasis from Puerto Rico. <laughs> Didn't remember until this episode that Cody's like half Cuban or something. I think his mum's Cuban. Oh, All yeah. right. And that's why he did a bit of Spanish at the start and popped pop the crowd in that, which was nice. Yeah. Yeah. Good for Cody. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, backstage, Riddle takes the lead in cutting a promo on the bloodline while Owens and Zayn let him get on hey, with it. Hey, hey. I'm just saying, hey. he was serious here and he actually sounded half decent. You haven't mentioned the Botchamania reference? One mm-hmm. of them said, Riddle, you talk too much. You can use that in the video. There's lots of things Riddle does too much. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was very nice of him. Thank you, Riddle. <laughs> no, one of the other lads said it to him because he was talking too much. Yeah, you can use that in your video. <laughs> yeah, Sammy Zayn just looked at him and went, It's Taz! <laughs> 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 Yes, was, yes, I, I didn't want to mention it because this is the Cultaholic Wrestling Podcast. No, no, Matthew, Much better and higher be up than that stingy little crappy show. Don't be bloody shy, I you. am shy and nervous. But yes, no, <laughs> I thought Riddle did a surprisingly solid promo here considering yeah. he's actually being serious. So maybe they're going, oh, oh okay, good. I'm quite glad that it, we, we haven't got really annoying Riddle because that, that was a bad time until mm. Randy came on the scene. Yeah. Yeah. Nakamura meets, <laughs> says Nakamura beats Cross. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, I was like, wow, well, it's not very it's good. It's happened it? again, hasn't it? Yeah. He's made up a reason to fight someone and he's lost. Yeah. And Cross is really good at that. He's a big dude. We need to lose. He's like one of those big lads that Goldberg would just squash in a random thunder. But that's not, but his promos don't feel like that. Don't say that his Karen promos... Cross is Hugh Morris. <laughs> <laughs> Hugh Morris, Al Green. His promos feel oh. like someone who's going to challenge for the world title. Scott Norton. Not, not someone who's going to. Lose every week. I tell Jerry you, Flynn. That 4K camera, whatever it is, that reserved for Nakamura alone now, oh, it's, yeah. it, 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 it slaps for him. Mm. I'm trying to be down with the kids these days. Mm. Uh, you're doing a good job. Um, and the fact that just, the set apart for him really just make him like a real-life rock star. I was believing wow. you. <laughs> Look, they play his music, the commentators shut up, and the crowd loves sing along because the Puerto Rico and the Mint. And it, 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 yeah, he really felt like the superstar that they're calling him. In fairness to Cross, though, he did get a lot more moves than I thought he was going to get. And it, yep. his, his Larry out of the Kinshasa attempt was, ooh. Yeah. I don't know what else to say there. I think they were powered up by the, the crowd. Yeah. And they went, oh, bloody hell, if Luke Gallows is going to put his walking <laughs> shoes on, all right. Uh, some nice suplexes from Cross. Yeah. Uh, well, he's he just, I said he looked, <laughs> but he looked better than usual. He just looked below average today. <laughs> oh, he is still just an entrance, brutal. isn't he? Yeah. No. Well, his, his valet is. He's a, well, former, <laughs> he's a former NXT champion, world champion. That was a long time ago. Okay. He was black and gold when he won. And the, <laughs> and the title reign was, you're not as good at this, these yeah. lads challenging <laughs> for you. week after week, I've been told you're rubbish. He is Pete Dunn, cool. he's better than you. <laughs> I, cool. I have a love, and I'm kept humble by appearing on NXT as the world champion. <laughs> oh, okay, thanks, Cross. You might be champion carrying Cross, but I'm Adam Cole, and you're a virgin. <laughs> Hello, Karrion Cross. I'm Johnny Gargano. He might be champion, but you've got a small willy. <laughs> He's like at that, that meatball place you're talking about. He just sits there and like, they come around and insult him. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, but Cross's best match in, I don't know, since probably NXT, probably, because you yeah. look really good here, yeah. uh, before Naka beat him. Good Naka knackered him. Yeah. Backstage, Baron Corbin mocks Cameron Grimes for being SmackDown's last draft pick. I love this. Grimes says it's better not being drafted at all, and Corbin says, whoa, 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 <laughs> sweet child of mine. 
I wasn't not picked. I'm a free agent like Brock Lesnar. <laughs> That's unreal. That's and Pierce so says, good. no, no, that is categorically untrue. <laughs> Pierce books a match between the two of them for next week. Lovely stuff. I hope this is a longer feud that ends with them becoming a team because they're so rich. Oh. The pair of them. France would say, we, we, we. Uh, uh, we, we. Say, we, <laughs> we, we, we. Yes, yes, yes. We agree with yeah. Baron Corbin because they bloody love them getting that win. Mm. Now show. I'm ready for a Corbin face run, me. We've done all the different heel variations. It's time for something different. Yeah. Let's do it. But just before this little bit, they showed the promo packages for the NXT graduates. They did. And I was terrified after the, the draft uh, episode because they had them appearing backstage and nobody was in gimmick. And I was worried thinking, oh my God, they're going to take what, you know, Balor <laughs> being the demon back in the day made yeah. him special. That's the bad example. You know what I mean? They were yeah. special in NXT. They get promoted to the main roster and they have to start from scratch. Karrion Cross is a good example, maybe. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. I don't think that maybe they feel well, wouldn't it be a bit ridiculous to have some witches next to the nope, skater, still witches. next to the Twitch stream at my like, No, that's the appeal of NXT. Yeah, pretty deadly pretty deadly <laughs> pretty, pretty, pretty diddly. diddly pretty diddly are gonna be the same. <laughs> yeah. No, no, they're they're booked for progress, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, pretty no. deadly are gonna be presented as the same as is Grayson Waller, who is still a prick going off his little vignette, mm. and the witches are indeed still witches. The witches Good. are still witches, but we've just seen them cry with delight and yeah. joy and surprise when they got drafted. Cave I was saying they, t- they turned into the dogs who walked under the moonlight or whatever the... Oh, yeah, one who... Are you just... reading Karen Cross's promo? <laughs> Stop it. One hawks from the moon and one is as cunning as those which dance below it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait Beautiful. for this down. Yeah. Imagine Triple H writing that. Uh, I don't know who writes the promos in NXT, but get him on the main roster. The same person who writes everyone, isn't it? Yeah. I've got. I'm looking forward so much to this week's NXT segment. It was a real uh, NXT week. <laughs> yes, it was. Michael Cole keeps on bringing up Bruno Samartino for some reason. <laughs> he pronounces his name wrong. I don't know why that is. <laughs> uh, we get more Ray versus Dom, and God, the fans love that because the main event: Ray and Zelina beat Dom and Rhea. Ray is beaten down by the Judgment Day afterwards, but Bad Bunny, what oh do you do? God. Oh wait, yeah, it actually makes sense for you to From hear. Bea. Lat- oh, Bad Bunny, man. a.k.a. the biggest wrestler in the world, oh leads God. out the rest of the LWO to a massive reaction, and they save the day. That was mean, still you... only secondary, though. I'll get this out of the way. To Wade Barrett bringing up Selena Vega dyeing her hair to be like Rengoku from Demon Slayer, the anime that she watches. But Rengoku, the character, died. <laughs> So, so will she at Backlash. He's like, what the hell are you doing talking about anime or commentary? And then spoiling it for people. Oh. Oh, is it actually, a spoiler? No, it's like years old. Oh, right. Right. So it's fair game. But it was just like, yo, season two, he dies. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Like, what? Wait, wait, wait. Did, were you told that? Are you a big fan? It's like, a topsy turvy weekend for Wade. He's gone from that nerdy bollocks to being on the beach with a scantily clad lady like uh, only NXT Wade Barrett would be. It feels like, like, <laughs> it's like those Jason Statham films that keep appearing on Amazon Prime. He's like, that's right. <laughs> It feels unfair when like sexy people like nerdy things. Like you're not allowed. Yeah, you've already got like Omos. What? What's he like? Omos has got his. Uh, oh yeah, got you on here. Um, on the news, it, <laughs> it's considered news. His uh, Instagram account where he just draws anime stuff was found. Oh, get so he spent a good Omos. tweet talking to his uh, Omo sapiens. Um, <laughs> no, homosexuals. About, I'm, one, I'm one of them. Whatever, yeah. About like, oh, I love Naruto and me and all this. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. I think of. I always think of the um, the <laughs> UFC middleweight Israel Adesanya, who. Oh yeah. yeah. In like weigh-ins and that, he'll do a pose like Goku or something. No, that's way too mainstream. He'll do like obscure anime stuff and then talk about it later. I'm like. You're the hardest man in the world. What are you doing? It's so weird going from like, her, her, nerdy kid, just pretend you don't watch cartoons, to like, oh yeah, all the hardest people in the world, all the weightlifters, bodybuilders, they all watch anime and they all love Dragon Ball Z. It's strange, Because all, all Dragon Ball Z is, damn it, I'm weak. I have to get my power levels up. It's like, yeah, the truth. <laughs> uh, right. Grinding for Goku. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yes, uh, apart from that, any other thoughts on this lovely, lovely episode yeah. of SmackDown? I thought it was like this main event was pretty standard stuff, but that was just because it was all built into Stone Cold Bad Bunny appearing at the end. It popped yeah. like Prime 97, so it was. Yeah. And I didn't realize how big he was, because obviously most of the time he's been on screen, he's been next to massive Damien Priest. He's but he, tall. He's taller than all the L- LWO lads, including Santos Escobar. Yeah. <laughs> San- <laughs> <laughs> Pronunciation there. I think he's really good at... He's got a real like presence when he walks yeah. out he really does it helps when like thousands of people are cheering for him as well right. but he really does like when he walks out it's like oh he feels like a star yeah. good. you know why that is he's got a fighter's body oh he's got long yeah. arms like Brock Lesnar okay Bad Bunny has so he walks around like that mm, it's like ooh okay. this is about to happen that's, what I, that's analysis yeah <laughs> 
<laughs> so which one makes a good point because it's like we end up laughing anyway but yeah no, it was a good point, a good point. No, he's got like this he's got long arms <laughs> he knows how to use I, I them. would say uh, he reminds me of the fighter Nate Diaz the way he holds himself yeah, he's, yeah. yeah. is that oh. your boy who's fighting Jakey Pearl yeah I think so yeah, the guy left UFC because I mean, he wanted to get that remember, Logan Paul money he had a couple of fights against Conor McGregor and won the first one I think and it's the meme I'm not surprised mother effer because they uh, go like what an upset and he goes no yeah. I, I beat him I'm better <laughs> so yes Cause I, watched, so uh, great. I watched KSI try several energy drinks this week and part of that <laughs> part of that interview <laughs> well, like they asked once. him like who's oh. gonna, uh, like the, you know the like put them in the box and he can't. <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, 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 like taste, taste testing, testing no. yeah. Oh, right, right. And he got the prime one, unsurprisingly. Was it an advert oh, for wow, prime? What a was great... prime the best? No, one? it was on there. Uh, was it Joe.co.uk, that website? Right. Oh, wow, Something yeah. like that. Anyway, he's at, gets interviewed about the upcoming Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz fight. He's like, who's going to win? He's like, Jake Paul. Nate Diaz isn't a boxer. Well, it's going to be a nice and easy win. He's like, if I could put my house on uh, Jake Paul win, I would. And I was thinking, really? Because even I've heard of Nate Diaz and I don't like It's just because everyone goes, assume, but, you know, it's this. And it's like, well, He's very much past his prime, obviously, but it is boxing. It is a completely different... You can't just go, well, I mean, yeah. Francis Ngannou seems to think he can for some reason, but everyone else to think, oh, I'll just go here and not do any takedowns. Like, no, there is I a think, bit more to it. I, so. think the ones who are I good hate at, that he might beat Nate, though. The ones who are good at striking need to learn to defend the takedowns and then they're all right, I think. It's that sort of thing. It's, it's weird that people... It's weird that it's a thing that Jake Paul is everyone's... Buzzes off him beating people who aren't boxers. It's odd. I've, I don't I'm, get it. I'm, then the first time he fought a boxer, and not even a good one, Tommy Fury, he lost. I also hate that. I'm like, oh, whatever, Logan Paul, whatever, Logan Schmoll, more like. But now I'm like watching more of those just like the low level YouTubers fighting at like some of the worst fights you've ever seen. Are they? But they're so fascinating to watch. <laughs> I was it one we made show me last night? Ed Matthews versus Blueface. Oh, no, Blueface no. the rapper. Yeah, Str yeah. Strangler Ed Matthews. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I yeah, yeah. Pachini's favorite wrestler. <laughs> it's, on, uh... it's like a, an English like Spice Boy, isn't it? He's all yeah, like, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Because, but and he gets go, battered and the, by this massive competitor. But Ed Matthews goes and he's throwing loads of strikes. None of them are hitting. He's just like Scrappy Doo. <laughs> None <laughs> and, of them. And then the this, but it's so exciting to watch, even though it's crap. This it's rapper bloke who is bigger than him, but weighs like. 50 pounds. He's really skinny. He's just yeah. kind of just like... He's got long arms, like Bad Bunny. Like Bad Bunny, yeah. <laughs> Dude, anyway, that back. anyway, sorry, went off on one there. Because it was more interesting than talking about... The other night, I was uh, going <laughs> oh, to the Sainsbury's no. at um, the bloody town. And it's next to... They've got this little thing open up. And it had Amazon, uh, Amazon Prime, Jesus. Uh, Prime, the, the drink. The drink, And yeah. so I went in and I saw some... I heard some kids because like, what? Because it was under lock and key. And they're going, oh. And they're going, go on, go on, mate. Go on, buy it, buy it. So I went to the same reason and came out and I, I know the board because I could hear him going, I can't believe you spent 15 quid on that. <laughs> so obviously he's made to encourage him as soon as he's done it, he's like, you're an idiot. But then he's like, yeah, give us a drink. He's like, no, 15 quid this cost <laughs> me. Because I say, why would you? 15 quid for Prime, which is still a better investment than AW Rampage. I honestly can't wait until we stop covering Rampage. Well, that's good, no. <laughs> El Hio, Del Vikingo, and the Lucha Brothers team up to beat pa -pa 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 Powerhouse Hobbs, QT Marshall, and Aaron Solo. I'm very relieved the QTV didn't win this match. Yeah. Yeah, and Hobbs went on a big spree of flattening everybody, and QTV, all the all those people, were on the outside of the ring. It was lovely. Just let them flatten people. That's all you need to do. Give him a <laughs> yeah. singles run without QTV. I, I put, put Lucha Brothers and Vikingo together is... That's a bit harsh, isn't it? In terms of like <laughs> playing, the, I th said they would be banned in tournament play against wrestling any other tag team. The Viking O gets his crazy reversing, flipping Frankenstein and QT, and everyone else gets their stuff in before Penta is forced to take some moves from the QT lads <laughs> who get their who got their show cancelled quicker than the live action Resident Evil TV series. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> good None one. QTV guys have anything as cool looking as Lucha Podcast, bloody <laughs> Resident Evil TV show. <laughs> <laughs> three of them. Like, Except that's a computer game, not a telly show. It came out. People went, "This is guff," and it got it was one of those Netflix uh, ones. So we've done the first I season. We got, yeah, it's not getting a second one. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, what's his name? <laughs> QT has a sweet power bomb, the sit out one where he flips him up, then does it. The but suplex that, bomb thing, aye, yeah, yeah. lovely. But apart from that, it was like, well, we know they're not winning because what's Aaron Solo got to do to put away Phoenix? A suplex. Well, <laughs> he's the high flyer they've brought in to combat the Kingo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, QT takes a crazy Frank on the apron to set up a table that goes unused and Solo dies after the double team stomp driver the table isn't used but it does apparently stop Hobbs from getting in the ring to break up the pinfall so we get a nice shot oh. of Hobbs looking at the camera going oh fooey psychology that <laughs> 
I know, like, all right, all right. No, no. It's like when in a game, when a ledge is slightly too like high a, to climb on. It was yeah. like a video game. It's like, ah, oh, if you put your table there, the computer... This is real life, lads, not no, a video game. No, but it's game. like when you trap your sims in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> Powerhouse Hobbs could leap over that table like a gazelle without even trying if you wanted to. That would be a really cool image. Yeah. Just brings the table to stop the camera. Oh, oh. gone round. <laughs> We, we might can't go over, over it. Yeah. We no, can't. Right. Oh. Is that a bear? We're going on a bear hunt. We're going on a bear hunt. Wow. wow. A cocaine bear. Um, Jim Ross still doesn't know who Harley <laughs> Quinn is. <laughs> Two times he shouted, who is she? What does she do? Which I find fantastic all yeah. these weeks later. Um, I d- uh, the finish was the weird bit for me. He went after Alex Abrahentis on the floor. And as you say, the table stopped and getting back in the ring. That's a bit of a shame. That, Or is it just blind rage? Mm. Is he frustrated in a cage like a rat? I don't know. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I hate Rampage. I <laughs> Despite Jericho... all my rage, I still don't like, like Rampage. Rampage. Oh, that was awful. That. I like we should probably end the podcast there. <laughs> Jericho does a, a comedy promo about hiding from Adam Cole uh, in this serious feud they're doing. I don't really get this because it's Jericho's just Jericho Jericho's way too hammy to be doing a feud where like, haha, yeah. I beat up your lass in front of you. It's just what Jericho does. <laughs> get away from me! I'm hiding. It's like pick a side, man. Yeah, Jericho, comedy serial killer, Chris Jericho. I don't think Jericho is at the stage in his career where he can or should be doing those ultra serious feuds. It has to be silly to be Jericho. You're right. Oh, well. Because he was serious on Dynamite, wasn't he? But then, he, as you say here, he was, thanks for believing in me, Renee. Or maybe he's <laughs> taken Rampage as seriously as everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. When does uh, Collision start? Yeah, the June, isn't it? Or something like oh, that. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah, we're going to have to drop Rampage. Yeah, yeah. So we'll have comedy Jericho on Wednesdays. So, sorry, serious comedy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> serious, uh, Matthew, come on, you got this. Serious Jericho on the Wednesdays. Comedy Friday on Fridays. Whoa. <laughs> I'm having a stroke. We learned that Ty Valkyrie has been suspended for putting her Comedy hands on Friday Aubrey Edwards Friday. last week. Jack Ross would miss it. <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> me, meanwhile, Jay Cargill beats G.S. Scott in a squash match. Yes, she does. But I still maintain, lads, despite being wrong initially, I'm still going to maintain my prediction that it will be Ty who ends the TBS title run. Not after Friday. the way that match finished. No? Whoops, I forgot I can't do this. Ooh. Ooh. That's a setup, though, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Uh, we learned that there's been 24 singles wins in the five minutes for Jay Cargill in this reign, mm. which is not a good thing to gloat about, I don't think, personally. <laughs> there should be more matches over five minutes. No, oh, she's so dominant. Oh. Yeah, well. Nobody is there. There's no one. <laughs> there's nobody. My Should have been for... Willow, but now I think Willow's yeah. in Ring of Honor. Oh, no. Maybe. A poor woman. <laughs> I put Rampage should be merged into Tubman in Japan for this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> there is just not much to talk about, is there? No. Uh, We're trying not, our best. Here. Not even with. Backstage, Mark Briscoe is confronted by Jeff Jarrett and his cronies. They tell him to pass on a message to FDR. They're going to take their tag team titles. <laughs> I guess confronted is a... the wrong word because they are still being friendly with Mark Briscoe, aren't they? They're trying to work. I think yeah. they, they, we're setting up for a massive swerve, aren't we? Double or nothing. Right. Well, Mark's, we're doing the yeah. Othello going, what do you mean? We're yeah. your friend. Well, how would the <laughs> big Othello reference on the podcast? Thank there? you, man. All the kids love Othello. Yeah. Mark then has a match with Preston Vance, who rips up his daughter's sign in the crowd. Mark wins and celebrates with his family. Uh, I like Mark. He's able to take a shellacking to get the crowd into it. And he did take a crazy flipping back dive off the apron and onto a set-up chair. Yeah. But everyone's like, oh, we don't want to see you doing that. Yeah. He's like... Come on, man. I think he won with the Jade Riller, which would yeah. be a nice touch if it's true. I think he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah, so I put Preston lands on his face. Mark's a good... Um, he's, win. he's a really good face, isn't he? Because I'd not really seen much of him in singles action, obviously, when he was in the Briscoes, but now he's good at getting beaten up and making you want him to... You're like, oh, come on. I think he's a natural baby face. He's good at getting the crowd involved as well. That's one of the things I wrote down yeah. for this match is the fact he got the crowd involved and chatting and whatnot. Yeah. And, and he's yeah. good at doing his silly faces. Yeah. As well. And his moonshine. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm was, dying it was probably the highlight of this crappy episode. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Backstage, Brian Cage and Swerve Strickland ambush Dustin Rhodes. Keith Lee somehow chases them off. Yeah, take that. Ke- yeah, he arrives suspiciously on time. <laughs> suspiciously. <laughs> oh, as if he knew. Yeah. Mm. As if he's in cahoots. The beatdown was over. Dustin was over. Mm. Over. I don't know what to do with you. My voice stopped working there. He was <laughs> over. Yeah, and then Keith walked in. Uh, I feel like Keith Lee is one of the ones that turned up in AW and has not been given anything really. Like he, I don't think when he left WWE he thought I'm going to go to AW and be in a tag team with Gold Dust. That's what he said. <laughs> I'm going to wear a massive cape and be cool. Yeah. 
That, that's me. <laughs> Maybe you'll be on collision. I'm trying to identify possible collision. <laughs> I just collision assume rods. that they're building up to the big final Keepley sort of trickling blow off. Yeah. But it's been, it feels on. like it's been in the works for a long time. Yeah. We had the whole stuff with Trench. Remember Trench? Where's Trench? <laughs> no, I don't remember Trench bring or back French. Trench. Parker Baudoir? <laughs> yeah, bring back Trench and the Trench and French. I tried collection. to forget him, but. <laughs> Why? That's Harland. The next Brock Lesnar. <laughs> That's Harland. How dare you? Oh, Harland. No. I've got Jonas, on my fancy football. All right? Oh, so you clutch the headphones as if they were audio issues, but we're all good. No, oh, he's listening to me try and say, on Wednesdays, you get serious <laughs> Jericho. On Fridays, you get comedy, comedy Jericho. Fridays. On Saturday, you get musical Jericho. Oh, on Fridays, we get comedy Fridays. I think I'm going to rename Rampage in the notes to comedy Fridays. <laughs> I'm all right with that. Yeah. You're still better than this segment. Oh, the following bit. The Hardys, Isaiah, Cassidy, and Hook beat the firm in the firm deletion match. You didn't Lots like Lots of it. stuff happens. Hmm? It's also says here. I was yeah. going to say, you didn't like it? Um, I'm over this. Yeah. We've done this. Not only have we done it, we've done the sequel, the threequel. We've done the Phantom Menace of the final deletion. It's been done, and it's been homage, and it's... See the same stuff you've seen that's before? That's the one I've seen. And that's why I brought it up. <laughs> Good lad. <laughs> Took me a second to get there, but... Wouldn't it? it was nice so, that, like, his kids got to get involved in that. Yeah, so, I mean, we'll do a little brief... Uh, Play by play, as it were. Uh, he goes, ah, ah, I knew you'd come. Then they fire off of fireworks with that flying thing with Matt's face. Oh, the drone. I couldn't think what a drone Vanguard was. Vanguard 1. But flying thing yeah, with Matt's Vanguard face. One. Well done, Matthew. Let's have Van- Vanguard 1 died, didn't he? In the yeah. yeah. Vanguard 2. Uh, Vanguard 3 is currently filming in Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> Hardy's kids try to run down Stokely in a little car. Like, and they do the Austin Powers thing where he's like, ah, but he's able to dodge at the last minute. Really good. They go to a ring where they wrestle normally for a bit. It's boring. Then Stokely finds Matt's home cinema and settles down to watch Coming to America rather than be involved in this match. But the other characters, like, like the gardener, tase him. What's his name? Senior Benjamin. That's yeah, that's right. his father. Rebby's father. That's yeah. right. Uh, they go to burn Jeff, but Isaiah gets the best bit where he distracts everyone by yelling the cum noise loudly. And then every, everyone <laughs> goes, oh, it's him. Then he does the swanton off a stack container with Matt Hardy going, I knew you'd come. Uh, that was yep. the reaction that happened. Then Rebby Swanton Stokely and Kid Hardy also swant- swantons him. Swantons him. Then Matt Swanton's ego to end it. Nice them use the crowd noise from Rampage in the background. <laughs> oh. Crickets. <laughs> it, was, it was this. So I. What do you think, Jack? Back in 2016, I was not a fan of the final deletion and all that. And mm. and well, I was since looked back and I've since looked back and admitted like. I was wrong. I just wasn't having a laugh. It was good at the time. It was innovative and funny, even though it wasn't a five-star match or whatever. It was still good for what it was, and it was a different time and everything. But that was like that was seven years ago now. So I don't think this was ever going to get the same. Yeah, the thing level that was the support. thing that people liked because it was really out there and it was nothing like it. It was crazy and unique to just do it again and then again and again. It's like it's yeah. I'm really old. That was seven years ago. <laughs> oh yeah, right. my god. Yeah. This was worth think, it because it was the Stokely Hathaway show. I was going to say, we've I've, been seeing yeah, more and Stokely. more and more of him, like as the firm becomes more of a thing on Dynamite and just him. I've wrote like, all the things he did, like the gothic baby, meet me, I'm gothic man. What are you going to do? Like little lines like that. Like, Tony Khan's going to pay for his crimes as he's getting beaten up by a set of toddlers. Uh, just the stuff like that. And then the, the only, I can see what people are saying. Like we've, we've been there and done it because it didn't really, I didn't feel like the few needed this. And it, I guess if that's a feud ender, it's not the maybe the best thing to end on because it wasn't serious. Because it was built up quite serious, wasn't it? Like Isaiah Casti got murdered last week off a scaffold. Or two weeks ago, was it? Is that serious? Uh, he, he got Kurt Angled off the top of the thing, didn't he? Yeah, he did. <laughs> and now we're doing like a comedy blow off. Uh, yeah. See why people. Okay, yeah. um, but the last shot of Jeff with his logo in the grass burning, and he, he says, Thank you, God. What's, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that about? <laughs> What's that? Well, hey, Jeff's weird, isn't he? He's weird. He is That's weird. right. Jeff's back. <laughs> like, yeah, we know. Yeah. But I, it, it was worth it for Stokely for me. There. Just about. Yeah. Mm. More of Stokely, less of everybody else. <laughs> yeah, it was just such a serious build with Stokely using AI to have Morgan Freeman interview him and Ego <laughs> on Twitter about the build up to this. He's he funny. was mint. He was so much funnier and more entertaining than anybody else. Yeah. Uh, Exiting the match to watch Coming to America. Yeah, he's, he just. He always has just the right 90s reference to make for it to be funny. Like when someone stole his CD player in NXT and he wanted to find it so that, <laughs> oh, so that, he, could, that, so that yeah. he could get his Ashante CD back. <laughs> yeah. It's got good taste. It's even just his delivery. Like when they arrive outside the gate and like the, whatever happens when the, the time fast forward to night time. And just the way it delivers like he wasn't joking about that time space continuum. 
Uh, but he that does gets it, me yeah. going, yeah. Yeah. I'm glad. He gets it. You know what else gets me going? Backlash. Backlash. Mm. So on way, campeon Booker T. That's what it says here. Jambea Hala. Jambea <laughs> Hala. That song was better than the Booker T song. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, a hundred look, times. I don't, I don't care about the Booker T song, apart from that Booker T's in it. It's got the little intro bit as well. It's got its own sting, like the... <laughs> <laughs> We're not really cool enough to like oh. Bad Bunny's music, are we? Oh. It also was good that the crowd all knew all the words, so they were really roaring oh. along with it. It was class. It was like Sandman in ECW. Yeah. Uh, like Julius? No, another fella. You have Russell Crowe and the thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you <laughs> bla- 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 <laughs> Why? Um, Mm. I know. Uh, I've not even seen Gladiator. I don't know why I said it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I tell yeah, you, they all sing Russell Crowe's theme so many times. The one time I came close <laughs> to watching it, I went round to a pal's house. We were out in year nine, and we had to go upstairs and watch it in his mum's room because mum was watching Coronation Street. Oh, yeah. And uh, we sat on the waterbed, and then he came in and ran and jumped on it. It split, so oh, we couldn't watch it. Oh my god! Yeah, water That's... was going everywhere. Oh, that water causes damage as well. It does cause damage. I hope you had a towel. <laughs> 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 no, the shag pile carpet <laughs> soaked it all up. It was lovely. Oh. Up the 90s. Mm. Bianca Belair, BTO Sky, <laughs> retained the Raw Women's title, despite the crowd absolutely not wanting her to win. Mm. I think they didn't want her to win, they wanted EO Sky to win, because, like I said, Bianca, like anybody can have a title for too long and not have a proper feud. <laughs> She's had a feud, it's been over. She had a feud with Asuka, that ended. And now it's just, all right, cool. So I think the crowd were like, EO Sky's interesting. New and different. Hey, I love that uh, Cole saying that the crowd because the, the the booze were referenced on current and Cole was like uh, the crowd are incredibly knowledgeable, which oh. I thought was an interesting turn of phase phrase. Like Sorry, phrase. It's a backhanded compliment, isn't it? Yeah, like oh, they know what they're talking about. They're booing Bianca. Mm. They know what they're talking. Oh, about. The, the dumb fans, <laughs> the dumb fans do what we want them to do. Yeah. <laughs> but was, oh, I thought he was implying like they watch NXT. They know how great she was in NXT. Mm. Oh yeah, I'm just pl- oh, right. it straws me. Are they gonna <laughs> are they gonna do a because Bailey was kind of like at fault for her losing. Because she held yeah. down the braid, but the ref caught her. Um, are they going to do like a Batista Triple H feud with Bailey? And yes, they are. And they they've, should, been, they should, they've already been hinting, anyways. This is Bailey. They've been the other one staring at Bailey, and like because oh, he, he has been, he has been sick was, of her crap recently. Hasn't oh, you? I was off. Oh right, uh, yeah. but yeah, right. That you makes don't sense. Watch now. when you're off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, it's yeah. disgusting. Just brush. <laughs> Richard Nix now are there. <laughs> uh, there was the one arm gorilla pressed yeah. by Bianca when she was selling was fantastic. Oh, but she mm. dropped her right on her face. Oh, She's yes. fine. Yeah. Yeah. She landed like a cat, like uh, front, like arms she first, really and then went like, I was like, wow. <laughs> but it's one of those she moments really where people go, oh my God. She's like, yeah, she, she, she take really a bomb. She's the all queen right. of the skies or whatever. But not the ground. Oh. Uh, yeah, crowd were really hot. You thought, if you watch this match alone, you'd think that the segments building up to it were like the hottest thing on Raw. Yeah. And rather the dead air they've had mm. otherwise. But fantastic way to start it. Again, sets up EO leaving Damage Catal, who were like, they're done. But EO Sky's Aww. got some. I mean, it, everything's got a shelf life. It's not in a negative yeah, way. So. And I thought the way the match was structured, here's analysis for you, was uh, yeah. adding to the story of the holding her back. Because as the match went on more and more, she started doing yep. more big moves, like the the X Factor counter, I've called it. Yes. I don't know what they call oh, it. Yes. Uh, the big moons. Kidman. Yeah, the big moons sort off the top rope. Yep. Um, then the reversal deadlift, deadlift powerbomb thing that Bianca did to turn the tide. Oof. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oof. The kick out and the pop. Oof. <laughs> well, there's a reason that Bianca's yeah. in the position. She is good. Yeah. yeah. But I used to think people are... Getting a bit sick of her, and I feel bad for her. Just needs she's doing more. her very best. No, no, no. This is one crowd. Just needs more right. jeopardy. Uh, she's got another another year to build up. After to Mania, things. though, they were unhappy as well. Mm. She's a bit more jeopardy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. the feuds are pretty yes. much the same every time. Like you know, yeah. ganged up a little bit, and then she wins. Mm. Yeah, it's always hard having the the number one person, the baby face, being so strong and dominant. It's like yeah, but I have someone interesting for them. Mm. Oh, Moss. That's the next one. That's right. And also, and also, the next match. <laughs> hey. Seth Rollins beats Omos with a super duper stomp from the toppy tippy toppy bro. <laughs> all I said in the notes fine. was super duper stomp. <laughs> That's all I said. It says there. You can't read it. Um, oh, man. I am an Omos sapien. I'm, I'm getting him. Oh, hi. Now that he likes anime. Really trying hard. I don't know. We could have a conversation if we met. I know that, like, Rollins <laughs> has had to, like, well, would he be able to hear you? <laughs> Sorry. I know that Rollins. What's the one I like with that? <laughs> <laughs> I know that. Um, can you see the top of Mount Fuji? <laughs> <laughs> I can see the bottom. <laughs> I know that. Um, 
I know that it's Rollins who's like leading the match and like bumping all over the place for him and stuff, but you've got to respect the effort almost put in as well. I yep. was, I had, if I had to guess how many minutes this match would have went, I would, I think it probably went about 10 minutes and I would not <coughs> have guessed anywhere close to that. So fair play to them. Yeah, and I look almost blocking the stomp with his shit good. By having a big neck. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I think last year did that earlier, but it's just with almost it's like, no, I'm taller than him. Oh, and the proper pause and that, and they're like, whoa. Like, listen, it's, it's physics. <laughs> Omos is way better than he has any right to be. I thought he was going to be like as bad as the great, like like great Carly levels. See, this is great. I'm like, no Russell's, offense to the great he's Carly. Like, no, no, he's no. like, oh, two great Carly, not oh, eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like Russell's though, like, no, I know what I'm capable of, and I'm going to stick to it. Yeah. And it's fine with that. But he's better than like loads of historic. Men like big, not just a big men wrestlers, like gigantic wrestlers. He's better than loads of them. Yeah, fair play to him. Go on, Omos. Yeah. You know what? There was just too much posing when it came to Omos. I felt like a boxing cornerman watching this match. Like, stay on him, man. <laughs> stay on him. Not down. No, no, don't do that. Stay on him. <laughs> just like I was shouting that to you. He did the, the snake eyes, big boot combo, just like yeah. Undertaker. Yeah, yeah. Lovely stuff. Um, and either build to the the stumps was done well, like with the blocking of the one, then kick it out of two. I think didn't he? You're thinking, yes. how's Rollins going to do it? So, so yeah. he went up the top rope and did a massive one. Right. But we need a, a win for Omos now because he's yeah. lost. He's lost now to Rollins, Lesnar, Strowman, Lashley in the big pay-per-view matches. Mm. And he's only won one big pay-per-view match and that was against Lashley at WrestleMania Backlash last yeah. year. So he yep. needs a win. Who, it's tricky because who's a face who wouldn't, Natalia. Who wouldn't feed to... <laughs> 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 yes, there we go. I don't know. Someone, uh, who else? Who else? Who, who is there? With I've a lost bit track. Of I always, it always takes me a while after the draft to to work out who's on which brand. Yeah, there has that problem as well. Yeah. Ziggler, stick him in there. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> I'm doing the Goldberg match again. Do you reckon he almost could throw Ziggler oh, and make him just thing. go up the ramp and he'd reach the entrance Maybe. way? Yeah. It's the yeah. best thing Ziggler's ever done. That it was really good. He plays curls with him. Is that all you've got, Goldberg? Oh. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> this was followed by Austin Theory stealing one against Bobby Lashley and Bronson Reed to retain the US title. He has, but I really like Bronson. I liked his yeah. weird splash backwards off the ropes to mm. the outside. He's really boingy, isn't he? <laughs> That's what I always think of him. He's he very had a, bo- He had a cage match once in NXT. Very buoyant, you mean? Buoyant. <laughs> very buoyant. Buoyant. <laughs> Ooh, la la. It'd be a good week for Matthew versus Words. <laughs> He's very... Words is winning again. I remember he had, a, he had a match in NXT once. It might have been when he won the North American title. I can't remember who it was. Against might have been Strickland, th- don't know. But he spent the whole match basically. It was a cage match, and he spent the whole match bouncing off. The- it was like a boss battle, and his boss tactic was just bouncing off the ropes, doing splashes. He's really All good right. at that. Yeah, I'm glad more boinginess, please, Bronson. <laughs> Boingy Bronson. <laughs> the, <laughs> the only thing that held the match back for me was the length. It was only six minutes and fifty one seconds. It? I was yeah. all right with it. Well, just, uh, don't need to have all these matches go crazy long. Yeah, I thought it was just all action. Everyone played their part well. Wasn't quite the level of the uh, three way that had a Survivor Series. It was yeah, Lashley, was... Rollins, and Theory. But yeah, yeah, it was still just a big, big bad fun. Yeah. Oh, it was nice into locking stuff like the hurt lock into the pin, mm. and then Bronson off the top. Yeah, tsunami. Yeah, lovely. Um, <laughs> I <laughs> that's far on the beach. <laughs> really thought about it, and I agree that. It might have been shorter than expected, but maybe that's not a bad necessarily bad thing. Yeah, maybe they were holding back more time for the, the hometown people. Aye, especially when there's not going to be a title change. Especially because Rhea Ripley successfully defended her title against Selena Vega, who got a massive standing ovation after the match. Which and followed before, that, so. actually. Mm. Zelina's uncle Robert wrestled Bruno Samaritano. Did you know that? No, I didn't. <laughs> who, is it? who is her uncle? <laughs> Robert who? Rude? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> In the world, no, don't know. I don't know it was his cousin, <clears throat> cousin Robert. I don't, my cousin Vinny. In, a, in the words of, I think, Owen Mawson, when we were watching this, heartless Owen Mawson, he went, Stop crying. Oh. 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 Owen, come Let's on. Let's push now. Owen onto Anfield. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Just before mm-hmm. kickoff yeah. and see if he makes it through. Yeah. Die. Yeah. yeah. What was uh, the was all, was bit all... about? Is that because kids get they, they kept saying in the commentary yeah. like that, that's based on what like mums do or whatever. Like Cole explained it. It's actually a very good oh, job wait. It. Hang on. It might have been Aiden. I watched it with Aiden as well. <laughs> he seems more likely to be like, stop crying, man, what are you doing? Because then I explained the flip-flop thing to Aiden and the room went silent. They went, laughing about beating up children. I was like, listen, I, I don't... I, I, I've all been there. I've been tanned, my ass being tanned yeah. by a flip-flop in my days. Apparently, they deserved it. <laughs> the, well, the crowd loved it. The crowd like, liked it. We've okay. all been naughty kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, crazy level of hot here. Uh, it was based around can the upset happen? They did a really good job there, because which helped because Lena Vega hasn't really been pushed. Ooh, Jesus. 
Really being it pushed. was a short push. Someone's been pushed yeah. over him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. But obviously, like, okay, look, we're in your area, you get the title shot. But they did a good job of like, it could happen, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't could happen watch. to Sami Zayn, but it'll happen to you. I could watch Rhea Ripley sell a Zelina Vega Tornado DDT all day long. She's so good at taking the DDTs, isn't she? Um, yeah, there was a couple of good crowd popping, well, uh, bigger crowd popping moments with like paying tribute to Ray and Eddie. Mm. Um, but it, it, I thought it was the right call for Ray not to really get out of third gear against Selena oh, Vega. Oh, Ray had stole the thing. Uh, she did the thing. How dare she? Oh, it's, more sure, it's more driving the bus. No, it's, <laughs> you're, more, you're more sort of showing off your breasts. That's what you've got to think when you're doing it to get the. Anyway, let him shut off his brain. Uh, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think, think Charvo just exploded watching this show. <laughs> um, and I, the, the, ki the, the, the kick reversal thingy that Ray yeah. did, which is on the mat to like turn the tie of the match, was really good. And then mm. just the, the, the sheer cavorka of the, uh, the power bump at the end. Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. yeah good, good for what it was, definitely. Fantastic. And the ovation after the bell. I it. like a, a stand yeah. ovation. So I, oh man, I, I did a tweet in the build up to Backlash thinking this. If this comes off, I'm going to retweet my own tweet and look like a genius. And it was, I was just searching because I thought they were going to do the thing where I was like, there's no way Zelina's going to win. But I, th I thought they'd get a, a Puerto Rican celebrity in to hit, to deck Vega afterwards. And like in a Tyson Shawn Michaels way, but okay, yeah, yeah. to send the crowd home happy from this, well, not send them home happy, but end the segment on a positive note. So I Googled Puerto Rican celebrities or wrestlers or something like mm -hmm. that. The, the current, like, undisputed middleweight boxing champion or whatever of the world is a Puerto Rican woman. And she is being trained also by Amazing Red. And I was like, I just convinced oh. myself more and more reading it. I was like, she's going to be there. She's going to come out. Yeah. She's going to deck. And even though there was no evidence to suggest that she was, I just kept reading all these clues. And I was like, she's into wrestling. She's trained by Amazing Red. <laughs> she's a big athlete in Puerto Rico. She's definitely going to come out and be a Rhea Ripley. Tweeted it. I'm not trying to... Go Look on. how many followers I've got. Go it on. got two likes, which is <laughs> oh. a bizarre. <laughs> not, I'm not saying, like, I'm not being like, <laughs> well, I'm going to get so many <laughs> likes. But I've tweeted bollocks before and just randomly got enough bots liking it. Do you know what I mean? Two likes. What's happened on Twitter? And then, you know, you can now see the views next to it. For some reason, that one only got seen like by 100 people. And I was like, what's Did you going include on? a link? No. I included oh. two f images. Oh. One of her, the what boxer, and one of, I think maybe like the Wikipedia page saying she's a wrestling fan or something. Elon. I know that's why I was like, what's <laughs> happened here then? Elon's but, like, he knows too much. But everyone I've tried to talk to about it just goes, oh, Billy Big Bollocks with your Twitter followers and all that. So, I don't know. It's about years later, Jack finds his name on the Elon's list of enemies. <laughs> <laughs> See, I he didn't it. like the final deletion back in 2016. Uh, I hated him. <laughs> Ross is so much better than him. <laughs> Elon's a big Ross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, That's not something I want, really. Uh, well, you get the get, rub. Give you some money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I thought Elvis Crespo was going to be the guy that was going to show up because I only he does suavemente. Oh. Suave. Okay. No idea song. what you're talking nah, about. Nah, nah. The, the, <laughs> I, that's why no one liked that tweet either. So there we go. We all. Oh, I bet you got more than. Bet you got more than two likes though. I, I got one and a half. Damn it! <laughs> Don't know how it was possible. But then, yes, the main event followed this for some reason. Uh, Bad Bunny defeated Damien Priest oh. after Judgment Day. I fought off by the LWO and um, uh, who was to say that? Oh, that can't be right. Savio Vega and Collido. And Collido. The, the that was not included on the notes. We didn't talk about the pop Savio got earlier in the night. Right? It, was oh. it was included in the notes. Was it? Oh, Matthew forgot to read it out then. You naughty boy. Let me get my sandal and hit you oh on the no, ass. Oh, no, is it not? <laughs> Would you like to find it? Oh, no. Your Honor. Swabby. Oh, no. Swabby. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I do apologize, Matthew. I'm sorry. Amazing red. I've been foiled. <laughs> Boxing heavyweight champion. <laughs> but yeah, Bad Bunny came out. Uh, the biggest guy in the world. Had his little trolley of weapons like Raven. Car, car, car. That was so Raven. Yeah, which is you know another was, animal. What was amazing though, because he starts doing the entrance and he goes, whoa, whoa. Mm. And the crowd go, mm. oh, oh they, they? Shut, they shut up. Yeah, okay, whatever you say about Bunny. Ah, and he went and got his little trolley and they were like, wah. Just a master of his craft. <laughs> I thought the trolley <laughs> was a bit too close to the front row. So when he took the sheet off, someone could have just reached out and picked up one of the kendo sticks. I was like, oh my God. Another thing I've got to mention um, on SmackDown at the very end, because obviously you, you, know, you paid right at the very end. He wasn't wearing like something he just got off the website oh. or something like that. He had a WWF hoodie. Which... Old logo, scratch logo. Yeah. And it was 20 years to the day, no, no, sorry, maybe the week, I beg your pardon, that they did the change. 
Mm. Just a historian, he's a historian. Isn't he? <laughs> That's unreal. He's the guy Tom Michael Colton, the headset, mentioned that my uncle beat Bruno. Wrestling, like celebrity wrestling fans, oh, have, the, uncle, have the best wrestling drip. Wale wears some like old wrestling merch, and it they don't just they don't just go for the WWE shop stuff. So oh, I'm glad no, the no, Bad no, Bunny's no. in the same bracket there. Ah, if we wore the same things they wear. You just think they're a virgin. They're going to die alone. <laughs> but they wear it, and it looks very good on them. Yeah. To, I've had to learn this, because, you know, you go to like, uh, any place that sells clothes, and there's other pictures of the models wearing it. You go, whoa, I could buy the thing they're wearing. I'll look as cool as that person. And you wear it, and you look at yourself in the mirror, and you're just like, I could see that screenshot appearing on the, the Chronicle. With I talked Man to arrested for stealing dogs. I talked a picture the other day of me wearing an Alexa Bliss T-shirt when I had one all over yeah. and oh god all right. how I even dared walked out the house looking like that is a mystery to me what would the frat boys have thought oh <laughs> the god <laughs> they probably think, walking away thinking because I'm on some sort of register <laughs> thank god thank god I changed that up anyway um, from yeah. that to this amazing appearance from yeah Bad Bunny studies like like almost studies the game knows what he's capable of doing and Damien Priest is able to help him get through this match with loads of brawling lashings of weapons say what you were going to say yeah, he did hit him with a shoot. Which no good driver. <laughs> Sorry, I said it like a different way. I just got too. We had to excited. cut out the yeah. Suave. Well, on my voiceover, I called it a oh, I called it a sit out power slam in the comments. Were oh. like, no, you didn't. Power slam, no, Jack. you didn't. Are Student you of the game. Cool. Listen, bad buddy should sit there talking about wrestling. It, it's hard watching the wrestling and taking notes when all the lads are the band is flying around between the editors in the room. You know what they get like, Banda. Joel. You've been there. Aiden was there as well, so. He was just, oh, God. Vera laying on in the background. It's hard to gauge how good a match is when Aiden's there. Joe's like, don't bring me into this. It's hard to gauge how good a match is when Aiden's there because he loves complaining about the wrestling. So even if a match is excellent, with him there, it knocks off two stars from your overall match rating. <laughs> like, I, I thought the Rhea Ripley Charlotte match at Mania was crap until I watched it back because I watched it with Aiden. Oh. <laughs> That's why I was like watching my mates because my mates are always like, yeah, get in, get in. Mm. Like they suddenly get re they be as cynical as hell the rest of the week. And then it's like watching it live is like, ooh. Mm. So yeah, this match is lovely. And you had to remind yourself, hang on, this sorry, is Aiden. This yeah, sorry, Aiden. <laughs> lovely boy. Oh, lovely boy. Um that this isn't um <laughs> that sounded a bit different the way you said. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> this, this isn't a wrestler. Is a now. <laughs> this isn't uh Damn it. <laughs> Another one bites the dust. <laughs> this isn't just some lad getting in the ring, happens to be famous lad or something like that. It's he's one of the maybe even the biggest in terms of hits, like Apparently musical so. artist. He's in like the world. most streamed on Spotify. Or yeah. yeah. So it's him doing it. So that's why the crowd's deafening in their love for him. Uh, and try to think what what would be a comparison like way back in the day if like. All right. Eamon Mid Holmes. All right, Roddy Piper. <laughs> <laughs> Roddy Piper, me, Hogan, um, and my number one pick, Tears for Fears. <laughs> I could have come to get ye. Yeah, who would it be? I saw a tweet saying, I don't know if it is on the same level, but then I wouldn't know any different, really, but Michael Jackson was, I saw the comparison mm. on Twitter. It'd be like if we're in 1988 and Michael Jackson yeah. got in the ring to fight Hogan or whatever. That's it. it is mad, though, because... I've never, Bad Bunny's never, there's never been a musician who's made me feel more disconnected now from current music than Bad Bunny. Because he's so popular. Maybe he's bigger over the pond, I guess, than he is here. He's got a presence here because Kate, my girlfriend's got a friend who really likes Bad Bunny. So my girlfriend was like, whoa, look at right. Bad Bunny doing this or taking this Falcon Arrow through a table on the wrestling in Puerto oh. Rico. She's like, oh my God, I can't believe this is a thing. Right. So he has got a presence here. But as we say, yeah, it's not nowhere near as he big as over like there. He's not yeah. as big here as he is over there, yeah. But mm. it is clearly massive that he's doing it. Mm. Fair play to him. I mean, they're going to have to get, you know. All right, the Street Profits going to have to take on uh, BTS. Right. <laughs> Beat this next time. Oh, get them on Dynamite. Because the song. Yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Get Tony Khan in the front and centre. <laughs> Sing along. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, great, crazy thing there. The, obviously, oh, it should have been the main event. This was the main event. Yeah. It's what we'll be saying in 20 years' time on this channel. Like we used to say about, you know, Hogan and Rock. WrestleMania X8. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we'll yeah, be speaking yeah. about Backlash 2023 20, in the same yeah. vein. Have, having said that, though, the next matches weren't too bad. Like, so we didn't mention like, Carlito, did we? We did very briefly, but sorry. <laughs> and Carlito showed up, and man, is he big for a man who eats his apples every he day. He is. And Savio Vega doing a quang. Yes. Finn Balor got quanged because Finn Balor loves quang. Yes. Right. That and was to pop Finn Balor. Yeah, and we also yep. learned that Savio and quang are the same guy, which was a shock to me. <gasps> Who believes it? it? Uh, no, uh, Graves got a nice line. Wow, TNT exploding here. Because that's one of the names he's used for his wrestling career. <laughs> Graves is good. I saw a thing saying BT Sport are going to rename to TNT TV it, or yeah. something. Is it, are they actually? 
No, nope. that's never going to take off. Never going to take off. Oh, yeah. That sounds like an adult channel. I, look, it took me a while to get rid of, used to ITV X. <laughs> yeah, that is weird, though. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. I still call it more four. So I'm trying to think what else there is to what say is about it now? this big one. Awful. It's more four. Or is it four on demand? It's more four. More four. Four on demand is what All I the call fours. It. Yeah. 44. What do you call the arena in Newcastle? Because it's now the utility. <laughs> Telly West, you go out of there. Wow. Not West, isn't it? I still think of it as the there. Metro Radio. Oh. Uh, it's never the Nat West, was it? Telly West. Telly West. It was yeah. Telly West, then I'm Metro. West and Telly West. Then Utility, up. yeah. And Go West. Was there one between Metro Radio and Utility? No? I don't think so. I still no. think of it as the Metro Radio Arena, not the yeah. Utility, though. I'll never forget that day they unveiled it as the Metro Radio Arena because Tony Horn in the morning was teasing oh. this big announcement. He Tony Khan it, basically. <laughs> he was like, we've got this big thing coming up next week. You may want to miss it. And then I was in the car going to yeah. school and it was just like, we've bought the rights to the arena. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Good well. for you. And you're like, wow, I'm glad I didn't miss that. Yeah. Mm. Bad Bunny was like Hardy Race, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Working the knee. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, and it worked out great because <laughs> you're like, all right, Priest does need that to do his South Heaven stuff like that, and he's there just limping along. He can't quite hit it. That was a good thing he did at the start of the match as well. He did the, he did the South Heaven, then picked them up because he didn't take them seriously, yeah. and it bit him on the Puerto Rican ass. Yeah. The the bit <laughs> where they went into the crowd on the production crates. Yeah. The, Priest absolutely nailed that Falcon Arrow off. Yeah. It was a difficult thing to do, and they both did it perfectly yep. and landed it perfectly. And at first, when they went up there, I was like, they're doing a Triple H taker at WrestleMania 17. <laughs> but imagine if they'd done that at <laughs> WrestleMania I'm 17. Like, just found Mike Kewitt on the floor yeah. just having a nap for no reason. <laughs> hey, why did why did he lay down for that long in that WrestleMania match? Yeah, he did. He was tired. Did he, did he lie down for the whole bit in the, the crowd? The whole yeah. outside oh, wow. bit, yeah. Uh, One of the longest ref bumps in history. So. <laughs> but yeah, Priest was great. Yeah, like I said, it's a great yeah. carry job, but like, yeah, it's also good himself. His presence. There's the reports that they apparently now, I don't know who reported it, saying that they see him as a top level guy now. And it, yeah. it isn't just on Saturday as well, because I, for the longest time, I thought he was like the leader of the Judgment Day, because he got the majority of the promo time. Obviously, more recently, I think people are saying that Balor or Rhea is the actual leader. If there even is one, maybe they're all, maybe they're just four roots. <laughs> well, they, all, they all four lose. Roots <laughs> Stop it, no. Uh. But it's like, I love this delivery of the promos where it's sounding like an insurance country. A country company? <laughs> Ah, what the hell? Insurance company. I love it when you make you pretend uh, to flub something to make me look eloquent. No, I, I appreciate don't, that, uh, Ross. It's um, but like, you always end the promos like, and that's because the, your local do the Judgment Day have been. But you know, the end of the promo. Oh, like eight hundred double uh, O Judgment, judgment Day. <laughs> really good. We forgot to say as well. Bad Bunny Eddie decapitated himself off the the sliced bread. Oh, do's. Mm. It was good. It was Uno good. does twice. Oh, know. he's good. <laughs> cinco, cinco says. If him and it's not how you count. If him and Logan count. Paul had a match together, would it fall apart because neither of them's the? I don't uh, think they're at that level. Yeah, no, no, right, no, no, okay. no, no, no. I want to do a video this week, but I didn't have time. Why would you sit down, great minds of the professional wrestling world, and say who is the better wrestler? I was Ooh. thinking this on my way into work. Today. Logan Paul, a bad bunny. I was thinking this because I was thinking if they were having a match together, who would lead the match? And I was forced to concede I think Logan Paul is better than him, which is, sounds awful to say, especially in the aftermath of Backlash. I reckon Logan has had more matches without the help of a stipulation or whatever. I don't think it's... Fought, well, apparently think... Logan practices for a month with uh, Shawn Michaels, like doing it spot for spot, like a okay. dance routine. So we'll have to find out how Bad Bunny prepares for his matches uh... and then compare. Unless uh... Bad Bunny's just a straight shooter. Do you reckon if they both... Have... <laughs> <laughs> Bad Bunny's like, we'll call him the ring. <laughs> I reckon if they were both... It feels like Bad Bunny's more of a natural talent. Oh, they're both good. They're both, I don't know. It's well, a hard that, that, question, that sounds like a longer debate for a different yeah. time. Despite not getting along really well, the Bloodline beat Riddle, Owens, and Zayn. It looks like Solo might attack Jay afterwards, but Jimmy calms things down for now. Oh. Again, it, the fact that they have to follow that was like, all right, good luck there. Yeah. But a lot of crowd pleasing fun because the guys are still over in the match and more Bloodline dissension. It maybe would have meant more if this had cost them the match, but it didn't spoil it or anything like that. That's what I mean. We're inching forwards. Inching. Uh, the yeah. predominant reaction I saw online medium. while this match was going on was people saying, why is this feud still going on? Mm. I know it's not really about Zayn and Owens anymore. It's more about the infighting yeah. of the Birdline, but they could have done that against any opponents. It didn't have to be Owens and Zayn. So It was the bit where Jey Uso had Sammy in the corner and he was shouting like, you've done this to my family, whatever he was shouting to Sammy. And I was like... Mm. That, we've done this now. We've, yeah. we've got past that point in the story. Yeah. Get, like, make it all about them. Um, oh, but... it's interesting that Triple H, like, a face will lose. Cody loses and he gets shuffled off. Like, well, Lesnar now. He's all about Lesnar yeah. and the other belt. A heel loses. They can't let go. Mm -hmm. They've always got to get one more chance in that. Yeah. Weird. Ah, so Bloodline. Ah. Ah, yeah. 
Um, aye, there was a lovely moment where Jay was tagging himself in, and Solo was like, what the hell, man? And Jay replies, me, big bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Storytelling, He's fantastic. Conserving the energy by using as few words as possible to convey his message. <laughs> I like that. Story maker, story maker. And then we got lots of work to the story. <laughs> <laughs> and then we get to the bit where Solo was just thumbing everybody <laughs> oh no <laughs> spiking everybody whoa and no he gets the bit where god <laughs> <laughs> looks like he wanted to get jay after nearly saving oh. jay from a near or after saving jay from a near fall and then he teased the spike and it it, it it flashed before my eyes like imagine what would have happened if he did mm. but he didn't and so we carry on until he does because it's going to happen but we're yeah. taking our time to get there i can't wait <laughs> for like this podcast <laughs> solo to turn face and for vince to make him smile all the time <laughs> I just see someone that I can't imagine ever smiling. So just the thought of him going, yeah. Yeah. that Tony Blair smile. See, like the <laughs> Friends episode where they learn the Chandler can't smile in photos, and he just starts like, doing yeah. it's like that. That's why I've I think. got a case of that. Like I can't either. Oh, yeah. you can smile. No. I can't. I can't do a teeth smile. Not on demand. A teeth. Oh, no, I try not. To, yeah, I do the. Yeah. If I get a good short on, I will get a good smile going. Oh, uh, yeah. I can't mid, mid photo. Yeah. Can't yeah. do a smile on demand. That's too much. Too much. They call you it more tickle. smile now, not smile on demand. <laughs> okay, Four good. smile. Yeah. Cody Rhodes rolls up Brock Lesnar to win in the main event before getting out there like Ross Kemp on cactus. <laughs> nice. I oh, sensed it was about to trouble. kick off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knocked at the door and ran away. Yeah, because he didn't run away, like sprint away, but he definitely he removed himself from the situation. It's probably best to get out of the situation right yeah. now, yes. Uh, I think Lesnar's matches live and die on the crowd's reaction. So, of course, this crowd made it work because they were on fire. Uh, I like Cody bravely getting the turnbuckle pad and then probably like, no, giving him a suplex and it flying out in the crowd. Yeah. <laughs> um, it did not get thrown back. That was nice. That's a bit of memory billia. Yeah. <laughs> that's not the word, is it? Memory, memory billia. billia. <laughs> Up the memory billia. Yeah. We, uh, memory billia. <laughs> I prefer that, the memory billia. <laughs> Cody... Is a despicable heel because he attacked him before the bell during his entrance. No, I liked it. The dive at the start and everything. It was exciting. That's because he was confident after shoot punching him in the face and knocking him down in one strike. He did. Yeah. It was a bit of Logan Paul, wasn't it? <laughs> he like knocked him down. I couldn't believe it, me. I yeah. still can't. One shot from Cody Rhodes knocks down Brock Lesnar. Yeah. Yeah. Outrageous. Um, I liked the match itself. It's just the booking. Does it help Cody at all, really? Especially... Oh, no, I would disagree. Okay. I think, I, well, first of all, I like Brock Lesnar in the spirit of Puerto Rico matches of old. Bust himself open hard way. Good lad there. Good lad. Like Carlos Colon and Abdullah and all the rest. Uh, yeah, it was okay. I'm going to have to take the pain to get the submission victory here. It, all wasn't, right. it wasn't a schoolboy roll up or anything bollocks like that. Tactics, wasn't it? Yeah, it's like, all right, I'm in this lock. Well, this is going to hurt, but only for three seconds. The, ah, the, going the ultimate the opportunist, Cody Rhodes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know they're both amateur wrestling boys but Lesnar was like more of an amateur wrestling boy he was like the NCAA champion and stuff wasn't he he was the final boy I know yeah. that because Kurt Angle that promo goes oh what you won NCAA Pfft, whatever I was winning NCAA titles when you were still playing Hungry Hungry Hippos yes. <laughs> I almost <laughs> call them Happy Happy Hippos <laughs> it is crazy the levels that it goes up isn't it because Angle literally was the best one in the world he won the gold medal well, he didn't. He never really mentions it though. <laughs> no, it's, it's, yeah thank you yeah. for bringing that to our attention yeah but you know, this that that was back then. Chad Gable was an Olympian, wasn't he? That's yeah, right. That, that's right. the that's the state of people Joe that Hendry, used to be the Commonwealth global hero. Um, that the people used to be. Um, they obviously paved the way for people like um, Wings of Redemption and Boogie Woogie who have that boxing match soon. I'm just remembering one for Joe. Yeah, there you go. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I talked about that last week. Wings of Redemption. Yeah. What's oh that? my God! What's Wings of an Redemption? An old Call of Duty streamer from like 08, 09, oh, right. way back, like before uh, Machinima, I think. Taking on <laughs> Machinima. Yeah, they were. Now we've they met take... Stephen Larson. They used to work at Machinima. Apparently. Oh, oh <laughs> God, they did, didn't they? Jesus. I don't know. Is, is that the guy like... I had on Straight to Hell? Is that his name? No, no, Machinima's a... Oh, what? Wings of Redemption? No, no, no you haven't had it. Machinima is like... Machinima's like an old... Who are you thinking of? Sorry. Gaming YouTube channel. Oh, his name. The curly hair fella. He used to be friends. He did stuff with Stephen Larson. Oh, right. Way oh, back in the day. Nerd Cube. Nerd Cube. Oh, oh you're Nerd Cube, Don. Oh, yeah. nice. That's still a hell of a thing. That was yeah. He's a wrestling fan. Oh, that's nice. But... Yeah, he's taking on um, his boog <laughs> is it Boogie or Boogity Boogity? I can't remember how you actually say his name. Boogie. Boogie. Well, they're having a boxing match, Boogie. are they? Yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Silla Black. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have a Laura Laura. <laughs> yes, we are. Laura Laura boxing. <laughs> seems, like it's, seems like it's kind of... Seems like it's very you, kind of. This is a very, like... 
I, I sort of hating the idea of just like, right, we've got some lads who were belly qualified to get in the ring and they're going to box. It's like, oh, God, this is horrible, this. But now I'm just turned. Uh, you, they used to, to do it on things. MTV, didn't they? Celebrity boxing. Oh, yeah. Like, who's on there? Like, the ice skater ice? woman who um, got the other one. Started. Jane Torvald. Nancy Carrigan. No, uh, <laughs> the one who, Tonya Harding. Didn't she do celebrity? She oh, became a boxer, no, didn't she? Tonya Harding. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so miserable. <laughs> Oh, I told you Tony Hahn went from a boyfriend to go. <laughs> yeah, she Nancy Kerrigan. <laughs> Have you heard about the ice skating thing in America in the nineties <laughs> or eighties? Oh, it's crazy. It's mad. There's two ice skaters, right? They're both really <laughs> yeah, good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then one of them got attacked by an assailant who like smashed her knee or her ankle or something with like a weapon. <laughs> and it turns out the other one might allegedly have paid him off to do it oh. to injure her competition. It's like the cycling dog from earlier. Yes. Yes, yeah, 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 right, yeah. She got took out by a dog <laughs> with a stick taped to its back. But one of them was, like, one of them was, like, a bit rough and, like, came from, like, a rural back. The other one's, like, Miss America type. Mm. So it was probably, it was, like, a film. And then they did make a film yeah. where she got played by Margot Robbie. I need to watch up. I do as well. Huh? I was going to say, we missed Backlash. the best bit of the match Go from on. Cody and Brock. Oh, is it the Is it the start when... <clears throat> Cody's on one, and he starts for no reason oh. doing the Crash Holly walk yeah, he round was. the ring. Oh, crash was yeah. the crash walk. Oh, unbelievable. I mean, the story of the match was fine. Cody getting beat down, Brock Lesnar burst it open. But, ooh, ooh, burst open. You know, yeah, yeah. It pretty much is at this point. That's okay. My main memory is yeah. the Crash Holly walk round <laughs> the ring. That was the meme that went around after the show. So it was... Uh, uh, the, 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 the cats from Tom and Jerry, when they go, we've got a job to do, guys. <laughs> so now... Is it? Uh, it's Jerry's like nephew or somebody or cousin. The He's a tough one. one who beats the hell out of Tom. Oh, right. So he has to ring up the you know. The lads. Has to ring up the APA of cards to go. <laughs> so I'm out. I'll tell you though, Cody's not the only culprit for the Crash Holly walk. Becky Lynch does it all the time. If you don't know, it's Becky. She's she's getting get hard though. The... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. I'll break your kneecaps <laughs> if you're mentioning my daughter again. That's what she said on Twitter this week. Yeah, Trish Stratus. I wish they'd not. Cut a promo shot. We'll get to that. <laughs> Monday Night Raw. Becky, you know, Mike. I have a Cody opens the show and talks about beating Lesnar. And now he wants to focus on the World Heavyweight Championship. No, Cody, why? It makes no sense. Let the tournament commence. He yells yeah, he, like, he opens, like Shao Kahn. <laughs> yeah, he opens the tournament as well. Yeah. He uh, got screwed at WrestleMania, that uh, man, by Solo thumbing him again. Back yeah. to that. Up the Solo. Oh, he's gone now. <laughs> he thumbed him up the he's Solo. Th- <laughs> <laughs> Tony Atlas, no. <laughs> uh, We've got some thumb love around this table. In the I was going to say, is, Cody Rhodes starts dressed in the PR colours uh, and all the stuff. Immediately, I'm missing the, the Puerto Rican crowd noises. Oh, this yeah, crowd was yeah. immediately really bad. Yep. Jacksonville. Well, they, well, it's AEW country. A wrestling hotbed, <laughs> allegedly. Come on now. Yeah, right. They had to pipe in so much fake noise, it was distracting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Seth Rollins wins a first round triple threat against Damian Priest and Nakamura. Priest still selling his leg. Yes. And Rollins went, oh. <laughs> During his head was like, oh, I can target that thing. It was good. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. Well done, Kevin Dunn. Mm. If it is his call to shoot Rollins while he was looking at the knee. Yeah. Yeah, so, the props where it's due, yeah. Subtly in rest, su- subtlety in wrestling. Yes. We're getting back in. Uh, but uh, <laughs> the other subtle bit of the match, Kevin Patrick going, forget about the coronation. Here's the king, Nakamura. <laughs> and Graves went, you're Irish. I didn't realize you were that much of a fan of the royal family. Oh, <laughs> wow. Fair enough. Um, you, yeah. know the, you know the the Americans get like good punditry for the Champions League because they've got that Kate Abdo presenter and then she just has a laugh with Thierry Henry, Jamie yeah, yeah. Carragher and Mika yeah. Richards. And they put Henri in a cape and crown after <laughs> celebrating the coronation. Yeah. And he's there going like, these are the changes I would make to the football <laughs> if, I was, if I was the king. It's really funny. They just have a laugh, those. Oh, they look grand, don't they? Yeah, yeah. Was it, was it the clip? Uh, uh, international. Right? I don't know. Oh, oh, Jimmy yeah. Carragher yeah, was trying yeah. to say it internationally. Oh, right, right. Oh, he's did. trying to speak we to them. Um, he yeah. did that. Who was it? Was Raf- was it Raphael Leal he's trying to talk to? Right. And he's trying to like speak slightly Italian without <laughs> without doing like an Italian Steve McLaren oh, thing. Oh god, that was like, international. <laughs> the one where she absolutely the, the presenter absolutely <laughs> has Richards' life because she goes, I'm joined by Champions League winner Thierry Henry, <laughs> Champions League winner Jamie Carragher, Aww. and the man with four appearances in the Champions League. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> it's very good. That's not actually introduced Cody Rhodes at this point. <laughs> so yeah, he won. Well done, pal. Um, yeah, he was big... given lots of time to make it seem serious. Crowd was into it as much as they could be. They just got all their big moves in, didn't they? All yep. three lads. And it was a nice finish where it looked like Damien was going to uh, tap out because of his injured knee, mm. only for Rollins to be the new ultimate opportunist, taking the crown from Cody Rhodes in that stakes to uh, steal one. If Rollins doesn't win this tournament, I'll be gobsmacked. Yeah, I can't think of anybody else. Uh, it's going to be him versus an old yeah. boy, though. Who's in the other half of the bracket? Oh, Edge. Edge and Styles is my two favourites. Hasn't Edge always mm. wanted a match with Rollins I as think well? so, yeah. Mm. Oh, good for him. But I saw that the bracket and everyone apart from Theory is an old boy on SmackDown. Oh. Yeah. Apparently, I was off the week of the draft, I think, but what, apparently Edge was one of the draft picks. Yeah, mm. and Trish Stratus was. Why? <laughs> <laughs> That's silly. Yeah. I hate the WWE draft. <laughs> it's nonsensical, isn't it? Yes, it is. Owens and Zayn get in an argument with the Imperium boys backstage. They warn the champs that they'll be sorry next week when Gunther arrives. They were really funny. They were like a town cry, weren't they? The Ring General is coming next week. Huzzah! Pip, hooray! The Ring General is coming next week. Bing bong. Staff announcement. Gunther will be turning next week. That's a really good tannoy effect you managed to do with your voice Thank you very much. Owens and Zane say, shut up, let's wrestle. It would have been really funny if we went, no, we just want to declare Gunther's here. But yeah, they do wrestle because they're good lads. Yeah. Owens has a match against Mustafa Ali, who gets distracted by Chad Gable and Maxine Dupree, arguing on the outside, and bloody hell, Ali wins. Yeah! Well, uh, but also, ah, oh, because Otis lost. Otis. But yeah! I was going to say, it's easy to lose when you get distracted when Otis is going, hey, where's the rest of MMM? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> and whoop, roll up. Who are also recently uh, have been in the news for being someone that backstage people like in WWE and they might get a push. It's weird that they say that, and they haven't been on TV for bloody ages. Apparently, yeah, that was addressed in the report. I think it was a Fightful article, but they said that they've been getting really good live, excuse me, like house show reactions, so it might lead to them getting back on telly. They just, need, okay. they just need to transfer. Ah! Did it work? Maybe. It, work? maybe. <laughs> it was more of a... <laughs> no, but I weed a bit. So Sorry, audio good. listeners. <laughs> it was more of a, like, air stuck in my... It's not okay, like okay. traditional hiccups, but they probably work. That, I, Have you seen that scary. thing on uh, Instagram and stuff? When oh. you, you suck all... Like... <gasps> leap at, uh, I can't do it, mate. But you apparently suck all the air in and press down there. Joel knows what I'm talking about. Go on. And he make a noise. He was nodding. <laughs> make a noise. That looks painful. So go you... as much as you can, and then push down on there. Oh, you you had a just silent one. Yeah. But these lasses do on Instagram. They go ah. Oh, well, they're putting that on. Ah. It's in these videos where you do that. And it's like there's a Cassie noise or something. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. That, that's the one. But it's, that it's, was Hodkinson. <laughs> that. that actually was. He's the specialist in this office for that. It's, like, it's how the Muta scale. It's the I'd Andrew hate scale. to live next door to Andrew. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Seven nights a week. Anyway, I was, it was sad to see him. Um, Twice on Sunday. <laughs> uh, oh, I had the double shot. On the, no. <laughs> uh, it was sad to see Otis getting pulled in two different directions. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm, yeah. I'm, I hope he <laughs> picks Maxine soon. Oh, he mm. picks so, Maxine. So Chad Aww. can flourish. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm ready for Chad to flourish. Okay. And I'm ready for circles to be even bigger in Paris. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for that. I, t- I was shocked, though, because it turns out Ali's now beaten both AA members over the last few weeks. Wow. Has he? I can't remember him beating Chad, but oh, Cage yeah, Match yeah, said that, he did. That, 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 that. Oh, yeah. Van Bleu wins another first Van round Bleu. first round triple threat match, beating The Miz and Cody Rhodes after Lesnar runs out to batter Cody. After the bell, Brock puts Cody through the announce table and screams lots of times. He wants a rematch at Night of Champions. It was awkward, Look, wasn't it? <laughs> Look at this face! <laughs> Look at this face! Have you ever watched... Look at my you face. Will, my face is amazing. You will have definitely you watched it because you're weird. No, I'm joking. It's not. <laughs> no, that's true. Go ahead. It'd be pretty you, know, you know Adventure Time. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Damn it. All right. Yeah. Guilty you know, you know the character charge. Lemon Grab. Brock's with with, there's a character in Adventure Time who just yes. screams a lot. He's like, <laughs> he's like, I am in pain. Yeah. Like, that's just his thing. It's just hot, the voice actor must be going through hell, but yeah, he's like, he's never this happy. Is he's always, I can't do he it. He wails all the time. This is unacceptable. It's, <laughs> that, it's that last note change. Yeah. Right? So that Brock and does the, really well. Yeah. Brock is Lemon Grab from uh, Adventure Time. Lovely. So, it yeah. was fantastically effective, though, I thought. Yeah. Brock's face with the screaming, oh. fight? Yeah. Fight? <laughs> Lemon Grab looks a bit like him when he's. I'm going to find him now. I was saying news the other day with Tom that it's like remember the, oh, the release those uh, that go. line of zombified figures back in the day. Oh, I said wow, back in the yeah. day about five or six yeah, years like, yeah. ago. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> it's the screaming face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll find a picture of Brock Lesnar from Raw and put them side by side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I just brought Lesnar with black oh, eyes. He's like the Earl of Lemon Grab. He's a, he's a royalty. Oh, he's going up with the. <laughs> tools, Joel. Tools. Tools, Joel. Time. Yeah. Oh, we're going to find a better one. There we go. Just below the big one you've opened up. Just below. Left, right, right. No. No, no, no. Nah, you click, no, no. Click on the country one. Go on the back one. Go up. Yeah, that, that one. one yeah. yeah. Then, then down, down on the left. There, there you go. There, there wow. you go. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Oh, wow. <laughs> Separated at birth. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I, right anyway um <laughs> daniel cormier over the weekend tweeted oh. you better watch raw tomorrow night Ooh. oh triple h liked the tweet oh lesnar was speaking about having a fight and not a match in saudi arabia oh could the fight pit be a thing in saudi arabia with daniel cormier being the officiate no i can see that <laughs> poor, being poor timothy thatcher first he gets that bloody thing taken off him and now Probably Riddle, I guess. He's had it taken off him. It becomes mm. Brock Lesnar's thing. The former world heavyweight champion. Oh, wait, yeah. I forgot Comey and Lesnar had that thing. Were they going to fight? Yeah, they were going to fight at UFC. And then they didn't. I can't remember why it didn't happen. Ooh. Yeah, I remember Ooh. that happening. That would be a good setup then. If he happens to be doing the ref and he causes Lesnar to lose or whatever. He's just whatever. And then he starts. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah. Hmm. That's a bit of rambling. I'll do a podcast. Oh, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, Dana Brooke. Shows up to remind us all she's still employed. Good for her. Oh. She gets a picture-in-picture picture interview and says, oh, yeah, I'm going to show you that I have untapped potential. She's been there for 10 years in July. <sighs> untapped potential after 10 years in July. I know. She quickly loses to Rhea Ripley <laughs> and gets beaten down afterwards. But have no fear. <laughs> Natalia makes the save. She's also wanting for a, a bit of a crash Holly walk, actually. She wasn't here. Well, no. <laughs> it's a hardcore Hollywood. <laughs> Dana Brooke is dying in the ring, right? And her friend Natalia is coming out to save her. And Natalia walked slower than I don't even know what. Than the young books. When yes. The uh, yes, that's a very good comparison. Um, I can't believe Natalia is the challenger. I guess it's the How summer. Is it? I know. I guess it's the summer and maybe views are going to go down. So why waste a good one for now? <laughs> Natalia. <laughs> Annual title shots. At yeah. least. It's the sort of Natalia. It's Natalia time of the year again. Mm. Weird. But you can't, it can't. I don't know how they're going to make this compelling because there's no way Rhea can lose here. Any. And Natalia never loses. She never gets squashed either. It's always like she's working the leg. She's going to do the sharpshooter. Oh, they've got out of the sharpshooter and now she's lost. Weird. Yep. Dependable Natalia. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, for an all right match, but like. The, the weeks of build before, she, nothing's provided. Do you remember when she feuded <laughs> with Sasha and when Sasha was really over but still a heel and she mocked her by going, let's go, Sasha. What was that about? I've never... <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. Why was that going to make us cheer her? <laughs> oh, yeah, Natalia mocking uh, this really popular wrestler. Yeah. She stayed a gold now. Yeah, Sasha's lost that. Mercedes has lost her belt already. Oh, no. Yeah, it's over. But the uh, pay-per-view did really big buys, though. Oh, I had lots of people watching. Promotion of the year, man, I'm telling you. That's right. I got all my info from you. Oh, we'll have to do that soon. Oh, the half year cold is hey. next month, isn't it? Mm. Good God. Wow. Where's the year gun? Yeah. Owens and Zayn win their tag match. No, bollocks. New call up Zoe Stark talks about how she's guaranteed to succeed on Raw because most locker room are weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> really sets good up promo. a match with Nikki Cross, which Zoe later wins. Yeah, it's always good going, mm. the weirdos. You can't say that. Look, there's one of them there creeping behind. If, oh, yeah, yeah, that's Nikki Cross. Fair enough. If there was one criticism of Zoe Stark in NXT, it was her promos. They were boring. She sounds too nice to be a heel, I would argue. Oh. She's got too nice of a voice, too wholesome of a voice. Yeah. Um, but now she comes on Raw and goes, I'm amazing at what I do. The rest of the locker room are weirdos, and it's yeah. good, good Why stuff. Why was she never NXT Women's Champion? She got injured, actually. She had bad luck with injuries. Yes. Yeah. yeah, okay. I guess it wasn't her who... Attacked Nikita Lyons in the car park then. Oh, more on that later on. Oh, when are we going to find out that, are we? I, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Owens and Zayn win their tag match against Imperium. And this was just a fine little teaser. A moosh bush yeah. for the, uh, the lovely, I was going to say Germans now, not one of the bloody Italian. The Europeans yeah. um, on the Monday Night Raw debut against the big lads. Yes. Uh, and the bigger lads coming next week, so ooh, ooh. it was an all right match, but my, my I was soured at the end because Corey said he, he hopes the ring general wasn't watching tonight. And I was thinking, oh, no. 
SmackDown's got Roman and the Bloodline. Raw's got Gunter and Imperium. Are we not going to do the same thing again, please? Please, oh. do. please don't do the same thing. It's too similar, yeah. yeah. And too soon. Oh, no, I'm all right with it. The Ring Girl I was watching tonight. I don't think it's the same. No, no, I think it's just because you're not here yet. So it's, it's the teaser for him. Oh. Yeah, I hope they don't. Then you have to watch next week to There's see what the happens. implication of unhappiness and maybe oh. dissension. Implication. <laughs> <laughs> it's Raven Gunther. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, you see me at the wedding? Oh, oh well, he can lad. throw some shapes. Oh, can he? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fair yeah. On the dance floor. Bust a move. Oh. Bust a rhymes as well. <laughs> yeah, give me some more. Sonia Deville and Chelsea Green try to get people to sign a petition granting them a tag team title. Man, man, man. Gargano no, Candice... this is good, Matthew, because they've, oh, sev- yeah. they've lost several live event matches, yet they're still claiming they haven't had many shots. It's uh, a really good storyline. Uh, yeah, great. <laughs> Gargano, <laughs> Candice, Loomis, and Indy Hartwell aren't convinced. Dexter gives a big thumbs down and the crowd pop for that. Later, the champions themselves sign the petition, saying they'll happily have a rematch after taking care of Damage Guitar. You just had to ask. Aww. We're fighting champions. Just like Gallus. Right, live and rock all like Gallus, yes. Yeah, that comparison's never been made And after before. they win, they'll... Pub. Not just go to the pub, <laughs> but mention to everyone that they're about to go to the pub. Ah, uh, I can't wait to talk about it. 14. <laughs> pub paint, baby. <laughs> pop. Um, Tell uh, your bud. <laughs> there was a line in the way bit saying he's coming back soon. I was thinking theories just being drafted to SmackDown. It can't be him. So who's it going to be, Matthew? Tommaso Champ, isn't it? Gonna, oh, oh, of course. Yeah. Reunite DIY, potentially, Ooh. unless it's somebody else. Ooh. That would make sense. Imagine uh, if it was someone just from their past that we didn't know was. <laughs> Senor Benjamin. <laughs> Who could it be? No idea. It's got to be Champ. Yeah, if, yeah, if it's not Champ, I don't know. Uh, Xavier Woods and Akira Tozawa stumble upon what a Judgment ha- Day what interview. What was this about? Oh. Have I missed something in the week I was off? Woods is missing no. Big E and Kofi Kingston at the moment. Okay. So he's getting, he's getting piled in with the likable losers. Got you. Yes. I think. Got yeah. You. yeah, leaving a conversation between Woods and Dom. Dom gets the win after roll-up with a handful of tights. Tozawa's no help whatsoever. He could be the king of the losers if he wanted to. Do. He Woods. could. He could lead a locker room revolution. The king of the losers. Yeah. Straight to AW Collision. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I like the bit where Tozawa just like walked away when Rhea walked near him because he's that scared of her. That mm. was good. Yes. And then we learned that Woods and Dom are mere equals in the ring, which is good for Dom because I thought Woods would have been a few streets ahead. Mm. I saw. In, in kayfabe, I mean. You know. I watched yeah. the web exclusive interview with Woods after he lost with Kathy, and he was fuming, which which puts Dom over more. Mm. Yeah. It was a good little pinfall maneuver by Dom to get the win. Roll like origami, what? origami wrestling. Oh. Like it's Zack Sabre Jr. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh then... my God, Zack Sabre Jr., right? Oh my God, last month. He won a match and then he did an interview with the English announce table afterwards, right? And he's going like, he wasn't bad, but I'm the best technical wrestler in the world. And then he says, because you know, he's in, the, he's in the Mighty Don't Kneel stable now with yeah. all the Australian lads. And he goes, we're rocking. We're rocking like the young punks we are. He's 35. <laughs> <laughs> That, so, that is young by the level of top level competition in, there, in wrestling, yeah. Probably, yeah. Anyway, just thought I'd well, give an update on how Zack Sabre Jr. is doing. That was a his, lovely impression. I'm enjoying his title run because the matches are limited to 15 minutes, so he has to get all this good stuff in. Oh. It works really well for him. You got enough energy to go out clubbing afterwards. Good lad. <laughs> Trish Trice hands out posters for a missing Becky Lynch. She calls Becky's daughter dumb and tricks the crowd by having the production truck play Becky's music. The music plays a second time, and Trish is like, oh, silly. No, don't play it again. And then that's actually bloody, really the bloody... Classic heel behavior. Oh, my God. Uh, She beats up Trish. Trish runs away. Now, I've always... What Ross said about Zoe Starks before, I've always, always thought about Trish. She's got nice... She's got baby face voice. But the things she was saying were really not on. So Mm. in the the words of Tyler Bate, that's not on. Mm. So uh, it worked. I thought yeah. she was doing a lovely job going like, oh, here's, uh, hopefully we can find her. Where is she? She's missing. And when we do find her, everyone can finally go, thank you, Trish. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, yeah. I like that. I thought it was unnecessary to bring Becky's daughter into the equation, yeah. saying that she doesn't know her colours. Because then, thankfully, Becky Lynch retorted on Twitter by showing a video of little Rue knowing her colours. She oh. knows her blacks, her reds, her blues, and her purples. Whoa. That's four. Yeah, knows more as well. Oh, a, whole, yeah. a whole array of colours. All the, the colours are written underneath them, so she can read the answers were there for her. But yeah. that's besides the point. How old is she? Two, oh, maybe. Oh, right. Becky also knocked out a production assistant on Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> that was nice of her. For um, for messing up the music. 
And she gave him a big forearm and he collapsed unconscious in his office chair. Oh, no. It's unsafe working environment, don't we? Yeah. Why really would you want to work there backstage? Becky's always good for the extra shenanigans on social media. I remember one time when she did a run in and then shared a video of her backstage eating couscous or hummus or something. Mm. And then she goes, Oh, it's quinoa. Because she's like, Oh, it's really good quinoa. And then she's like, There's a baby face getting beaten down. She goes, not on my watch and then nah. sprints out and as she passes the d- gorilla she goes hit my music <laughs> I was like oh <laughs> she's good at being like cheesy it's good but she oh. also attacked a colleague and that's not on that's not on <laughs> can't wait to talk about Nathan Fraser as well <laughs> oh <laughs> stop it we can't spend all of Raw good yet but wait till you see NXT <laughs> I can't wait backstage Miz, Miz pitches the tag team Miz Gay Nakamura to Shinsuke who instead watches a match or wants a match next week there yeah, that is true why would you want anything to do with the Miz? You Miz, said, yeah, whatever you say, leave me alone. Tactically clever from the Miz, though. Attach yourself to somebody who wins more. Go on. Yeah, good luck. Aye. It's Triple H success. <laughs> Cody is interviewed backstage and doesn't feel good because he's been knocked out of a tournament that was his to win. We've all said it when England have got knocked out of a tournament. <laughs> so it was there for us. He accepts Brock's challenge for Night of Champions. Oh, that's nice. And then Seth Rollins beats Finn Balor in the main event to progress the tournament final. Lots of references to their big match in 2016. And the almost forgotten run. Yeah, the buckle bomb into the uh, barricade. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, the crowd, I've, I've written, the, the crowd totally ruined such a big main event. Or did the booking of a consolation prize do it? I'm not sure. Ooh. <laughs> I think this is just what you expect from raw crowds. Mm. Oh, I'll tell you what, it though. Was... Rollins' inverted stomp, which he brought, was uh, Finn was like just sort of in a sit up position. He just booted him in the head from front on instead of going side on. Mm. Nice addition to the arsenal. Yes. Mm. I think that. <laughs> Um, Analysis. Whatever the crowd did, it was going to be more glaring after they just had that really good crowd right. in backlash. But I agree with Ross. I think maybe this is the, their chickens coming home to roost. The, oh. the secondary belt chickens. Yeah. Are back. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Well, the, well, the crowd's going to be like, yay, it's a new belt. The crowd's like, okay. Yeah. All right. Mm. The crowd are like, oh, God, you know what? I hope we can talk about NXT right now. We need to mention one more thing from Oh, Raw. do we? Because we had a promo and then I need to go for a as well. from okay, Jinder great. Mahal, Veer, and Sanger. Oh, we did miss that. Isn't on the yeah. Who yeah. have waited patiently for their moment to strike. Yeah. They're going to shake the foundations of Raw. This was all very Vince McMahon. But once again, Veer is waiting to come. Yes. And Willie, will it take him as long Willie. this time around now he's got his <laughs> friends involved? Willie. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <Absolutely. laughs> oh, it's, it's definitely time for gonna, a break. I think they're going to. Wreck the ringside area like Nexus. Yeah. But with jism instead. Okay. Just... Yeah, <laughs> there we go. Look like a plasterer's radio. <laughs> NXT. Yeah, what the, a week. It's called the absolute state of Joe Coffee. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. The show opens up with the beginning of the tournament for the vacant women's title. Tiffany Stratton wins the first match, beating Gigi Dolan to advance. The show actually starts with all the women contenders lined up like oh, a, character yeah. Stop it. a character section screen from a fighting game. There's been more egregious examples of this sort of stuff, but these manufactured standoffs in NXT need to stop. The best one was the time that they went around the arena to different locations yeah, and there was, was pairs good. of wrestlers. Oh, well, they went like, at NXT, stand and deliver. It'll be this dude versus this dude. And they do that, yeah, pose, <laughs> and then just bugger off. And like, what? No, uh, um, the, if, yeah. if overcoming this first round hurdle for Tiffany... Looking at the bracket, I thought if Tiffany wins this match, then she's won the whole thing. Because Gigi yeah. could have set up a second round match with JC Jane, but that's not happening. I think this is Tiffany's to win. I was surprised that they did this and there was no interference from JC Jane. I was also surprised that Gigi is no longer completely goffed out. Gigi. She was a lot less gothy and she lost. Put on so social I like media. to think, oh, go on. She put on social media recently, which me and Tom talked about on the news this week. I miss being PK, Priscilla Kelly. It was like, is she got like. Pony Khan. Yeah, <laughs> Pony Khan. <yeah. laughs> My Little Pony Con. <laughs> um, no, she misses me. So maybe she's dissatisfied, but it's hard to tell what she means. There wasn't much more context. It was. Oh, a ba- I didn't know that. Maybe that explains why she no longer had what made her her. Oh, yeah. She lost clean as a whistle, uh, and that was it. Tiffy yeah. was. Or Tiff. Tiffy was streets ahead. Yeah. Or Tiffy was strats ahead. Hey. The bridges, the flips. She barely got out of second gear. 
Uh, Gigi did a nice rainmaker like Kazuchika Okada of New Japan Pro Wrestling. Um, but that was it. That's all she really got in the match. And she's been a bit crap since the, the split from JC. It hasn't helped either of them. Because if we're gonna, if I was guessing who's going to be the Heckenbottom or the Hickenbottom and who's going to be the... Gene- Heckenbottom. That's his real name, isn't it? Oh, you've got a Heckenbottom, yee. <laughs> well, people do say that about JC. Uh, sorry, Gigi. Yeah, they do say um, that. Her Instagram famous arse. Yeah. Um, or the Michaels of the Genetti, just to keep things wrestling. There we go, thank um, you. I'd have said GG would have been the Michaels, but it looks like it could be the other way. Yeah, or neither. <laughs> <laughs> Two Genettis. Oh, no. At the Barbers, Trick Williams tells... <laughs> Why'd I say At it like that? Why'd I say it like that? <laughs> the barbershop. On the buses. <laughs> I've noticed that Americans don't say barbers, they say barbershop. At the barbershop, Trick Williams <laughs> tells Cabela Hayes that he's ready to face Brom Breaker alone. Tonight. Good baby face stuff from Trick. Yeah. He's right yeah. to do it for himself. Carmelo at first agrees, but as we'll see later, it doesn't pan out that way. No, it doesn't. No. Backstage, Joe Gacy tells Arvo Ryan that he won't be at ringside for the Diaz tag title match because his attention will be elsewhere. How long has he had those nonsense spectacles? <laughs> a few weeks. A few weeks. <laughs> so I've, I've got a, I missed yeah. last week's show. So it's, yeah, it's quite mm. a look. Mm. Uh, speaking of quite a look, that match is next. Diad our face against. Uh, I couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't tell. Lots uh, of heel issues. Well, I say that. I mean, the reactions were lead to believe so because Gacy's in ringside. So I went, oh, that's why the baby face. And but also, was not, Ryan. Ryan was, and was there. Ryan was yeah. there, but also not very Diaddy. Diamond Mind do a pick and pick bit where they uh, where the Diad masks were. Look at us. We're the Diad. I thought they were holy, in, holy, holy. in the Blue Man group at first. Yeah. <laughs> Is that what they were going for? Yeah. I think I was just like, I don't know look who doing. we are. And Ivy Nile's like, be serious, boys. Like, All right. This is serious. Uh, Ivy Nile gets sick of Ava distracting in the match, which she was, and takes her out. And that distraction causes Diad to lose. Oh, the crazy crowd like, boos Gallus, away. but what did they do? I mean, in the match, it's obviously. Well, they're just I, not, they're just not likable boys. <laughs> yeah, but no. Diad were cheating. And yeah, then they got but... caught out and stopped cheating. And then they lost the crowd like, boo. You're like, no. Yeah, but I'm glad that's actually them. right for what. Because afterwards, when they're standing there posing, and Coffee goes, oh, I don't want to do it. What Let's does he do? Let's do it together. No. Pop, he... paint, drink, goes, champions yeah. again. Ole, ole, ole. Yeah. Hey. Mark, Woofy, Hob, Bear. <laughs> He's like Father Jack. You can say one word yelling. Drink. And then, they, then he really, really really make sure that we all hear him going, champions again! Which I think is because Celtic had just won. Yeah. He's trying oh. to but no one cares about Scottish football, so... It's a formality most seasons. Oh, if Celtic won again? Rangers have won one of the last nine or something. Aye. Ten. It's barely even a league. Why do they celebrate? <laughs> Heart of Midlothian. <laughs> My uncle's from Aberdeen. He loves Scottish football. I love you. Yeah, well, I mean, he does, he support, does he support Aberdeen? No, he supports Patrick Thistle. <laughs> oh, well, fair enough. That's all right. It's good news though in Scottish football because currently East Fife, it's nearly perfect, but it's not quite. East Fife are fifth, oh. whereas Four Far are fourth. Oh. No. How fourth, can you say that and I can't see Jericho fifth. Friday? <laughs> Is it the other way around? East Fife yeah. are fifth and fifth Fife Four are fifth. Four Far are fifth and East Fife are fourth. Oh. I, I oh. smell the blood of an English. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, this was really unlikable, but I can't, well, I'm torn because I, I spent this episode hating the, the Gallus boys. But that's the point. So maybe it's working. It's just Good the point. fact that, it's, that he's like that in real life, though, isn't he? Because we know he goes. To, <laughs> we know he goes no, to Celtic. We know he goes he's to not. Celtic games. We know well, he wears Stony in the like crowd. I'd like to just clarify. <laughs> whenever I encountered Joe Coffey, he wasn't there going pop paint. But <laughs> what I'm saying is there is definitely an element of what he's I doing on Jack screen. Which is, I interview you for so drink, wrestle. Well, <laughs> but there is definitely an element of what he's doing where he thinks this is actually cool. There's a stereotype like, there is... of football fan yeah. over here with the stony and the yeah, goggle yeah. hat things and yeah. the chant and whatnot. And you can tell he is one of them when he yeah, goes yeah. to the football. And he's bringing that over to NXT. And it's just the fact you know he is that in real life that makes you think he's an asshole. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's heelishness on two levels. Yeah. In storyline, it's working because it's making me boo him. But also I'm like, oh, you think this is actually cool? I'm worried that they think Pot lads, paints me. I'm like, like you fought when you're 14, and it is yeah. cool. But then you grow up a bit, and you realise, ah, maybe I shouldn't. You know have this. Remind me that's that, that one like nightclub photo of like the, the, the kids and they're like trying to look. Oh, in the under Indians <laughs> nightclub. That's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. With all the don't look, don't look like Hasbulla. Right. <laughs> there's, the, there's the bit at the end that we'll talk about where the 
Tony D and them go to the they, Tony D and Stax go to oh. the man's pub and he keeps Coffee keeps doing this face when he tells me he like goes like Get out! and he's like gritting his teeth and I'm like oh he thinks this is actually like good I don't know I hope he doesn't I hope I'm underestimating him <laughs> let's see the Iron Man <laughs> I'll tell you what though oh, the God. dyad got a lot of good tag team offense in here it feels like yeah. maybe the tide's starting to turn with them after they asked to go away uh, it seems maybe. like they're just doing what they want oh we can't get fired well, sorry, we can't get released I should say so let's just do what we want yeah. Mm. They were wrestling really Let's well. Take the eye contact so <laughs> start talking normally. You know? <laughs> yeah. Uh. Andre Chase still isn't around, so delightful. Hudson. Oh yeah, where's he gone? Sorry. I think he's uh I think he's in the hospital recovering from when Bron Breaker. Okay. A big old Fair enough. And why did that in, happen, Matthew? Uh, because Lightful Hudson said, you know what? You don't even need to chase you around well, the rings before you. You, know you can take on that big bad Bron Breaker. He's only small, really. These different chickens are coming home to roost no, now. No, no, no. I've always been on his case. You and your mm. chickens. The Lightful Hudson has stepped in to lead the uni in his absence, very bravely, nicely. Big Body Javi accuses him of trying to take over in Andre's absence. An indignant Hudson wants a match and wins because it's Javi. You know. it, the, he, um, this week he's composed Hudson because backstage in that promo segment he was very he had an air of quiet authority about him. <laughs> Big Body Harvey's being very insolent and he's going, well, I don't agree with that, Harvey. No, yeah. not at all. Yeah, he, but that, he but almost it, calls it... Duke Uni. No, he doesn't. It was yes, just a does. slip of the tongue. Yeah, he but said, then, but then how Javier dare goes, you disrespect the good name of Duke of Chase University? It's disgusting. But then they ruin it because then Javi goes, ha ha, Unity did it then. See? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you don't need who's to make supposed to be watching this? Uh, like, yeah. right after a hot episode of Blue's Clues, you put uh, this on. Yeah, and then Javi gets his head kicked in, which is great. Um, oh, I still think he's a good boy. No, oh, Javi. No, Duke Hudson. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, me too. It was a nice, like, prime Hulk Hogan match, though. Prolonged yeah, beat yeah. down by the heel, yeah, right. yeah. then a Hulk up, flip flop and fly, uh, pointless jump in German, razor's edge <laughs> win. Yeah. Yeah. Classic Hulk Hogan. Hulk you. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, his finish is a razor's edge. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll do. I said pointless German there. I only said it's pointless because he's like a, a jump over the top rope, doesn't he? And then the German. Yeah. I'm like, does that really? I, it's like Natalia. The moment it's get yourself. In no, it's like Natalia's yeah. discus lariat. Does it really it's add more power? It's all it looks cool. Laws of yeah, <laughs> transferable energy. You know. <laughs> I. I can't believe we ever thought he wasn't charismatic. Either he's improved leaps and bounds on the mic. That's the one. Or <laughs> he was just saddled with gimmicks that didn't work for him. Yeah, he's playing a great character. It, the, his, his previous character was, I'm really good at cards, me. <laughs> and then he wasn't. He'd lose all the cards. <laughs> oh, <and> no. <laughs> <laughs> a mysterious figure watches footage of all the attacks the women's roster in recent months. We don't see who it is. Could be a Leah in it. A Leah? <laughs> She's a free agent, that like Baron be... Corbin and Brock Lesnar, I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I like the fact that it's like, yeah, all these people are getting attacked and no one cares enough uh -huh. to do a proper investigation because we it... still don't know. So they were showing the attacks on like various screens. Was the one in the car park part of that or was it a different? I assume so because it had all filters on and stuff. Right. So. But also, is the person who's NX, there's too many mysteries going on at the same time, and I can't work out if it's the same mystery or there's different overlapping mysteries. So you've got the Nikita lines in the car park. Yep. You've got these recent attacks, mm -hmm. and then you've got NXT Anonymous. Are they different? Or the I think same, so. All the same. NXT Anonymous is the person like, oh, someone's filming this, but they've not been properly linked, so it One might be the... a, a riot. Oh, I love there's all these man. people running around. <laughs> so this is like that. Everyone's just a pervert. Uh, this is like a, <laughs> you've got a really keep lots of things in mind and I don't think it's yeah. intentional <laughs> I don't think they want us to think it's this really, much it makes you th it's the thinking man's pro wrestling's NXT I was playing a game recently and if Matthew's <laughs> played, thinking man's pop. if Matthew's played this game he'll know exactly what I mean because I've been playing a puzzle game where you're on an old a ship and everyone's died on the ship oh I've heard the of this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and you need to go around and you've got a pocket watch that takes you back to the moment of each corpse's death and you've got to put together the clues in these memories and you've got to be like it's really process of elimination yeah. like well this person's there this person's a member of the crew so he'll have been in the working class deck and you've got to put all these clues together that's what NXT is like it's really complex really good but on the on the on the same show you've got lampshade into the degree of you nearly said you I, right. it's like eh I don't it's like it. different people putting together the show like if all these loose ends don't get tied up I'm going to be furious mm. but uh, it was even more obvious because they had uh, Billy Scripps being like, it could be me. I am the person. But now, like, Scripps... I missed that last week, didn't I? Oh, uh, one Scripps got unmasked. It. It Scripps was, got masked. And the crowd Reggie. went, Reggie! <laughs> you know what? I can't believe it's it. It's unbelievable. Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Reggie was Scripps all along, <laughs> right? Uh, shocking, isn't it? Who would have thought it? Oh, They'll read the dirt oh, sheets. <laughs> so, and also, the thing that needs to be mentioned, because we'll have to mention it at some point or another. Um, I... <laughs> I don't need, I didn't, I need, uh, there's only you two people in the entire world of wrestling actually pay attention to this show. 
Was it me or was Booker T's audio a bit quieter this week? Yes, it was. I Thank noticed this Christ. as well. Really? It wasn't just me. Mm. And he spoke a lot less, I thought, this oh, week. Oh, as if he's been edited out or asked to not talk. Censored. I think wow. every week they're going to turn his, the dial just a bit more and a bit oh more. Oh, my God. It's like the twits. You know, yes. Oh, <laughs> my God. Adds a yes. millimetre to her walking stick, his wife's walking stick, every day. Vic, so she thinks she's Vic, shrinking. are you getting taller? <laughs> no, we are about Booker. No, I swear with No, 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 Booker. No. <laughs> Mr. Twit was the OG gaslighter, wasn't he? <laughs> we all learned what gaslighting was from Mr. Twit. <laughs> oh, God. That's one of Roald Dahl's weirder ones, actually. Oh, he's so weird. Yes, for various What's reasons. What's he for gaslighting? Right? What he does is it SA, SA, <laughs> I used to call it SA, SA Rios. SEO Trot. SA Trot. Trot backwards, yeah. yeah. Where a man tricks a woman to fall in love with him by. Oh, your turtle's getting smaller. How do you remember all these so vividly? Because they're so oh, weird. Oh. Like I read them all at the time, but I can't remember half these something, details. These, these things like, stick in my head like, that was really weird. Something like he replaces her tortoise with a bigger one every week, so she thinks it's getting bigger. Oh, so, really yeah, so I'm a bigger, and then he goes, oh, wow, well, well, ooh, and it starts mm. getting smaller because he's just going in and replacing it with a smaller turtle. <laughs> <There's> <laughs> one and then he's like, oh, I love you, and then that's... Oh, that's I felt bad story, for the it? turtles. What are their lives like being shipped around? <laughs> no, but then it shows his, his apartment. It's just hundreds of turtles. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Um, I think... <laughs> Somebody looks after them. Uh, as soon as that's all, he's like, just kills them all, I guess. No, but, no, come on. Don't but the that. weirdest, most effed up oh. um, Rodal one is the magic finger. Yeah, I don't remember one. what happened, but I remember oh, it. Oh, my God. This, again, this is stuff that kept me up at night. It's probably I didn't sleep much from, you know, from babyhood to yesterday. It was... <laughs> This person's got a magic finger, and he's like, I can do crazy stuff with this, but I only use it on bad people, and there's a bad family. What? And, you know, Rodal's family, like, oh, they smoke, and they have beards. He's like, oh, they're <laughs> bastards. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing in the world you can be to Rodal. <laughs> so he used the magic finger well, on him. Well, no, 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 <laughs> sorry, no, no. Stop, stop it. No, 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 no. Well, this barrel through. Barrel right through. Barrel right through. Barrel right right through. That he doesn't like. Moving on. <laughs> Ooh. Um, there's a family of hunters. You have beards and smoke. And <laughs> so you use the magic finger on them. And they they turn into the birds that live in the tree next what? to the house. And they just become human beings with like, just become like birds, but with heads, human heads. And they're there like looking and they can see the birds who now like wear their clothes and go do their job and stuff like that. What? And like, cool, cool. Hey, we should kill that, <laughs> that family of little humans out there. And like, no, don't do that. That'll be bad. But then he'd write like, Heartwarming <laughs> ones like Matilda and Danny the Champion of the World that are genuinely nice kids' stories. I genuinely don't remember what happens in Danny Champion of the That's World because it one. was boring. Da no, Danny's my favourite one, man. As a kid, I didn't like it because I assumed by the title, Danny Champion of the World, in order to become Champion of the oh, World, no, there's no like Hulk Hogan, <laughs> he had to win a contest. <laughs> no. You, Danny, can only be the Champion of the World if you beat me, no, the it's Ultimate it's Warrior. He's, he's, he's raised he by didn't. a single dad who yeah. is a pheasant poacher. And then there's the wealthy landowner and they, yep. they, they steal all the pheasants from his land. And it's a nice story, that one. It's a work. Wait, hang on. Why did you not get the magic finger used on him? No. It, you turn it into a, a pheasant? No, because his dad owns a, a, a petrol station owned on the on the land owned by the bloke. And he's like a baron. And he, I don't know. It's a good one, that one. Nice. What's your lad called who's got the magical potions? The George. George's George. Marvelous Medicine. He yeah. tries to poison his auntie. I want to see the live action version of that. Oh. Willie Bay Playhouse. Oh, yeah. You have things Great so times. Before. Halcyon days. That story is just a list of ingredients. Yeah. I don't understand how that's a story. Remember the list? Roll dog, like, roll yeah. dog, going yeah. through like, like all right. <laughs> yeah, he drank the lemonade, the, the Lynx Africa, um, toothpaste, arm bar, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Texas clover leaf. Wow, great. That's got to be the end of the dyad versus. All oh, right, I yeah, God, wow. yeah, oh, God, turning them into birds and whatnot. It's half past four, just keep yeah, your eyes on for us. Oh, this is the best segment of the oh, week. Oh, right. now. So, I, so, pretty quick note. Um, so last week we're doing this, and I obviously did my really good attempt to watch NXT really thoroughly. So they showed the picture, like, hey, who's that? It's come Tuesday as a kid. Do you feel I, bad now for taking the piss out of his head? I, 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 so so wait, 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 let me get this out. Let me get this out. <laughs> let me get this out. I saw the little thing there. Like, almost like Don Callis's thing there. And I said, that's like, oh, look, and what's the story? He's Harry Potter. It was only after watching this when I got a better look at it and I was paying more attention that I realized that wasn't his hairline. That's right actually the, the giant area. scar. So when he said the scar, I thought they meant that, not this thing. So, uh, so one, I like to apologize. because <laughs> ooh, I did not mean it like that. That's, I mean, I have my level of being a bit of a smart ass, but that's a bit, ooh, okay. <laughs> and also, coincidentally, uh, my brother had the same thing. What is it uh, exactly? He, well, I don't know what Come Tuesday had, but um, I would just call him that's his, that's his name. My brother had a cyst underneath his skin here, uh, 
it's pretty much gone now. It's a little marks, but then it's still like there. And it had to have loads of operations as a kid. In order to get rid of it, it was such a rare thing. I had loads of doctors and nurses come see it when I eventually got done in um, the RVI. They had to do that, take his face off, no, no. take that off, no, and no, put his face no. back on. Wow. That's, so terrible, that's why he did like that. My brother, like, you know, he bothered him for a bit, but now, because obviously his hairline's uh, yeah, 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 yeah. like that. But now he says, that's no, cool to me, Star Wars Trench. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. So, so yeah. I've missed a lot of what's happening here. So for me... You like wouldn't bit, know, like, watching this. It's like making like, a murderer, but with Come Tuesday. We're so, learning <laughs> the bad story. So Von, Von Wagner and Robert Stone are walking along talking about their favourite foods. What's that about? Well, well it's, it's, it's a show favorite. that Come Tuesday as a personality. You know what? I'm <laughs> feeling good tonight because the weather is nice and you know that could be a powerful thing. Direct quote from Come Tuesday. This is, so this has been a show that he's an easy go... <laughs> we get, he says, favourite burger. Bacon burger. <laughs> What, what's your favourite chips there, Von? <laughs> That's a good one. Chili cheese. Uh, favourite ice cream? Mint chocolate chip. No way. Cookies and cream all day. Yeah. And he's someone, such a someone gets no way and he's just like, hey, <laughs> you, is why don't you shut up? Be, is this genuinely meant to be him, like, being a cool guy? That's yeah. his, his version of cool guy. Listing food. So, <laughs> so and then, then some guy's like, hey, shut up, come Tuesday. And then he says, batters him. This and developmental th guy tells us, says, his, well, no, for no reason, for some reason first, Rob pulls out the picture of him as a baby. Yeah. Has this previously been shown? Yeah. Because, right, because Von Wagner acts like it's not the first that he goes like. They look at pictures of his dad in the Beverly Brothers, mm. and he's like, whoa, that, that, that's my dad at SummerSlam 92. He had an all day <laughs> breakfast there. My favorite all day breakfast is black pudding yeah. and all the other stuff he was doing. And then he went, what's that? He went, nothing. And so he's like, trying to hide this picture. He's trying to hide something about his past. Yeah. So then he goes, Rob, don't, I told you, don't. And then the developmental guys, I guess the point of it is that he's mocking the baby photo of him. But he, or something, but he, he rushes the line. So I didn't actually hear what he said. He goes like, some say blah, blah, blah. And then that woman goes, that's not very nice. And I'm like, what's just happened? He was just like, hi, you have to attack me now. Is, is <laughs> yeah. what he yelled at and said. And he, he beam up, they went to like, eh, red velvet. <laughs> Rob goes pistachio and he goes pistachio. pistachio yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> These are amazing bits that will definitely get Come Tuesday over as a series. I wrestler. hope if they've written a backstory, a la Undertaker and Kane. Yeah, it, it feels <laughs> sinister like that. And there's a, there's a second, there's a second, second Beverly mm -hmm. brother. Has oh, what, if he, what if he turns this into his match gimmick in like actually wrestling and he's doing the ten punch in the corner and he's going. Uh, McFlurry, chicken nuggets, chicken What's select, the wrap of the day. <laughs> what link is there between his shady past and the food? I don't understand the food thing. Because he's likable, come to you. What's he on about? He eats food like you. There's a like, bit There's a right. bit in the room, the film The Room, <laughs> where they're all trying to have natural background conversations and you hear Tommy Wiseau going like, stop it, no, I didn't, I, no, it's not, <laughs> stop that. That's what I feel about... No, no, it's really, no, it's that's going from strength that made, to strength. You know, when Jen did her S -S -S Essex accent, yeah, yeah, that yeah, made yeah. me feel the same as that did back then. That was creepy. That <laughs> when Jen did her English voice, she, it was odd. Yeah, so this is all we've got. You're asking me for answers. I have no answers, and neither does NXT, but we'll have to see next week until the next development. Of... What has the sun got to do with it? Oh, the weather's been nice, not a powerful thing. Oh. Are they going to say that whatever operation that was back in the days made him cracked? Because I hope not. Are they that's what this thing that points to. Are they going to. Mm. Has don't laugh at his awful little promo abilities. He's only got half a brain. Yeah. What are they don't you feel bad that. for laughing? I'm going, oh, no. What are they, what are they thinking? <laughs> What's going on? We'll have to find out. Anyway, moving on to the... Gallus. Watching Glasgow Gallus uh, putting on a show. Uh, Gallus. Everywhere we go. <laughs> oh, no. Watching <laughs> Somebody's seen it. Did you know you that? You can show up the Royal family up. Yeah, Gallus <laughs> are clearly co Did you know that Gallus are football fans and from Glasgow? I did um, not know. Oh, yeah. that, that, that was the Wrexham FC song, by the way, because that's the, the OG. Watching what? Wrexham FC. Oh, right. I thought oh, it was watching oh, Glasgow show. Celtic. Yeah. Oh, right. Well, okay. Yeah, Gallus have cleverly co opted a Celtic chant to celebrate their oh, own triumph. Oh, Wrexham. The witty boys. They bump into their diamond mine, and Joe Coffey tells Ivy Nile. To stay out of Gallus's business your and future. Bud. <sighs> pub. Bevy. Who, on the way to the <laughs> pub, just yelling. if someone's like, oh, do you want to go to the pub? I'm like, oh, yeah, sound. No one spends the rest of the day until they go to the pub going, drink to the pub? It's, it's a sign of an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, as you say, you got to put the drink down, Joe. We're going to pop off to work. Or, Joe, it's 9 a.m. We've just got to work. Or as Ross has said, a teenager who's never been out before. Yeah. He's yeah. excited. It is that, you know, we were, we were all there, I think. 
Yeah, yeah. We've yeah. all I grown up, haven't we? Yeah, but the, we're not on TV, are we? Yeah. That's yeah. hard. I remember my first drink. But this can't be what he's really like. This has to be character stuff. There's no way anyone backstage in NXT is suggesting this kind of behavior. I know. How would they know that's about the this problem. kind of yeah, behavior? Yeah, that's the problem. It's definitely hey, from him. It's me, Sean. Oh, hi, Sean. How you doing? Do I you was just guys are Scottish. Right. Texas FC youth back of the day. But I was almost <laughs> I was almost getting a bit of David Brent from it. Well, how cringy he is. <laughs> and I and I know, I actually know for a fact that Joe Coffey is a fan of The Office. So maybe it is deliberate. Maybe it is deliberately cringy. <sighs> Hopefully. We're overanalyzing this. But I think he's. I think maybe the lockdown goes. We, we can do it proper serious, or looks around, looks at the witches and the Twitch streamers. Uh, and the scripture goes. Okay, we'll not do this uh, completely Stevie serious. Where's Stevie No. Hey, chat. Hey. Computer must be broken, I guess. Are we putting the mix it and goes? Hi, my Twitch stream's been broken, so I've been attacking women wrestlers in the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh. Eddie Thorpe beats Damon Kemp. Uh, these are okay, but DJ Yiff needs a better finisher than a jumping DJ. elbow. Oh, wow. I mean, we, you know, the people's elbow was a thing at one point. Mm. Let's not forget. The Rock, <laughs> Eddie Thorpe. Eddie Thorpe, uh, so he's Native American and a DJ. Yes. yes. Right. He's everything you could want to be and more. Yes. Uh, these two cool things, yeah. really put the fun in fundamentals for me in professional wrestling. <laughs> everything was... To be fair, there was one good move in the match, and that was Kemp's bouncing jackhammer off the ropes. Mm. Bounce him off the ropes into a jackhammer. Mm. Nice move. But yeah, that finish, it was... Uh, because then, then Kemp was straight up and at the referee like it didn't hurt. <laughs> Odd. He did the, whoa, what? Yeah. He did the Hercules losing the Sid. <laughs> I'm confused Actually. what's happened to Damon Kemp, because when he had that, when he was revealed as the, as one of the finest storylines in NXT 2.0 history, that when he was revealed as... The actual mastermind in the diamond mine, the actual evil one, not Roddy. Um, I thought that was going to be his launching pad. They seemed <clears throat> to be hot on him, and he was good. I guess there's a problem if you're on a development show and then you're constantly bringing in new people. They've called up it's like, well, we've used hours. you. Um, cool. Yeah, what are you going to do now? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh. We've got a guy who launches couches in a park now. I mean, what you got? <laughs> That's Oba Femi. Oh, the best. Can't wait for him to make. Well, he's made, did he make his debut yeah, when I was he's away? Won, he's yeah. Won, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shame. Missed it. Yeah, it was he great beat, because Booker uh, did, uh, he had, they had the graphic of all the stats and then Booker T decided to mess them all up. <laughs> on he beat, What's his um, finisher? Can't remember. The couch. He it, beat, beat Oro Menza. Yeah, I actually can't remember the finish. No. It he, wasn't he an exciting chuck, match. He probably chucked him. Ah, he's oh, yeah. Him. I mean, yeah. He's got to. That, yeah. the, the stuff he would do to a sofa in that mm. park. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sofa's never going to cross him again. <laughs> Ron Breaker's interviewed backstage and says he got sick of carrying NXT on his back. He says he's going to put Trick Williams in the same hospital he put Carmelo Hayes. Oh, oh that's nice. Do you think that's <laughs> the same bed? Like, you know, this bed reserved for... At least he'll know where to go if he visits him. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I tell you, it was nice. It made sense, the promo, because that's actually what did happen, even if the plants were responsible mm -hmm. for the booze. But Bron looks like Tom Jones. Bro no, it bronze doesn't. breaker. Bron breaker. I don't see it. Bronze. Then everyone else does. But maybe the I'm goatee. Of, maybe I'm thinking. Hey, of hey, it's not unusual. It's not. Oh, what's new? Pussy cat. Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> Just calm down, lad. <laughs> but I the tan and the goatee. He's like a. If if Tom Jones had his modern day look back in the sixties, he's Bron breaker. <laughs> I can't even say it with a straight face. Let's move on. So Eddie Thorpe's The Rock. Bron breaker's <laughs> Tom Jones. No, it's LA Knight's The Rock. Oh, beg your pardon. Eddie. Sex Bomb is a weird term, isn't it? Especially it's when you're in your song. 60s. Yeah, it right. is a weird song, yeah. yeah. I didn't like his one he did, but Keris, what, she was in the jungle. It's cold outside. Oh, yeah. When they're in hell together. Yeah. <laughs> it's cold outside, but they're in hell. Yeah, they're in hell for yeah. the music video. Uh, She's like 30, 40 years like, as junior. You'd think it'd be like really hot. <laughs> <laughs> Ilya Dragunov beats Dijak by DQ. After a frustrated, Dijak uses a chair. He then crushes Dragunov under the ring steps. Yes. Uh, it didn't really work for me, that spot. Because he is a, a comparatively little boy. <laughs> Which is weird to say. Yeah, compared he was, to Dijak, yeah. Yeah, and mm -hmm. he, like, the, the stairs, obviously, you know, the bit's cut out. I don't think that would hurt Scoot when you're out. a little boy, yeah. Yeah. It would hurt if you're like Odyssey, Big Odd Jones, trying to fit in that little gap. That Good would point. hurt. Yeah. Mm. I, I just was able to suspend my disbelief. <laughs> Because I was actually shut up, Ross, you freak! <laughs> <laughs> it's not even real. It's a real. I was happy that they actually clarified. Okay, Dijak is acting proper heel now. Because only bit little things like, "Hey, 
get out my way or whatever. And you're like, okay, well, that guy backstage was in his way. <laughs> Wasn't that heelish? He crushed guy's him under a, a garage door recently. It's a real crushing themed feud, actually. He likes to crush things. He's got a Tony Atlas about crushing. Being, <laughs> maybe <laughs> died. Well, we know that um, Dragonov enjoys pain. So this, he's just. Oh, oh. Yeah. He's got a, a, a pain love. Mm. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you for sticking with the gimmick. I guess we can. Because it was after, the match was good. Like the chops and whatnot. They just mm -hmm. battered each other and didn't stop. It was a, a breathless affair. And they got to the finish. And I was like thinking, oh, we could run this back at battleground with some sort of saucy stipulation. I Not saucy that way, but you know what I mean? I agree. I yeah. lost a bit oh, of, could be that. I lost a bit of respect for Dijak in recent weeks. Because when... Huh? It's Big Bang. I don't know. Oh, okay. Might be Dijak out there. Because when when CM Punk was backstage at Raw, Dijak tweeted like, you know who else was at Raw? The hard-working oh, wrestlers yeah, who appear yeah, every yeah, week yeah, on Raw. And I'm like, Aye, but that's not a surprise, is it? Like... Why should we care that the people who work there were there? He's got that moxie like thing of going like we have all these great matches and all these great things on TV and all people want to talk about is that one bloody dude from that one bloody incident. I get a real sense of um, he's had a go at Kenny Omega before as well, Dijak in his past, I believe. Oh, Kenny Omega had a go at him. But I forget what oh, Dijak right, said to begin. Oh, but right. I think Apologies Omega was to Dijak, something. Sorry. But Dijak then had a go at Sammy Guevara. Oh well, because everybody. he hit, I mean, he hit my. There's a guy on the show who hits my finisher worse than me. Well, and Sammy sure showed him by hitting it, yeah, several times worse than him. The, but still. the finisher suits a big guy better. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's had a few times just being rough, but it was just like, Dijak, you know, you need to be out of the position before you start throwing shots at people. Mm, I, I like him, but it's just like, you're on, you're on NXT. You're on the best oh, yeah, who sucks? Can you make it? Before like, he was in WWE, mate. he was like regarded as like one of the best guys in America in the Indies, wasn't he? Like, he, was, he does have the chops, he's got chops in the, in the ring. Oh, in the know. ring, yeah, but in terms of like success, you know, it's yeah. sometimes you need to like. He's on an XT. There's levels to this game, and that is the top level. Oh. <laughs> you, you level in... up to go to an XT. You're in retribution. Why would you try and get an argument with anybody? We can be ended with, haha, here's a picture of you in that. Group. Oh. That's not his fault. Yes, it is. Oh. He didn't. It was his idea. Life. <laughs> it was his idea. So Vince, I've got this magnificent idea. Right? <laughs> uh, where are we go. Oh no. Where's leave. Oh, <laughs> You know what, Dijak, oh, I apologize. It's actually great compared to... Was it a sauna or was it weed? Well, oh. Wesley comes in and does the one line and goes, like whoa, something. something, something, Matt Riddle. And what a day to be referencing Matt Riddle when everyone on Twitter saw his <laughs> dong. Oh. Uh, I the, did not, for the record. I didn't I either, but I just got told it was there, okay. so I believe them. But he treated like it's the Loch Ness Monster, I guess. <laughs> Wesley visits oh, Tyler Bate <laughs> the sauna. <laughs> Sorry for something. And thanks him for his help last week, calling him a majestic leopard. Tyler doesn't hear him yeah, because he's, like, he's you meditating. Me. I think you were like a majestic leopard. <laughs> it wakes up in time for his match with Charlie Dempsey. Oh, oh, I, I was in a deep trance like state. A higher plane of existence. I'm on bath salts. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's going on? I oh, thought he got rid of this hippie stuff, but now he's way back in there, isn't he? He found it. I've <laughs> got a theory. Go on. I think that he's going to be the fifth route. Of the tree. <laughs> I think oh, they're going to... Because he's already got the mystical element down just in a babyface way. He's just going to become a creepy uh, schism guy. You've answered my question there. Because I was like, is... Um, sorry, Joe Gacy going after the North American title or is he going after Tyler Bates? Oh, well, I think he's going after Tyler uh, Bates. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. he confronts them after the match you're about he to talk does. about. He does. Because he's like, ah, you like weed. <laughs> you know what weed is like? A plant. A tree. <laughs> Danny Palmer follows the age-old wrestling tradition of asking more experienced wrestlers for advice, except except she does it live on TikTok. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> imagine, imagine, you know, the walking on eggshells atmosphere of a wrestling locker room where you can get heat for anything. Hmm. Imagine if someone goes up, like, all right, bully Ray, mate, just live on TikTok. What can yeah. I do to improve my match? <laughs> imagine. JB and BJ tell her to keep practicing before being challenged to a match by Hank and Tank. Mm. JB and BJ ultimately win, but they're all friends afterwards, so it's okay. It's not for Tank, who got his tooth knocked out. And oh, put I it reckon that was already knocked out, you know. Oh. You know, my cynical self. I think he does that every week. Your <laughs> cynical self. <laughs> this match was fantastic, though. It was from a bygone era. This could have main evented the Tokyo Dome back in um, 1992. The big men, they slapped their meat like there was okay. no fancy stuff. There was just shoulder barges, body checks, and a yeah. few punches. Uh, yep. Since he's... Uh, BJ looks better now that he's wear, not wearing a top. He's got a good body. He looks like a strong man. Yeah, that, that evil lass he was with was like, yeah, you should clean yourself That's up. That's Kiana James. That That's evil right. Lass. She main oh, evented... Hi. She main evented this. She maybe main evented that. She saved the bar. <laughs> she did. <laughs> Her and her bank friends. She was going to buy. The, but still, she was going to buy the school. I don't know. 
this evil lady. She's evil, but everyone's improving around her. So. Exactly. She's doing good for this world endlessly. I thought she's was, like Mr. Beast. It was really <laughs> <laughs> It was really heartwarming when JB and Fallon forgave BJ. That was a nice moment on NXT. I was sad you weren't here for that episode. Yeah, I didn't see that. I missed it. The was, series finale, like, the, hey, the longest thing in NXT like, 2 <laughs> history. And you I'm went, sorry, I'm guys. Sick. And then they were like, let's go for a drink. And they didn't feel the need uh, to go, pop. Because <laughs> <laughs> they've had one before. <laughs> yeah. wait, wait, Ross, <clears throat> you could tell us, did you actually just take that day off? Because you know you wouldn't be able to do this podcast without crying. <laughs> <laughs> it was so emotional. <laughs> Um, I didn't go back and watch it. I didn't even watch that week. I was that out of it. You didn't it. even yeah. see it? No, I missed oh. that. That's the one week I missed. All right, well, get a towel, Nicky, all right? Who were? Uh, <laughs> Joe Gacy comes to ringside to talk to Wes Lee during Tyler Bate versus Dempsey. Wes doesn't seem interested, but Gacy cheap shots Tyler behind the referee's back and costs him the match. Gulak was involved as well. There yeah. were so many distractions going on for poor Tyler. He Surely, no chance. Tyler wouldn't join the schism after yeah, yeah, the yeah. win, the chase. He was part of Chase U taking them down. He knows where it's at. Surely he wouldn't go Tyler's back the Tyler's always full of advice for others, but is he taking care of himself? Or does he need a <laughs> wow. family to make him feel? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes a leopard needs a... New pride? spot. A pride of oh. lions, not leopards. <sighs> uh, anyway. It makes as much sense as anything else. Aye, right. So well done, Jack. My move of the week, everybody. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, oh baby. Oh. Was Charlie Dempsey's double underhook suplex with the bridge? Mm. Oh. Go back and watch it. it. Doesn't even look real. It looks <laughs> looks like it's from, from a simulation. <laughs> All the bodies are that straight and then yeah. bent. It's just it's incredible. Oh, there was a move like that one week on Lucha Underground where someone did a you know the like they're in a DDT position and they flip them round and catch them into a they flipped them yeah. into a DDT. Yeah. They did that one week on Lucha Underground and people online were genuinely like, was this edited? Because it looked so oh, perfect. Oh, I think I remember that, yeah, yeah. Because as well, the way it was shot was in really high definition. It looked like yeah. something from a computer game. Yeah. This is what Charlie did here. Right. Just Joe, did you write that down? <laughs> it's more, it's Joe, what? It's my move of the week, Joel. It's okay, the okay. highlight of the podcast. He though. would have left that Joel's on the second volume of his novel at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Fix my up first, your man. The first one was about a tennis player. This one's about a, a editor for a wrestling, oh, my for a wrestling idea. podcast my company who kills idea. his host. Oh, thanks for bringing that back up, though. <laughs> Thank you, mate. 30 40. That's right. It's going to be my fourth. It's going to be my magnum opus after several attempts to get <laughs> That's there. right. And it's got the tagline no love on this court. <laughs> when I'm dead, people will be like, some people will be like, I preferred his early work, yeah. but 30 40 will be the, the best comeback since Beyond Ball. Aye. Oh, God. Oh, no, I'm thinking of Becker. I'm thinking of Becker. Oh, oh yeah. Please, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> please. <laughs> Uh, wait, 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 wait. We see footage of Carmelo Hayes leaving the barber shop, changing his mind before letting Trick handle Bron alone. I've got to go and save him. One of his pals happened to be filming at the time. <laughs> because it was on Twitter. Yes. They went, let's go to social media. And again, some creeps just following NXT people around. Mm. Meanwhile, I'm back at the arena. Now I'm da, interrupts a dragonly interview on the TV screen behind him. Got the badge in as well. Yes. He invites Lee to be his guest on the Supernova Sessions, live from the moon. So cutting edge, so unique. <laughs> The, what was that about strapping the careers and flying to the moon there's like rockets appear and stuff it's so zany and wacky I can't wait to watch why is Matthew laughing at live from the moon the best gimmicks have <laughs> the, best limit, the best gimmicks have common threads running throughout them um, and Noam Dar uses space imagery because he's <laughs> a stup- he's a supernova well that's fine I don't understand why the number 11 is involved so highly though is that because it was yeah, his yeah. football number the rails Referencing the cocaine days. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's what I'm... Yeah, two next to each other. Yeah. Do like 11. Yeah, 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 good point. No way. <laughs> I don't believe it. For you a believe second, the was, moon, but you won't a, believe that. For a second, I was like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think he's just trying to sound like a footballer, isn't he? He's trying to sound like CR7 or Supernova 11. Yeah. JM23. Mm. JM23? That's why I call Jacob Murphy of Newcastle United. Oh, right. Oh. What's your Joel Inman one? J7. J- J- J7. <laughs> 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 in a vignette Laya Valkyria talks about adapting to <laughs> NXT land which is very different <laughs> this is very different from her home in the woods she's no longer she, a weirdo raven lady in the woods she runs around in her underwear now yeah. she runs about in trainers now instead of wearing a pair of she's wings she's a fitness fanatic because it goes like 
I've adapted, and it shows that she used to wear <laughs> wings and feathers, and now she wears Nike sports gear or like Under Armour. But crucially, she hasn't forgotten who she is deep down. So she's still the creepy weirdo Raven lady from the woods. Yeah, but there's a bit to show that she's changed. I'm goes, still, I'm still Jenny from the block. When she goes, yeah, when she goes, I've adapted. There's a bit where she runs over a puddle, and the camera shows that she's wearing trainers, actually, not elf boots or whatever she would have worn in the fa- in yeah. fantasy land. <laughs> but now she's real. <laughs> they've realised it was killed garbage and they've changed it and good for them so what is she now then sporty lady <laughs> yeah it's like Mel C, Mel C yeah. yeah not Mel B she runs through the city now not her home the woods <laughs> she doesn't <laughs> it's bad isn't it she doesn't it's crap she's, a good, you guys she's, say like that. she's a good wrestler though <laughs> She, she doesn't good. collect feathers anymore. She collects checkpoints <laughs> on Map My Run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she does. Uh, instead, of, instead of nuts and berries, she eats Taco Bell. <laughs> she, she, they've really... They, I don't think it's her fault, but whoever filmed those first few vignettes of her in the woods being a mystical creature, they've bottled that quickly. <laughs> they've gone, well, we need, this, isn't, this isn't good. What are we going to do every time we're on Raw? So we have to find a forest nearby. Get this last in a tracksuit now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, God. And then, like, minutes after that bit, minutes after the other, other bit with Norm Dar, it's time for the latest edition of Hard Hitting Home no! Truths with Nathan So have Fraser. I missed the first episode of this? Yeah, then? you did. Was yeah. It? Oh, I was so, here that week, so that was a while yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. So they've not done it since then. Mm. No, because they realised Gotti looks rubbish in this. No, no, no oh, hey, right. So I need to first and foremost, none of my criticisms, of which there are many, mm. are to do with his actual performance. I thought he came across charismatic, and he really did his mm. best. But I don't understand anything else. Why? Well, it got there towards the end this week because this week he started taking the piss out of Noam Dar, yeah. which is what it because it, it, it's present present uh, presented uh, pre- sorry presented uh-huh. excuse me like a John Oliver thing. Yeah. Is that what it, the yeah, I was yeah. trying to work out what the influence was behind it? it At start, first, I thought it was like Alex Jones. <laughs> it was like conspiracy. <laughs> that's what I thought you saw. You said, like, "Oh no, he's going to start talking about QAnon." I, <laughs> I really thought that's where it was going, but right. So it's meant to be like it a start, whimsical. It started the John week Oliver. after like. Um, there was a Vince McMahon thing that John Oliver did. Yes. The, the NXT after that, this is when this started. Right. right. That, that's mm. my timeline. It might be yeah, wrong. Yeah, you might actually be but right. But the John though. Oliver thing works because it's got jokes in, whereas this just had observations. It, that, that's things like, you're English. He goes, that's right, Sean, I am. Well, you can do John be, Oliver. Be you're you're, English, you're yeah. witty. And he's like, uh, sure. Yeah. Cool. Read this. Oh, great. But oh. It's like after he got ar- around the whole, like, oh, he's from this country. Oh, we're all an eclectic mix of different superstars here in NXT. Whoa, wow. He started taking the piss out of no, I'm done. That's what it should be. It should be yeah. like, look at this knacker. Yeah. Can he say that? Is that just no SW thing? Oh, no, I don't know. I don't know. I've done look it. at this. Look knacker. At, he says, yeah. look at this. Dylum. Hey, there we go. Well, he's I like, that. You might not know that my first appearance in WWE TV was or on a WWE show was on the Supernova Sessions, and he uses it to inflate his own fragile ego. Five minutes ago, <laughs> Noam Dar talked about this, and now we've got a recap and yeah. a, a summary. And it's also funny seeing Nathan Frazier talk about the international talent in NXT, and he's talked about how all the other wrestlers that are better than him. Oh, what? That was a bit Excuse weird. Excuse me. How dare you? Nathan Fraser is actually really good, and he could have he been is, in the Premier League. He is, but this is just making him look rubbish. First of all, because his hair slicked back, and not like Honky Tonk Man. Mm. He looks 10 years older than he's supposed to. The set was... The graphics were awful. It yeah. looked bad. We're supposed to look at this, and they go, this is great. Why? Also, is it deliberately Triple H, ho- hard-hitting home truths? Uh, I hadn't got that until now. Maybe. Wow. It could be. There's could... so many layers to NXT. <laughs> wow. like you don't even know are there. It's like an ogre. Because <laughs> I thought, has he done this? You know how Mr. Kennedy chose his name because someone told him, oh, Vince's middle name's Kennedy. He'll like you subconsciously. Mm. Do you think he's doing that? But Triple H doesn't watch NXT anymore. It's got um, bad things to be doing. Yeah. He used the term global like localization as well. Uh, well that's what made me think. Is that Triple H? Because he, yeah. Kissy, kissy, bum, bum there. Mm. Yeah. Who else says that apart from Triple H? Global kissy, kissy bum. <laughs> it's a it's a definitely a triple H thing. Mm. Mm. Anyway, he thinks Noam Dar has a fragile ego and that maybe he'll lose his Heritage Cup very soon. I hope not. That's he won that in NXT UK. <sighs> yes, he did. Yes. I don't know what to say about the Heritage Cup. I don't know anything about it. No. Other than it exists. I know that Dar's held it longer than anyone else. <laughs> he cradles it like a because, baby and we're yeah. supposed to laugh oh, at yeah, that. Yeah, it's like yeah. Christian in 01. He was kissing him and then Nathan Fraser was like, a bit weird, mate. And I was like, 
What's the point? Of he said, didn't he? He's like, even by the standards of WWE, that's a little bit weird, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <that laughs> might... We've just seen the witch. <laughs> the witch who now wears Nike. That was a... a the new... raven lady who now the wears... Raven the raven lady. Yeah. Sorry, not to be confused with the <laughs> other witches. <laughs> that's weird. He kissed a cat, governor. All from Jersey. Not that one, the other one. It's a small island between England and France. But anyway. That's so, his gimmick. His gimmick is no, his from Jersey. There was no punchlines. It just went... <laughs> it's just observation. Just I was like... What? It's like a Michael McIntyre stand-up routine. That's all you want. Yeah. It's no, observational it comedy. No, no, it wasn't because he didn't say each line three he times. He did the setup to various jokes and then just moved on to the next joke. He didn't <laughs> riff on any of them. There's the bit where he's going, he's from Nigeria, he's from Brazil, he's from blah, blah, yeah. blah. Chase University. Oh, that's not a country, but he is from Australia. I thought I was. I thought I was. And like, that is a country. You know when you're like, Jesus you know when Christ. you're like half asleep and you've just been dreaming and things still, <laughs> you're not sure what's real. <laughs> That's how I felt watching this. You know, in tribute to some forty one fans splitting up, it oh, was yeah. all filler and no killer. Ah. Their guitarist a Newcastle fan. Good lad. Did you know this? Is this the which guitarist? Brownsell. He's left. Left a couple of years ago, didn't he? Brownsell. Oh right. Well, the oh sorry, the X one. The one yeah. who comes out the pool in the N two deep video. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, from thirty years ago. Yeah, yeah. he's a oh, Newcastle fan. Good apparently. lad. He uh, has it on his plectrums. He has the crest. Sweet. Dirty. Up the, up the, up the swordies. Lyra, <laughs> Lyra beats Keanu James to advance in the women's title tournament. Yes, she does. Book of uh, Book of James. Book of T. Letting everyone know. Um, Keanu James is a boss, and for all the fellas out there, she's single. She's single. She's single. Thanks, no, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. For all the women out there, she's single. She's single. <laughs> oh, he's quiet. Time, yeah. there, there uh, you go. But then it doesn't matter. In I the th- man's pub. I thought the action was tight, though, oh, in that sorry, match. Sorry, I beg your pardon. I thought, I thought I was like Jimmy Oliver. Kiana sorry. and Lyra are genuinely both good in the ring. Yeah. I'm not surprised this was a featured match on NXT. Do you think the right woman won? Yes. Okay. Now that she's now that she's a normal human being <laughs> and not a raven lady okay. from the forests, I think it's a good call. I do like Kiana's uh, gut wrench spinning powerbomb thingy, though. If that's not her finisher that she got a near fall here with, it should be. Mm. Uh, I want to say she's got a spear, but I don't know if that's true. That's no, she got an actual spear, but she left that in the woods. <laughs> no, 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 Kiana. Kiana's got a spear. Oh, bollocks. The, the business lady, mm. not the raven lady. Damn yeah, it, yeah. doesn't make any sense then, does it? <laughs> yeah, let's go to the pub. In the man's pub. Gallus are confronted by the friendly Italian mafia who just killed two people. Yeah, a few but they're weeks baby ago. faces, man. Baby face murderers. I find to Tony rematch. really lovable. He's got quite soft features sometimes, and I'm like, oh, nice man. You should go eat with him. Joe Coffey <laughs> says that now he's here, things are a little different, and tells them to leave. <laughs> Various manly men from the pub so, yeah, who the hell are these? Damn. Surround Tony D and Stax, who realize they aren't numbered, and reluctantly leave. Ah. Oh. First it's, and foremost, this is like The Godfather. It's that Shut good. <laughs> <laughs> Who let Joe Coffee in the pub with a bat? What's his pub? It's Wolfie's pub, isn't it? Is so it Wolfie's pub? I think it's taken over. I think the blokes. I think the bloke. Yeah, because he's said before, like, tell Wolfie to pour me a pint on the phone and that. Oh. I think it's Wolfie's pub. <laughs> tell him to go. I thought they were just being like football hooligans you and commandeer in a pub. Yeah. I think that they're. <laughs> They run the pub because there's been vignettes before where they're the only... This is the busiest the pub's ever been. <laughs> Business is booming at Big Daddy's. That's it, the name of it. I just thought it was quiet because they're in at 9 a.m. when Joe Coffey wants his first drink. <laughs> Pint! <laughs> Come a few pints before work. Pop! Pop. No, Joe, 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 we need to talk. It's got some pamphlets for you. It's a half-12 right? kick-off. So <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't like that the narrative that, uh, that is that being created by Tony actually saying that they need Joe Coffey to win the championships. Well, we've had that, we've had that established. They don't need Joe. Yeah, yeah. They won without him. They won without him. We're we're changing the narrative here. Yeah, on this very episode, in fact. Yeah. (laughs) Why didn't Gallus go, shut up, you murderers? (laughs) They're pretty deadly, then, lads. Yeah. Oh, sorry, attempted murderers. Mm. Yeah. Because they got better. They failed. Yeah, because they did that thing with CPR. Anyway. um, In the main event, Bron Breaker beats Trick Willy via submission. Mm. He keeps it locked in after the bell until Hayes arrives to make the save. Bron spears Hayes and drops the title over his waist. (sighs) This was the equivalent to wrestling Nirvana. I was in my element watching this match because Bron Breaker is officially properly a Steiner. He might have been previously in a couple of weeks gone by, but I've missed those episodes because I was dying. And because he did the Steiner recliner. Doing a Steiner recliner. He's doing the push-ups like Scott Steiner would. The, any element of a fisherman, the <laughs> quiet life of a fisherman, has gone from his character, and I'm in, I'm in love with him. Maybe they should have... <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they should have had him do these sort of things when he was a face champion. Maybe. Nah, because they're not. 
Yeah, not brave face. He is. just do push ups next to a dude. I guess so. It's Chaddy, though. Is that the word? Yeah, Chad. No, Chad. Like, He's no, a Chaddy it's Daddy. A Chad. Chad Chaddington. Um, yeah. Tricks roll through handstand rob bottom thing was good, though. Mm. I wish I knew what the actual moves, like names were called. Uh, Booger T and Vic. Pull your fingers out your arseholes. A lot of the well, time. Booker's finger was too busy on a door dash. <laughs> I'm doing the number nine, the number nine large, extra <laughs> six, extra dip. If there's a good, uh, if there's a good move, a lot of the time Booker shouts over Vic, just goes, "Ah!" Oh. <laughs> At least it's not like <laughs> he sounds like an F one. <laughs> <laughs> and now Trick will eat down the final two. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Thanks for your contribution. He's a bad man. You can switch it. Switches my golf like Art O'Donnell <laughs> at the King of the Ring ninety four. <laughs> this is not like bloody Kevin on Monday Night Raw because all Kevin does is, "Oh man." Yeah, Kevin's really doing, annoying oh, now. Kevin is Ooh. being the puppet he's supposed to, oh, so no, Graves can got, bury him when he says something s- dumb. You can oh. say more than just "Oh man, what a big oh, move man. happens." I love the Queen. He said that. <laughs> <laughs> he's never allowed to go home. <laughs> <laughs> he can never go back to the Emerald Isle. Um, I and then Bron- uh, Bronze massive spear on Mello when Mello yep. arrived from the barber shop. Yeah, uh, was yeah. He's, yeah. he's fe- reached his true form. Why wasn't? Yeah, he... I think all three. No, it's good. Why uh, wasn't he called her? Call him up. Because if the, these guys leave, what's, what's left for this? Gallus Mania running wild. But it'll make <laughs> our job more entertaining because weird stuff will happen more. Yes, more and more people will go, I never thought I'd listen to Tubman Japan as intently as I did. But then I saw <laughs> two hours on NXT. And mm-hmm. you know what? Uh, most exciting I've ever heard about our mountain. AEW Dynamite. What a great week for wrestling, though, unironically. Ringo, Ringo, Gala, Ringo. Oh, right. I was doing what? the Wakey Wines thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So MJF mentioned the Remember Beatles. That? This was at 4 a.m. So I watched Dynamite, finished my notes, and then went to bed. So I was tired. Oh, when I, I, yeah, 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 I was okay. like, yeah. Um, yeah, Gala Ringo, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, lads. Cameraman, <laughs> go back. business. Cameraman, whatever. What's the best shop in Wakey? Tesco. Tesco. <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> Claudio Castagnoli wins the opening match against Ray Fennec, earning a shot at the Ring of Honor tag team titles. He caught him on his back out of the sky. He certainly did. I'll and threw him that. into the crowd. I like that people said Fennec was obviously uh, not just the number one place for Prime in Newcastle upon time, yeah. but also a great wrestler. Also maybe motivated by the likes of uh, Commander, Viking O and the rest, doing oh. the guardrail run and jump in the back and side. I, 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 no, no, I'm really good. To, I won the Culty of the Year. I'd argue it? that... 2019. That's right. I'd argue that he's better than them because he's a more well-rounded wrestler. I mean, I can't get on board with Commander and Vikingo and those lads, you know. It's a shame. But oh, okay. I feel like the setups are too much for me. I'm loving the variety. We're fair getting. enough, fair so enough. That's obviously, I can see why people would not like it because Commander literally only does springboards. But right. I'm all right with that. Whereas Phoenix can do... Leg slappy stuff as well. <laughs> He's so well rounded. Yeah, not here though, because Claudio beats him. And, and because I like the stick. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I was yeah say, the like stick is really good. Made it that the stakes mean something. Yes. Because otherwise, you're saying, why would Ray? No, because it's a world championship, isn't it? Technically. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I did like the story of like Ray trying all the sort, all the things, and Claudio just batter him every single time he tried uh-huh. until he eventually got stuff and then that water slide move they called on commentary mm. where Ray nearly had his head taken off his shoulders was gnarly bros what? absolutely what, who, who's he going to choose as a tag partner now for this ring of honor tag title match we like Yuda <laughs> as you would say <laughs> we like Yuda sorry I hope so that great Yuda that great Yuda surprisingly the shock of many Miro is backstage and walks into Tony Khan's office uh, and uh, is it Rene? Who says, yeah. Miro, what are you doing here? He goes, and walks off. Tell you what I would have liked to have seen on this episode. Any more of Miro. Yeah. Out else. <laughs> Miro. Well, you too will be able to in AEW yeah. succession. Well, Tony yeah. Khan, goozle up against the wall. Yeah. Batter, I just wanted to batter him, me. No. <laughs> and then Thunder Rosa does the same later on. This yeah. is the most WWE AEW's ever been in terms of the backstage this is a show. Look at people going into the office of the guy who runs the authority figure. It was it was, the only thing was missing was, wait, there's a, there's a limo pulled up outside mm. the room. Who's in it? Yeah. MGF cuts a promo comparing the four pillars of A-Dub to the Beatles. It himself as Paul McCartney, of course. He says he's been in the best dog collar match ever and the best Iron Man match ever. Now he's going to be in the best ever four-way and still walk out champion. Right. At this stage of the show, I was thinking they finally learned their lesson. The other three cannot talk, yes. so we'll just have MJF do all the talking. But then they had the other three obviously do their own little promos, but, but that's the way to do it then. But in pre-recorded bits. Yes, like, yeah. don't have it live. Have it pre-recorded with the other three. Yeah. Yeah. It's why it was a fantastic episode. They're learning yes. from the mistakes. Mm. Fantastic. It's been sad to watch, hasn't it? 
you those know. segments. Yeah, well, Jungle Boy, you, I, I don't like you because you got signed first. Jungle Boy People sounds like, like a forty-five-year-old insurance salesman. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been wrestling no, for such a long time on. in my back garden. That's well, <laughs> well, whatever, Darby. Mm. You're only here because you skateboard and stuff. And uh, one time you didn't hold the door open for me in 2017. <laughs> you know, it's a good, you know, it's a if things are going great when the three baby faces are talking and then <laughs> kicks in the other one cheers for That was a strange rendition of doo doo doo. His intro was so funny to me. Bad buddies, like, yeah. like, <laughs> FGR hit the ring, but I interrupted by Jarrett and the Silly Billies. Who what? want their challenge to be accepted? No, I've said that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was me, but I couldn't remember. I can't. Right. I can't. It says Jarrett and Co on here, but I can't do Jarrett and Co without hearing "Hey Ho, it's Jarrett and Co." Okay. Everybody say hello. 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 Oh, yeah, still got it. <laughs> who want their challenge to be accepted? Mark Briscoe arrives to confirm that the match is on, and oh. also that he'll be. Ex- <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> he'll be ex- <laughs> Acting as special guest referee. This is a man's referee. Mm. He pours a toast for everyone, but uh, apart from Jarrett, who goes, no, I'm off. <laughs> Jarrett was a little, nice little touch. But Sanjay Dutt uses it to blind Dax Harwood, oh. who then accidentally <laughs> hits a move on Mark by accident. And Jarrett and the silly Billies are like, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> How could you? And since this is a wrestler, Mark will think it's a shoot. And that's uh, what that, that will signify the most shocking double turn in the history of professional wrestling. When Jeff Jarrett wins a title oh, in AEW. No. Yes. yes, I'm on board with it. Here we go. I think that um, the AEW have used this quite a lot recently, the accidentally hitting a move on an ally, because I saw someone tweet, it's yet another AEW issue, which could be solved by watching the program back. <laughs> I was like, oh, they do use this a lot. Yeah, but Mark can get away with this because he genuinely looks like he doesn't know how to do that. Oh, he doesn't have a telly, he lives on a chicken farm. Th- yeah, right. too busy, man. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Hey. Like, you get your phone out and he's like, what, this? It's like a Nokia 3310. <laughs> <laughs> you can, can buy an update. Work. I was on, uh, I got... I saw them, yeah, yeah, yeah. Color screen. Still got the buttons, though. Oh. A 2023 version of the, the 3310. That's mad. It's so bad. I'm, I'm wanting to get that just so like, I can go, hello, and I'm out. And you go, throw, it, throw it at a wall as hard as you can, and it lived to tell the tale. <laughs> it's blasted. <laughs> uh, I was very skeptical of this because it was it happened the week after they sought out the ego, who was it? Oh, Matt Hardy thing, which was very similar. But now they're like, no, no, no. We're not doing a thing where you're reluctantly part of us. Uh, we're gaslighting you. And it's like, oh, okay, they do it very successfully. I, I'm actually invested in this now. Okay, this has hit its stride. I mean, we're I, your friend. We I went chicken it. farming together. We we'll, they they hit a pile driver on you and spit tequila. Out. Hey, you're right. You know, it's like, oh, okay, this is getting silly, and I like it. It would be a shame to see Mark turn heel, but imagine if he did and gave Jeff Jarrett a title in AEW. No, he's justified. No, yeah. He's justified by what he's doing. He's like, well, you know, come on. I feel like it's just trying to. Because no one thinks that FTR are going to lose this early in the nah. reign. So it's trying to manufacture some sort of drama, which is fine. But I feel like the, the swerve's going to be Mark hasn't fallen for it, and he's going to call it down the middle. Maybe so. Maybe I'll be all right with The Jared. coward's way out. So <laughs> <we'll call that. laughs> I'll, I'll be all right with that happening. So we get an explanation of why the FTR felt the need to kill the guns mm. after they won the tag titles from them, because we haven't seen them since. Oh, oh God, yeah. yeah. Just oh, saying, like there's the no guns. need to do that. I'm is like, yeah, you're a heel tag team and people will get it. And it was established that no, fans didn't get it. and They're dead. Mm. <laughs> Sorry about that. Chris Jericho talks about getting a court order that forbids Adam Cole from being in the same building as him. Roddy Strong arrives and challenges Jericho to a false count anywhere match on the next episode of Dynamite. Jericho accepts before Roddy reveals that he managed to get the JAS banned from the building next week. Choose any oh. other stipulation if you've got your mates, allies banned, your opponent's allies yeah. banned from the building. Don't choose a false count anywhere, match. It'll be outside the building, Roddy. 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 He's Apollo Crews as well, though. Oh? Because he's seen the thing Jericho's done, and he's preemptively got his own before Jericho's (gasps) accepted the match. It never came true. The (laughs) prophecy that Apollo Crews was going to be anything. Not yet. He's still signed. Not yet. He's been called up. He's been called up, He can always go back down. He can always go. Ziggler went. Mm. Natalia went and got the biggest pop of her career. (laughs) Can happen for Apollo. Okay. Magical place, NXT. Mm. Where the fun never ends. (laughs) Tony Khan pops. Oh, Tony Khan pops up to say that there are wrestlers lining up backstage for chances to wrestle. That was that felt so WWE. I was like cringing. And it's never been clearer that AEW can produce more great wrestling every week. He says he'll have a big. No, no, no. no. <laughs> he'll have a big announcement <laughs> next week. No, nope. this was hyped up as he's gonna have a big announcement this week. The announcement is <laughs> there's an, an announcement. announcement. It's like Emelina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's also objectively wrong. 
because we're struggling to do Dynamite <laughs> and Rampage. He's just got rid of Dark and Dark Elevation. Yeah, we've There's got rid of those two. I was so up. sad this week, by the way. I've subscribed to a, 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 instinctively settling down and gotten wrong. Okay, let's have a look at it. Ah. Oh. Sad. You were, the, <laughs> you were the only Dark fan, maybe. No, you weren't. You weren't. No, people there were others, it. but there was Taz lots, was one. Lots of people were Taz like, liked <laughs> it. They had a good time. Him and was it Excalibur? Hey, hey, hey. Carbon, oh, just whatever. Puppet Jones over here. <laughs> <laughs> well, whatever. That's it's going to be interesting quick. to see with the split rosters. I think it's maybe, you know, we'll get to it. Like, I'm playing. Yeah. I mean, it hasn't, been, hasn't happened yet because next week could be the announcement this week is there'll be an announcement next week. <laughs> oh, my God. Just a man. Russian doll of announcements. Uh, to be fair, it would be quite nice if Tony did that because. He has jumped the L chart when it comes to the announcements, hasn't he? At this point. Yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't realise it's a joke yet. I hope he does. Do you not think he does? I don't think he's self aware. <laughs> I feel like Oh, he wouldn't have done this. Will uh-huh. Will Washington, get him told. I feel like I was gonna say, I feel like AEW has become less self aware the longer it's gone on. Yeah, I think that's true. And I well. think that it was Cody Rhodes. He was his self awareness mechanism. I reckon Cody Rhodes was like worm tongue. <laughs> From Harry Potter? No, no way, not I'm the rings. of um What's he called? Peter Pettigrew's character. Well, no, wait, he is called Peter Pettigrew. Anyway. Worm, who's Peter Pettigrew Wormtail. Worm, 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 worm <laughs> worm worm it's the nickname from... Oh, That's right. Bless you. Anyway, this, no, is, this is bombing. It's been a long time since I read Harry Potter. Bless you. Orange Cassidy retains the international title against Daniel Garcia. And this is actually a lovely little match because they've presented like Orange Cassidy getting into what's known as... I don't know if you guys know, like the, the Macho Man 95 style match where Macho Man went through a period of nearly a year because he was paggered of having the style of match where he'd get beaten up and attacked and he'd hit one move with an elbow and win every time. Yeah. I think we're getting that for Orange Cassidy for a bit where everyone looked really good against him. And then, whoop, Orange Cassidy, Orange everywhere. He seems to be beating quite a few opponents that I've been more and more convinced were going to beat him. So mm. it's a strong title ring. Yeah. And then he was able to do it a bit more convincingly than yeah. just that thing with Daniel Garcia, who's a lovely wrestler. Oh, oh. He's coming into his own as this like hybrid of the sports entertainer and the wrestler. Because he's, he's doing the wrestling bits and he's battering folk. Yep. And the little dances, yeah. it's good. And it adds to the story, which I think they're still doing on the on the back burner, where his sports entertainerisms mm. is letting him down when it comes to winning matches. Yeah. He really gets him. Yeah. And he looks like the most handsome. I can't say that. Yes, you can. <laughs> no, I. No. The handsome what? Like, he looks like the most handsome lad on the estate. <laughs> like, the one that all the lasses <laughs> Yes. Like, it's the haircut, isn't it? Ah, uh, he looks yeah. like he's like a hard lad from like he's the called Jason. Estate, but... Yeah, yeah. And then the last he's got like, the loudest bike <laughs> on the estate. Jason's looking nice today. Blah, blah, blah. He's got an older brother that's a bit harder. With yeah, the same yeah. Haircut. Yeah, 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 not as pretty. Yeah, Our, last the last time Iris Casty lost was August the third last year. We learned as well. Which oh, is shocking. Did it say who was against him? Nah. Oh, right. I didn't look at a either. I'm a bad, <laughs> I'm a bad podcaster. We suck. <laughs> we suck, but we're almost as good as Daniel Garcia. Yeah. Did you see him on, uh, oh, what was it called? Oh, hey, oh. E-Dub. No, with, uh, I don't RJ watch City. that. I find RJ it's, it could, hard to it, like. It's fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. He's like, not no, everyone's cup of tea. I, but... I haven't yet found the sense of humor <laughs> to watch you it. might like the Garcia one because they did a bit he goes hey you often delete your tweets and he goes yeah he goes here's some of your deleted tweets he goes, oh <laughs> no is, oh no that no. is good yeah, that yeah. is good yeah. <laughs> Christian Cage cuts a promo Rip, yeah. ripping apart hey, boom, and he goes well Detroit is literally the worst city <laughs> lots of people have said that uh, he says you'll you prove Philadelphia don't you you hate That's it. That's right. Ah, oh, no, I don't them. hate them. I hate the fans. He says he'll prove that Wardlow will never be legend like him. The crowd chant Edge is better, which is fantastic. Which is uh, recently questionable. Christian's been better recently. Uh, watching Edge these past few years has been like going to see Oasis and all the players all around the world. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? No, no I don't been, want this version you of you. Have been watching the Train Records episode exactly. of Be Here I'm Now? Because right, he's episode. referenced two different Be Here Now Honestly, he's in a state of arrested development. <laughs> um... The Beach Boys were good, whatever. But Christian Cage was lovely here. Just a heat magnet. And he said, well, Wardlow, I was going to mock your dad, but apparently he's dead as well. Oh and my he wasn't God. a success, so why would I bring him up? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to waste oh, my breath. You've got Arn Anderson smashing. It must be great being Tully Blanchard's partner and Ric Flair's lad. Been... Oh, wow, you're a legend. That's what you call yourself, not me. Where's your world titles? Oh, that's right, you haven't got any. I've got loads. The... And what's this? What happened to your son? That son, I, I remember. I was terrified when he said that because Arn's 
legitimately just he's lost, recently a lost a son. He's recently lost a son. Not I that like, one. Oh! But when he started to say it, I was like, oh. After he said that about Wardlow's oh, dad, I was really? like, he's not going there, is yeah. he? But he oh. didn't. He went to Brock and it was yeah, fine. Yeah. You <laughs> told Brock that you didn't want him getting in the business, but as soon as Wardlow got that TNT title, wow, suddenly you want to support someone in the business. Whatever. Wardlow, you stink. Detroit stinks. Christian's great. Get it up, yeah. What a bloody promo. Yeah, he's good. Like, any that Christian? Yeah. I was one of these people who was like, just... why is Christian in Edo? Oh, whatever, he's old and what? No, he's so good. Need more Luchasaurus stuff, though, I think. <laughs> it's all about just, Christian, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I talked about the entire thing there. Did you want to no, say you've covered it all. You've done a riddle. And I'm no, Kevin no, Owens, no, no. And he's no. Sami Zayn. We've say got no nothing more. Add, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like Backlash. Darby, Darby Allen visits home in a vignette, hyping the title match at Double or Nothing. I was very curious by this. Darby Allen says, I've come a long way from mopping the toilets at the 99 cent store. I got very confused about this. Why is there a toilet yeah. at the 99 cent store? Only for the staff, really, you'd think. Is that Just a one. thing in those places in America? Because that go sounds to like Poundland have a piss? I mean, you ever what? had a piss in Poundland? What, like, no. ne next. <laughs> no. You'd have to use the staff toilet somehow. Yeah, you'd have, yeah. To, you'd have to ask somebody, wouldn't you? Excuse me. I've used the toilet in like a massive. I need to spend a pound. I've used the toilet in like a oh. massive Asda where it's like right down one end yeah, of the but, shop. Oh yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They've got like a cafe. Or yeah, yeah, right. They're, they're more they public toilets. Right? Cafe yeah. de Asda or mm. whatever. So they have to have a toilet, like a, a ninety-nine cent store. <laughs> Heartwarmingly, so that's where I uh, rate my takeaways. Wife to be found out she was pregnant. Asda toilets. Don't want to comment on them. Mister and Mrs Yorkshire, Joel. <laughs> Mister and Mrs Yorkshire. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's the real fall of a hero, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. What's happened? Oh, he's it just got matter. this girlfriend who's clearly exploiting him. Oh, oh I remember. And that his way. money and his reach. There's a lot of YouTube comments have been deleted or privatized. Or, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. I I hope, I mean, hopefully we're wrong. But hopefully we are wrong. It's it, yeah. Watch the videos and it's clear that on one thing's happened. On the other hand, you could argue that it's their own personal relationship. No one else has any business exactly. content. Yeah. Yeah. Hope he's all but right. Still. Yeah, uh, I can't wait to see who he fights in the boxing. <laughs> <laughs> so Darby Allen goes, well, you might wonder why uh, doing skateboarding um, is good practice for my matches. And my answer to that is, have you seen my matches? I'm like, it's probably why you're not won a bloody world title, mate. It's just how you're practicing. <laughs> Balance, fearlessness, agility. That's the hustle loyalty respect of Darby <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> These are three, a few of the things that have taught me how to lose. Well, yeah. uh, where we are. Julia Hart beats Anna J in their no DQ hey, match. Hey, they went for it. They absolutely did. Mate. Mm. It wasn't my favorite match ever, but they I really appreciated the effort. They really oh, went yeah. for it. Yeah. Anna J has chops like Gunter. Anna's <laughs> Ganso yep. bomb on the chairs with Marley. Fat ass. Yeah. That's what she always says. That's what Matthew chops says like about Gunter. her. <laughs> I'm quoting her, so it's all right. It was a bit of a shame they missed the chairs off the big superplex at the end, but it doesn't yeah. think it really mm. ruined anything. The thing that got me was it was just weird having this match on the same card and 20 minutes before uh, Omega and Moxley. Because <sighs> yeah, you agree just with you. you look, you saw the cage in the background of shot. Sometimes you're thinking, oh. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Even Shivani was like, "Can you believe we've all got these other matches to come?" Yeah. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah, we do. Yeah, mm. whoops. But nope. yeah, but still, a really good effort by their standards. They brought the heat, Matthew. Yeah, they did. Absolutely, fair play to them. Uh, the House of Black retained the trios titles against the Best Friends and Bandido in the. Oh, the best House amigos. Rules. Yeah. The, oh, the, yeah. Sorry. The, 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 best, the best amigos. The best yeah. amigos. Um, they so really balls up the the picking of because deal uh, number four in the rules of the house rules match is yeah. dealer's choice. You decide what the last rule is. Why? Because it's fair and balance is all we have. Oh. That's what Buddy Matthews to. And you go, okay, that's nice. And then they did it as a joke, which I thought was a bit weird. But yeah. Like, obviously, fits their style. And they went, uh, how about we can't have any witches at ringside? Um. That's great. She just had a no she DQ match. Why would she be one, there anyway? But she's tired, yeah. Oh, sorry, yeah. yeah they spooky, yeah, they might not have known the running order of the show. Yeah, it was a bit silly. <laughs> maybe Taya Valkyrie. Oh, she's not a witch anymore. Anyway. Yeah. Okay, well, Lyra Val no. She's a sports lady. <laughs> All right. The people from the Roald Dahl novel, the witches, yeah. be there. But So they did that. And then the and House of Black. A person gets turned into an animal, by the way. He had a thing, what didn't the? he? Yeah. <laughs> had no effect on me. Roald Dahl uh, had nothing to do with this match, but. The House of Black were really over. Yeah. And it was a nice that they then dimmed the lights I, to I make it look like a 2017 impact taping. <laughs> and But the crowd was still like, yay, we're into it. And they're going, okay, so say this again. It's 20 count on the floor. It's no DQ. 
but the band from ringside and can't get the ropes either. You can't get oh yeah, no rope yeah. bridge. But then it's like, wait, if they're not allowed there and it's no DQ, so what happens if they came out? If it's no DQ, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah. They just get thrown out. Yeah. Huh. Oh, stop that. Oh, I can't do anything. Oh, it's a oh, it's a paradox. It really is. However, the match uh the match rules didn't get in the way of the match, which heavily favoured the House of Black looking cool. Yeah. Um, there was only one point when they actually got the rope and they went to the rope break, but then Alistair Black just let go anyway. Yeah. It's like, all right, whatever. Yeah. But you know what? Still liked it. Crowd were into it. I forgot how many tattoos those bloody guys the have whole, got. <laughs> how long's the whole rules selection thing? Is this the new thing? Yeah, they just it's the first the time they've been yeah. introduced. So I actually had it in the match. Recently, in New Japan, they've been having these matches that have gone down really well. Shingo's been having these matches where... It's called like a triad match where you've got to get a pinfall, a submission, and a knockout to beat them. And the matches have gone oh. like half an hour, but it's been less of a slog than you might think because different sections of the match, like they're going for different things. And then oh, okay. it's really worked. One was against Hanare, and everyone went, bloody hell, Hanare is had like a five star match. And then one was against Tai Chi. And I wonder if they've been influenced by this, maybe. I don't know though. Mm. Maybe, maybe. Interesting. Picking all the different rules. Yeah. It's a bit different, but it's more similar, I guess, to a like a three stages of hell match, but they're all in play at the same time. Right, I'll get you. It's work, it's good. It's got legs. Mm. Just hopefully they use it against better opponents who choose better options next time so they don't like just tarnish it straight. Because I thought it got ruined the fact that they picked a crappy stipulation and it happened on the week where Orange Cassidy couldn't be in it. Is that, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. also about these mm. guys aren't winning. Yeah. yeah. But Bandido had a nice show him. Yeah, he did. Because he's Bandido, yeah, bloody hell. He went, I'm better than Fennec. Uh, yeah. yeah. And then, oh, Carl Fletcher of Aussie Open laid out Orange Cassidy. What's he doing there? Nobody knew who he was, did they? Oh, he's one half of the IWGP tag sometimes, team champions. Say, sometimes the crowd go, yay, it's Aussie Open. Sometimes they go, huh? Aussie Open are exciting when they're there live, maybe. Maybe it's that. Hey, wait, what are you supposed to do? Oh, a video of Carl Fletcher attacking Orange Cassidy. Well, you only get a little pop, don't you? A little mm. pop. Pop. Not there. Paints. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, <laughs> when they had their first run, as like Osprey's lackeys, they lost all the time. So AW, <laughs> people who only watch AW might mm. not really think But they much annihilated of best friends on Rampage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, why don't they remember that? It was Rampage. Yeah. And then the Elite and the Blackpool Combat Club brought on the outside before the fantastic main event. People Ooh. get chucked off the stage and all sorts. It's crazy. And there's a guy who has a sign that says, put me on Botchamania. Okay. The actual <laughs> match is Moxie versus... Oh, if you versus... let one of them, then they'll all be bringing the sign. Oh, That's no. What he wants. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't do that. The actual match is Moxie versus Omega in the steel cage with Brian Danielson on commentary. Really um, funny. Lovely, lovely little bits here with, uh, well, May sorry, Omega getting thrown into the camera by Moxie. Moxie kissing the camera. <coughs> and then Moxie unhooking the whatever bit of the ring you call that and using it to fish hook Omega because then they kept on cutting back that Danielson who's going hey, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, very well. get a good line where he's like Mox doesn't even wake up till he's bleeding guys <laughs> yeah. see that's good Omega previous week going well you might bust yourself open <laughs> <laughs> that stunk yeah uh, Omega looks to have the match won after the intervene trigger so hard they go through the cage wall just like Umaga Bobby Lashley he got lucky he didn't snap his leg yeah. Omega whoa scary watching that back uh, Although Omega's recently talked to, I think, Justin Brasso, Sports Illustrated, about knowing that he's not really got much of his career left, so he wants to make sure every match, every big match he has is really special. So maybe he's all right taking risks like that, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Uh, and even Brian Danson says he's probably the most athletic wrestler I've ever been in the ring with. It's just a shame what he's using this athleticism <laughs> for. Like, Has he never that. met Cesaro? Like, oh, oh. Claudio oh. Castillo, oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's like a ha-ha, ooh, there. Oh. But Don Callis... Uh, yeah, some what send to help. what's this about now? <laughs> He's yeah. like, don't worry, I'll help you and mm. helps Omega lose by stabbing him in the face with a screwdriver and Moxie gets the win. A betrayed Kenny begs Don for an explanation but Don thinks about hitting him again. So he goes so he hit him again shoves him then he down. can't bring himself to. So does he regret this? This isn't... Oh, I just thought he's just like, no, you're not, not even worthy of me stabbing you. I thought you. this wasn't necessarily him aligning with the BCC because that's a weird fit, Don Carlos. Yeah, I don't want him to be in the BCC. I, I don't think he is. Be. I think he's gone rogue but I, I'm, I'm actually really glad that they've got rid of that because it was like hi it's me Kenny Omega of the Young Bucks we're likeable and, and I'm then, cannot <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah here's how a, <laughs> hi it's me the Sultan and here's Jafar my <laughs> lady <laughs> boss hello he's <laughs> like alright <laughs> He never betrays me. And you're like, all right, well, why I don't like him. This wacky gimmicky stuff doesn't work. And they've gone, good, fine. Like, just get rid of this little 
underlying he thing. He stabbed his own son, they tried to claim on commentary. He's basically his dad. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. In every other way, apart from... Being his dad. Yeah, apart from <laughs> yeah. natural. Yeah, all right. I yeah. think it's just because they under, under the tenureship, or the, the stewardship of the elite, he managed to lose his brain out of his head. When he got split open. I think that's what they're right. going to go for. Oh, no. I didn't actually mean that. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. That'd be he, great. <laughs> they allowed that to happen Not while he was... Von Wagner way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look, well, the original idea for Crazy Mr. Bob Backlund was that Papa Shango was controlling him. <laughs> so, so why is Don... No! Why did must he... kill Kenny. Why well, hasn't that happened? I cut you off there, Ross, but do you, what do you think he's, you were going to say? I don't think it's something... You um, said like you didn't see him. You, I think you were going to either agree or disagree with me saying he joined, not joined the BBC. No, I th- yeah, I think that's what you've got there. You I think, think him, and, him and Takeshi well. are going to run off hand Takeshi in hand in, into the sunset. He brought him into the yeah. elite for that week, didn't he? You think He's not been like go, teasing him. He's like, come on. Takeshi's not going to go, you're really mean. Not anymore. Oh. Maybe. I don't know. Because Takeshi's obviously been humouring him when he's been going after him all these weeks, taking him backstage to buy T-shirts mm-hmm. and hockey uh, matches or something, whatever that was. Mm-hmm. So I think, yeah, after that little cameo in the Elite, they're going to swan off together. Ooh. Now Takeshita have to decide, do you want to hang out with Daddy or Chips? But I think Takeshita might stay with the Elite because they need numbers if they're going to have a big anarchy in the arena or blood and guts match with mm. the BCC. Unless they just team up with some other faces, I guess. And that's it, like, oh no, so they're, they're brawling in the crowd, oh, there's so much violence, and Takeshita will cut backstage. And he's just hanging out with Don Callis. <laughs> a nice cup of tea. Eating doing barbecue. Like, doing really Canadian stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, what a great, great week of Dynamite. We've been Dynamite. very negative the last past few weeks because it's been like, a lot of stuff's been floundering. Not have, does have the same buoyancy as uh, <laughs> Bronson Reed. Je ne sais quoi. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but this week, yeah, uh, answer a lot of questions. Sets up a lot of things for later on down the road. Fantastic. Between this and Backlash, it was a bloody great week of wrestling. Yes, it was. Providing we ignore NXT. Let's have a rummage in our mail bags. <laughs> ah, time to have a little look in the mailbag. We'll start off with the last one first because Ross needs to bugger off soon. Uh, we've had some technical issues to be. We started an hour later today, people. Yeah. It's now well, it's going to be five forty-five when I leave, and we started at two. Yeah, Jill, I hope you get <laughs> so, your. I was back. Yeah, Joel. That you're staying yeah. here. Because someone, right? Here's a mis- an NXT mystery for oh the podcast. Oh my god, here we go. Someone's oh, changed the setup of, in this in this room back to what it used to be when it used to break all the time. And we've had it set up in a certain way and it's been working. And then some unnamed miscreants come in here and fiddled with it. No, Their name it sounds is. like Pripple Pump. No, 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 that's the thing. No, it wasn't them. They oh. they I said sounds like it could be one, anybody. They were the ones who reported it. They went, ah, oh, it's been changed back. I like the story. <laughs> Why would they do that? Anyway, anyway we'll press for time. <laughs> okay, right, all right, okay. So we're an hour late, everybody. Hi, guys. Not sure if you prefer to categorize this as recent pieces or a question, as it's actually neither. Ooh. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun to be retrospective and have a quick quiz. Heading back to 13th of January, 2018, when podcast number one oh was first God, published. Not a Christ on quiz, a bike. Not a podcast quiz. The questions would relate to facts about June, the exact did time. Say? January. Okay. About the exact time in history. So we'll test what you remember about those formative days. For is now quite a good podcast. Thank you. Uh, quite a good one. I'll submit the questions in a touch mm. sheet. So depending on who who's on, you can read them as you wish. All the best from Perth, Australia, Calum. Thank you. Well, thank it's, you. It's, it's, it's Calum of one L. So much it's Calum or Calum. Probably Calum. Yeah. Okay. No reason. But Top thank you Calum. anyway. So I've got I've got my pen. There it is. So my so. Podcast quiz. Do, 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 do. Question <laughs> one: Who was the WWE champion as of podcast number one? So that's January 2018. As as Styles. Because oh, he it. beat Jinder, yeah, didn't he? Yeah, was, wasn't he? Beaming well England. done. Yeah. Styles, he defeated Jinder Mahal on the SmackDown podcast. On SmackDown podcast. Well done, Matthew. Yeah, me and Tom were there. Uh, Manchester, November 2017. I was there. Question two. Who was the Universal Champion as of podcast number one? Oh, uh, Seth Rollins. Damn. Early 2018. Oh. Lesnar. Yes, anyway. Ah. Question three. Who would go on to win the Women's Royal Rumble later this month? Asuka. Ah, oh, you shiver me. Shiver me, Timbers. <laughs> Which YouTuber received sanctions for, for a video they posted? Paul the Logan. Uh, Logan Paul. Well done. Yes, ruined YouTube for everybody. We yeah. set off this venture in a different world and it was <laughs> immediately changed because of him. Tosser. <laughs> but he can now sell it's, well. Now it's, the pri- <laughs> now it's the prime era. Who was the IC champion? Oh, if you get this one. Miz? Mm. Mm. Oh, I'm trying to think about that. Yeah, his uh, IC title match. Yeah, I can't think of what it was either. McIntyre? No. Uh, Ziggler? Any, any guess? I don't know no. if the IC belt was even on 
I'll go for Dean Ambrose. Oh, no, I don't think you're going to get. And I wouldn't have got this either. Roman Reigns. Oh, oh interesting. That very, oh, yeah, very brief 25. reign. Oh, when yeah. Miz beat him. Miz, yeah. Yeah. Mm. He was the Impact World Champion. Oh, goodness me. Cody Rhodes. <laughs> I'll say I don't think he was uh, Austin Aries. Yes. Oh, he won the belt the three days earlier. Could have been any promotion I would have guessed Austin Aries. Yeah. Question seven. Who was the IWGP heavyweight champion? Uh, Okada. Come on. Yeah, good one. <sighs> okay. Who <laughs> good guess? Who was NXT champion? Bobby Roode. Right. Oh. Um, Cole. Gargano. No, you uh -oh. get one more. Chamber. No, Andrade. Mm. Oh. How many? Oh, how many pay per views would do we run in 2018? Oh, live events, I guess. Um, premium live events. Yeah, what I mean. I I'll say 14. 13. 15. Oh. Ah. Let's move on from that. Uh, as of the podcast number one, was the WWE in a brand split? Yes no, or no, I guess. Uh, no, no. You no. say no? I'll go, yes, yeah. Make it easier. yeah. <laughs> yes. It was. Yeah, right, okay. uh, change pay-per-views back to co-branded shows, however, later that year. Mm. So, yeah, it didn't last... You're right, because it was that. Oh, whatever, sure. Was this when Shane so, and Brian one, were like two, the SmackDown dads three. together? No, this is more when Shane was feuding with Kevin and Sammy, yes. wasn't it? Oh, oh God, I. And then Jack has won. Oh, you can't have the answers. What's well, a legitimate competition? Three. Oh. Ooh, Jack has three, Ross has four. Oh, well. Close. What a match. Five stars. A lot more than I would have got, so well <laughs> done. Thank you very much for that lovely question. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. And now we go back to the things as normal. Thank you very much, Callum or yeah. Calum. How's it going, Cultaholic lads? This week, before I voted for the Hall of Fame, I needed to do a little experiment. For the past three days, I've timed myself drying off after my showers. Oh, that's one of those in. <laughs> Twice with Adam's technique and once my regular way with a towel from the start. The times I got using Adam's technique were 5.16.74 the first time. Got another nanoseconds? Five minutes? No, I'm, yeah, I was like, wait, is that minutes or... That's a long time to dry uh, off yeah. for a shower. And four, oh, this oh, wait, is four just... minutes, 43 seconds, and 33. Well, I guess if no, you've got so long hair time. and a beard. Yeah, yeah. Oh, if you got on there, oh, okay, yeah. Maybe. Well, My wait, normal yeah. way of driving off was 3.15. That means I'm saving no time with this ridiculous method. <laughs> like, if I really wanted to, I could pull off a quick wank after drying off my normal way and still be done before there the other no way. no need to take it in that direction, sir. So, with that being said, I cannot vote for that and I'm putting my vote on the real winner, A.W. Dark. Fair enough. Now, this is where I'd put a question if I had one, but I just wanted to prove Adam wrong. Yeah, if anyone... If anyone <laughs> we'll write, accept that. If anyone writing in is a, a patron, I would enjoy more reasoning behind their vote that week for that that'd Hall of lovely, Fame. Yeah, yes. that'd be good, yeah, yeah. At least for me, it might work for other people. Oh, screw it. If oh, Fair enough. If Drew does leave the WWE, do you have any dream opponents for him from any promotion? Mm. Lots of love. Jacob from around Knoxville, Tennessee. Jacob, you've been you, before, but I always love your content. Thank you very much, mate. Mm. Thank you, Jacob. Um, uh, the dream first one who popped it into mind, it might just be because we just talked about a match he was in, but Kenny Omega Dream McIntyre, I think would be class. I don't think we've had that before. No, I can't think of no. it. No. I'd like to see him running back with Osprey. Run it back. Run it back. <laughs> they had a really Bring good match at pump. our place. Yeah, I was trying to think what the other Drew threw him into the row of seats, and I was like, "How has he landed that without hurting himself?" And then later realized he probably just hurt himself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. wrestling. Right. Those yeah. two caught each other very well indeed. There was a bit where Drew headbutted B Priestley. <laughs> it popped the crowd. <laughs> Good. Jesus. It was she just was a, a massive Drew McIntyre one. You know, like the big like. Yeah. Like yeah. Evil yeah. lady. Yeah, she was a heel. <laughs> it's all right then. Yeah. Uh, I'll tell you, MJF. I miss her, actually. She's been gone from our screens for a while. MJF Drew? Yes. Okay. Just because the promos. I can imagine just Drew... I, Drew Your... Is, <laughs> yeah, just to see, you know, Drew being a bit more serious. How know, cocky... Hollywood accent of his. How cocky is MJF going to be when he's face-to-face -face with this hunking, hulking, hunky hunk man? <laughs> I don't know. All we know is if that match does happen, Jacob will definitely have, find some time to watch that match. <laughs> have a wank oh the the shower thing <sighs> I didn't work at all hey. so. hello chaps whoever could be asked to turn up the podcast <laughs> could be asked I am sure yeah, yeah. I am sure you I walked across the country <laughs> <laughs> I was poorly <laughs> I'm always here I am sure you each have an opinion on a particular current wrestler that you have never shared 
because it flies in the face of popular opinion. Uh oh. My question is, are you brave enough to share it now? Oh. I'll show you mine if you show me yours. Oh. What's with this mailbag? <laughs> <laughs> I personally think Bianca is really overrated. Oh, shut up, man. <laughs> yeah, I know, all right. This was ended there. Before you spit your coffee, <laughs> that might actually be beans. Over the tape. Oh, that was FTR, that one. Oh, yeah. When they Dax Howard's They, they try to quote Don Gusko and lies, lies, trying to be truth, truth. But whatever, we we cowardly deleted and it anyway. And the coffee was in a And everyone went, what the hell are you mm. drinking, beans? Because mm. <laughs> if you have coffee with non, uh, non-dairy non milk, you've got to stir it or it looks like beans. <laughs> this is more important than talking about Bianca Belair being overrated, but whatever. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Saying, saying she is overrated is not saying she's a bad wrestler. Bianca is a good wrestler, but she has had a massive reign as a babyface champion when she isn't in the top five female wrestlers in WWE. Okay. And um, this person lists Asuka, Bailey, Becky, Charlotte, and Rhea. There are there are, are lot- better all round wrestlers than Bianca. We'll finish I'll finish this one. Why is Arguably, five the arbitrary number that you've got to be in the top five? Though? Mm. Yeah. Arguably others are too. Well, yeah. <laughs> in the ring, she's a great worker, but I find her a personality vacuum on the mic. She needs a manager, and she needs to turn heel. So do you have the testicular fortitude to come clean and tell us your unpopular opinion on a certain wrestler you secretly hate, mm. secretly love, or just don't get the hype? Thanks, as always, for your time reading this, whether you choose to or not. One moo time. <laughs> One moo time. It's always like this really blah, 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 blah. might use a name. <laughs> One moo One time. time. Thank you for the question. Sorry oh, for thank you, Duff Moon. I guess the point of it is emphasized by the fact that I was like, oh no. Yeah. Hmm. I think he's barking up the wrong tree there. Mm. Mm. And cows do tend to do that. They do. All right. Uh but are there any we I think we're quite on, honest and open about our I know I've already revealed mine before, which Same. is Sting. Sting. You never got Sting? Never got that? Sting. Okay, yeah. That's when we were talking about a similar but different question, oh, which was like, was, was which Asian legend yeah, yeah. have you never connected? Which one do you not think really? Right, right. But, but I've l- since learned to accept because the amount of people I've gone, I don't really rate Sting. And they've gone, what? If I was watching as a child in the mid mid well, late, mid to late 90s, apparently I would have guranteed really liked Sting because he was just the coolest. Yeah. Right, okay. I get you. You're not watching the glory period. So yeah, I started say that, watching in 2000, I think. What do you think of Sting now in A dub? Love it. Love what he's been doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, to yeah. be fair. I've had to reassess my wrong opinion. <laughs> yeah. um, Don't watch New Japan. Uh, I think Jay White's bang average. Oh, oh well, it could be mine then. Uh, yeah. Oh. I don't but we say it. this on the podcast. Yeah, Remember, yeah. I go back to the th- I've said it before. Yeah, Richard Tubman back in the day. Well, when he worked here. I don't know what year he said it, but he was like Best heel in the world. I've that would have, I've it was, seen that it was online quite well. recent that he was being talked about as one of the, the best pure heel was last year, I think. Uh, I've yeah. not said you work for it. Again, don't watch New Japan, but I'm, I'm yet to see it in AEW or anywhere else he's wrestled. He, mm. they, people say he's a heel who doesn't try and be cool and get cheered. He's just a heel. Like that's the I think that's where that comes from. Well, I wonder how that will play out in AEW, though. Not very well not with very Bullet, well. Club. <laughs> not, yeah. Bullet Club Gold. Yeah. We Ooh. used to be great... But now we're uh, yeah. I'll rate. Like UK TV gold. Gold. Yeah, like gold. Like UK TV exactly, gold. Yeah. Nothing but repeats. Exactly. Whoa. Why would they call it? Boz. <laughs> you nicked that from me last week. You I did. Yeah. Oh, Boz. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've got hey, anything. I've crapped on everybody wow. that I don't like. Um, you bit his bars. Ome- when Omega's serious, I like him. When he's like, woo hoo, hoo, hoo. It's like, well, no, I pick one of the other parts. I thought you would enjoy him when he's all like that because, you know. No, uh, yeah, if he's like on the undercard, he's like, main event, Kenny Omega. Mm. Silly bollocks. It's like, well, no. Oh, him, right. him as Triple H, a Harley race was fantastic in the main event. Yeah, like we him. We had the mutton chops. Yeah, him yeah. being a dick and evil, rotten, fantastic. That three way had with OC and Pac, loved it. But like other times, just like, Oh, I know one. That tag match, that one barked up the tree. That's not what I meant to say. I meant to say something different. Ratting and raved about. There we go. The Revolution tag match? And everyone went, this is the greatest tag match in the history of the known Oh, that was a good match. I I thought it was all right. I I thought it was just a bunch of moves. I don't think think that the heat... It's part of the story for that long story, which is probably the best thing AW's done, in fairness. It was all right, but people went, it was the best match. I went, no, I thought the MGF Cody Rhodes match where MGF used like more gimmicks than Inspector Gadget's coat to win was much more exciting and told a much more interesting story. He didn't walk around the bar. Mm. That's right, yes. Second reference to Inspector all Gadget. Fame, fame. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, people like went on crazy on about that. So there it's is often, a bit wanked, that, isn't it? Sorry. I often get that with matches though, more than wrestlers where I, I watch a match and then on Twitter because everything's either the best or worst thing ever, it's hard to find what people actually, mm. the middle ground. So when 
I've got an extra answer as well. When Roman had that feud with Jay, I didn't enjoy the match. I enjoyed the storyline, but I didn't really enjoy the matches as much as people seem to. I can see, I saw a lot of people say that. I thought it worked really well okay. for the Thunderdome era. Mm, Nowadays, yeah, you don't see it because it was just Roman Reigns Talking. walking around going, you, you think them, you're yeah. the dude, yeah. I'm the dude. It was like, great. Because yeah. it, it was that over, it was that or the SmackDown hairdryer to listen right, to. Right. So, yeah, I can see why people would think that. So, damn it, we'll have to have more unpopular opinions then. God, yeah. we're, just, we're just too nice and Come solid. And tell us your unpopular opinions. So and there's your cow. That you've been scared to say. <laughs> it's a radio yeah, one thing. Cow, thing. stay away. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, shut up, cow. You can't go downstairs. Yeah. Is that the yeah. thing? Uh-huh. Yeah, whatever. I'm going to have to go now. Yeah, thank you very much for the mailbag on mailbag at collect.com. This has been Ross. Who has to bugger off now? Thank you, I've got my anniversary meal, so it's a, there's a reason. Happy so, anniversary. Cheers. Happy Blame the anniversary. person who fiddled with the setup here. Goodbye. Yeah, we'll find Bastard. them. Bastard. That yeah. damn script. Aye. I've got my suspicions. Who is it? I'm not going to say anything. Fair enough. Goodbye. Take care, See Ross. See you later. Bye. <laughs> See you, Joe. It was Bye. it was me, Austin. No, it wasn't. No. no. <laughs> um, Bye. Not a really big gap in between us. Do I go there? No, because then that's off center, isn't it? Huh? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Still, still. Oh funny. yeah. Yep. Can't see you now. Can't look you in the eye. Yep. Oh God, you're right. <laughs> that's terrible. Right. Should we? This is odd, isn't it? It's it weird. certainly is. It's oh, nice talking a bit uh, more personally. So. You've it's like got... when the, like, the villains or the heroes meet up in like, the top of dinner. Oh, I was going to go, so you've got a new film coming out. Feels like that. What was it like working with Harry Styles? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, Ross was the, maybe Ross was the glue. Maybe he held this whole thing together. <laughs> this is how me and Jack finally <laughs> fight. It turns out Ross would be the peacemaker the entire time. I realize I've made a couple of friends at references already. My girlfriend really likes friends, so if there's, if there's nothing to watch, she'll just stick on repeats of friends, right? Bless you. So I oh know, no, but um, no, but I've, I don't, I've never minded it in the past, but it's just an inescapable bit of life, isn't it, friends? If you're not a big fan of it, I'm familiar with some bits, but I've never really sat down There's and a, watched much. I of like it. some bits as well. Tea, but, the, the, yeah. I find a lot of Matthew Perry bits, for yeah. Chandler bits, but there's a there's a bit where you know Mike Phoebe's boyfriend, Paul Rudd. Sure. Oh yeah, Paul yeah. Rudd. I don't know. He comes around to hang out with Ross, and it's the, one of them is like. Everyone else has got other stuff to, to do. So he's like, yeah, we'll come around and watch the match and have a pizza. And they realize they've got nothing in common. It's really awkward. What if that's this now? I did that one, one time. We used to make, uh, go to a pub quiz on a regular basis. But I used to just meet people there and we'd talk and mm-hmm. all that stuff like that. One time I met and was just like, hey, no, sat next to me. And so I'm like, hey, cool. I want to go to the toilet and come back. And, all right. And I came back, and it, obviously, all the way there, and the toilet's that side of the room. So I got out the toilet and came back, and I washed is the fact that no one was taught to each other because I you was the common the ground. Glue. And I realized, like, oh, right. <gasps> they only know me. So I thought, well, just talk. That's and they crazy. Just, I guess they just looked at the ceiling before I came if back. If you'd never like, oh. seen that, you would have not suspected that that happened. Wow. Yeah. So I'm like, hey, guys, mm. get on so well with this great chemistry. That's a lot of social responsibility to have you know, as well. Right? And you know that guy's name? One of the people's there was Reese, and the other guy was Piss. Reese Piss, you've got no chance, it says here. No chance in Hello Diddlers. Oh, this feels that's good. much more like a traditional podcast, this with two it? people. So have you ever tried DMT? I'm just saying the stuff out there you need to read. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. Triple H has recently revealed the tournament for the World Heavyweight Championship, and I am not a fan of it. We just had a draft where we created a roster full of Raw superstars, and we know the World the uh, world Heavyweight title will be a Raw exclusive. slip. So why do we involve SmackDown wrestlers too? It doesn't make sense to me, especially when Raw has plenty of main event stars who could hold the new world title. So for this Reese's Pieces, I have created a better tournament to crown the first ever World Heavyweight Champion. Pretty simple. Choose who you would like to see win the match and advance to the finals. Hey, Joel, do you want to make this a bit easier and come sit down for a little second? Yeah. <laughs> sure thing. Aww. Well, I can't, just, I can't do Reese's Pieces <laughs> with an even two number. Big, an even yeah, number, yeah, yeah it's, it's true, yeah. It's you be... don't want me. No, no, I didn't mind yeah. that at all. I was about to do a joke that relied upon my old, my just the previous Joe Rogan bit, and now it won't work. I was going to go, Hello. So, what are edibles like, Matthew? I've never done one. <laughs> ah. <laughs> have you seen it when they have. Um... There's smelling salts on Joe Rogan. No. Ooh. Well, they do them on the Yeah, on they do the them on the show. Probably. Oh, wow. I'm just like, whoa. Jesus. I want to do it. Hello, Joel. Hello. Hello. What's your hat say, by the way? It says, Dragon, Dragon New Warm Mountain, I Believe in You. Oh. Cool. What's that? An album. Oh, lovely. By who? Big Thief. 
Oh, I've done a big thing. I went to see him at the stage. Joel's the quite a hip nice lad man. when it comes to the music. Yeah, Sweet. it shows. So, round one. Dom versus Riddick. What? Moss. Riddick Moss. Yeah. Dom. Dom, Dom. <laughs> Why would you pick Riddick? Is this oh. for the world heavyweight yeah, title? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> JD McDonald Google Me versus Chad Gable. Chad. Yeah, Gable. Miz versus Apollo Crews. Crews. I'm going Miz. Bugger, it's me. Uh, Miz. Sorry. How are you finding it? Being on, the, being on the yeah yeah being on the other side Fantastic. of the camera yeah, yeah, yeah I know you've been on before for like a second yeah but yeah, yeah. I haven't sat here oh, this is like the main the position, hot seat yeah, yeah. yeah with great power comes great responsibility <laughs> Dexter Loomis versus Nakamura oh uh, Nakamura probably uh Loomis just because we haven't seen him in mm. these big matches uh I'll say Loomis wait why am I saying that that's a horrible pick Nakamura okay <laughs> oh. <laughs> what am I talking about? Uh, Giovanni Vinci versus Bronson Reed. Vinci. Oh, this is a close one. They're both good. I'll go Reed. Vinci. Vinci. Mint. Vinci. Gargano versus Odyssey Jones. I've got to be Odyssey. No, uh, Gargano. Yeah, How Gar- long is this bracket if, if Odyssey yeah, Jones has made it? I'm scared. Know, right? uh, we're getting there, Dory. What did you say? Gargano. What did you say? Gargano. Oh, oh, I'm go. scared about how long this bracket uh, is. Champa versus Tozawa. Ooh, that's actually... Isn't I it? bet they've probably had a class match in like 2009 or something. Gotta be Champa. Champa, yeah. But I bet they've had a, an amazing match in like I Dragon Gate like USA. Like type thing, yeah. oh, right. Ricochet versus Xavier Woods. Ricochet. Ooh, I said that too fast, I think. I think Matthew's yeah, going to cross. Yeah, tough, that. Mm. I'd go Ricochet as well. Mm. Oh, well, there we go. <laughs> All right. Dom versus Chad. All right, Ooh. now we're in the second round. It's um, exciting. I'll go Chad. Yeah. Okay. Miz versus Nakamura. Nakamura. Miz, you need a healer. No, yeah, Nakamura. Miz. Uh, I'm saying Miz. Yeah, oh, for the man. same reason. I think he's a great one of your things, yeah. Joe. The pressure's Vin- off. Yeah. Vinci versus Gargano. Gargano. Yes, Gargano, but it's closer than... Mm. I, don't, I haven't been a big fan of his raw stuff recently. I'd say Vinci's more of a tank guy anyway. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Champa or Ricochet? Champa. Champa. Because I can Does see where get... this is going. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Chad versus Miz. Chad. 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 And Gargano versus Champa. I'll go Champa. Yeah, Champa. Oh, Champa versus Chad. Chad. What a match. I know. Yeah. Um, Champa. Oh. What's up to you? See, I'm thinking, I don't want to offend you, but... No, no, you, I, I, will, I will not be offended. Already, by this point, I think. Yeah, but he's like, the, no, no, you're the video editor. You can just like take out all my lines. <laughs> I think we've booked a really good tournament here. Yeah. Um, Chad. Oh, it's a babyface ending. Yeah. And if fair you disagree, enough. you can shush, shush, please. Yes. Ah, well, that thank you very much for sending that in. Who was this? Oh, it says side note. I have a few friends who recently got me into wrestling, and they watched the History of WWE documentary you guys put out to get a better background of the WWE. Big Danny Heppel on there, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for all the consistently amazing content, Dylan Thomas from Tennessee. Thank, Thank you very Dylan. much, Dylan. We have lots of Tennessee yeah. writers in us. Are we big in Tennessee? <laughs> Ain't no buds like the Tennessee studs. Okay. So, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Hopefully, that's not offended them all. I think that's a slogan. Uh, yeah. yeah. Thank you very much. If you have any recent pieces to send to us? You can. Uh, mailbag at goalholic.com. It's in the spider up there. <laughs> Can we leave that in? <laughs> <laughs> it's Cultaholics. The question. Ah, what a lovely podcast. Ooh. And we still just a little time left to say thank you, thank you, thank you to the producers, Chris Roth. Ralph. Ralph. Mike Ralph? Staley. It's Ralph, because he because he rhymes with South. Yeah, yeah, Staley. Yeah. Reno 222 two, 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 and Noah Anderson. Anderson. Still good. Great fun. Isn't it great? Joel brings a more <laughs> chilled doing. vibe than Ross I've noticed here. Yeah. Uh, uh, she knows he can say anything and no one's going to bring it up. Aren't dynamics interesting? Yeah. They certainly are. Yes. Like the dynamics of the big question this week. <laughs> well done. What or oh, what or oh, what is the lad from Star Wars Episode 2 is going to be the main event match of AW All And in. one. What oh. Mm. Oh, he's in one as well. Just hasn't got a hat. Bollocks, you're in. Oh, hi. I keep, I've said that so often now. I forgot he's actually in a main part of episode one. Um, I Yeah, we're, we're, so there's been a lot of buzz recently about All In because it's it, the. I feel like people have talked more about how many tickets it has or hasn't sold 
than actual matches and stuff in AEW that are going on recently? I've got a mate who is, he likes wrestling, but he doesn't like AEW. But I don't realize he's one of those guys in real life, the only person I've met in real life who is like, I hope it fails. No. Like, I thought it was just people on Twitter, but he is actually like, he's one of those bots that Tony Khan keeps on talking he's about. He's a WWE loyalist. Because he's going like, they, they won't sell any tickets. I'm like, <laughs> not, not, they won't sell out Wembley. Mm. Is, they're not going to sell any. When it, they, what, they're going to sell five tickets. <laughs> what's like, wait a minute, what the hell? And then so when, when obviously so they did really good business, I was like, so I'm goes, yeah. how you doing? He goes, well, yeah, okay. He's, he's annoyed. He's and he, to he, he did me eye contact. I'm like, oh, you're a hater. He you're supports, a proud, proud hater. He supports WWE, the like football team. Yeah. Wow. I, 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 never I thought it was yeah, like weird. more of an American yeah. thing, that. Yeah. Wow. So I hope I meet an AW person who's like, I hate WWE. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There you go. Everything's in balance. Huh. So. But what should be the main event? Because there's been a lot of talk online. I hope the liquidators versus <laughs> Tony Khan's the main event. No, mate, maybe it's not that. I noticed, actually, I've caught... Oh, I shouldn't be saying this. I, I, I caught, uh, like, maybe a couple of years into AEW's existence. Yeah, yeah. On... Maybe on certain videos or just like after we'd recorded a video or whatever, I'd often catch Sam saying something like, oh, well, that storyline fails or stuff like that. I'd be like, and this was like early in AW when everyone just really wanted an alternative to do. And I was like, and then I'd sort of pull him up and I'd be like, what do you mean? He was like, no, and like, obviously I wanted to do well and stuff, but he'd do it quite a lot. And I was like, uh, is he a, a hater in disguise? I hope AW fails. Just kidding. Yeah, I'm like, ooh, what's happening here? Ooh. But then Sam's also like, I love CMLL and that. So you can't just be a WWE boy. Yeah. Why does he love CMLL? Let's love it. Let's love them all. Let's love everything. It's nice having Joe. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Joe has a different vibe. So recently there's been a lot of, lot of discourse online, like should it be an English person headlining all in or should it be... A lot of people have been saying Osprey, even though he's not really an AW guy, which led to a backlash of people saying like, it shouldn't be Osprey, it should be an AW. People are paying to go and see AW. Hmm. And then it led to the conversation... Would the English fans even care if it was an English person headlining? So my uh, first one I was going to... Yeah. Yeah, I know that's what I mean. Yes, they would. English person, AEW, really good. I know you're going to... Main event. Yeah. God, I thought there was somebody who fit the, the Venn diagram of all those lads. Pack. Yeah, versus them, Jeff? I don't care if he's fighting... That would be class. King Charles III, quite frankly. <laughs> uh, yeah, pack, pack, pack. Well, they like the title of matches to go on last usually, don't they? Yeah. Him so versus Orange be... Cassidy, just like Brett <laughs> yeah. versus Bulldog. So MJF will be in main event, I think, won't we? It's just Probably. Who, yeah, who he's going to face. Unless he loses it at double or nothing, but I don't think he's going to lose it at double or nothing. Could be Punk. Oh, MJF you Punk. You can't deny Punk in the main event of a pay-per-view. You can't True. deny. Would you rather... I oh, know because you really like Pac. He might be like your favourite wrestler, actually. He's one of them, yeah. Yeah. So you would choose Pac over CM Punk, wouldn't you? Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow. England. I'd yeah. choose Bad Bunny him. couldn't headline a hmm. WWE match. Are you match. Yeah. confusing yeah. England Rico. with Newcastle? But, but, hmm? Are you confusing England with Newcastle? I'm not confusing them, no. I'd like to see... They're in the same area. Would Pack have to win, <laughs> though? Say. Yeah, Pack would have to win for Matthew. Uh, yeah. what? Oh, unless it, unless it's like a heat maga like MGF, that's fine. Well, I can't take any more heartbreak. I guess it's like really Kip No, wait, again. after Drew and Sammy and Cody, I can't take any more heartbreak in these big baby face losses. Yeah, you're right. Wait, I don't want... Maybe I don't want Pack headlining because he's, <laughs> he's, he's probably going to lose. Yeah, yeah. Oh, lose, yeah. God, maybe point. Punk. <laughs> um, we're going to take... Yeah, you know what? Pack versus one of the guys from Bear Country, whatever those guys are called. Just to guarantee that he wins? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. It's then. a nice quick three-minute match. Yeah, <laughs> he, uh, they're not going on the thumbnail. <laughs> yeah. no. Also um, featuring, Pac. I think you could do a um, like a co-main event sort of thing. So, that, yeah, they do like the title going on last week. Jamie Hayter could be up there because she's English. Oh. Oh. And she's really good. And she's really and good. Really popular. Yeah. I actually forgot. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know who against. Soraya. Brit. So rare. Right. Rare. Right. Oh, the, the term happens. Yeah. Sometimes you forget there's so many bloody people on the roster, you forget who they actually uh, got and where they're from. Uh, yeah, that'll be a good show. Mm. Yes. Yeah. But then the match then. So Jimmy Hader. I have seen people speculate that they want to see Punk's crew, because obviously he's got to have a stable. Yeah. It's going to be AEW Succession, or whatever they're going to be bloody oh. calling it. Punk's, Punk's lads. Well, so Punk, FTR. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Punk, FTR, Miro, Thunder Rosa. Uh -huh. Taking on, I guess, a Tony w Khan. A team AEW. Yeah, <laughs> team like Tony how, Khan. Like how Shane was in Team WCW. Can Tony yes. be in Team AEW? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. He could do a coast-to-coast. -coast. He's a little guy. He could fly. That would be a good I don't way. Know if he's little. Uh, he's not. 
he's a normal sized guy. He's, 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 taller, he's taller than me, so he's a giant. You met him? No, I've just seen pictures of him oh. and seen him next to other wrestlers and got oh, okay, he's that big. Right, why are you booking Tony Khan in the main event? No, no, that's genius. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's terrible. Yeah. And the thumbnail as well. Yeah. Thinking of yeah. the thumbnail. Oh, people don't want to pictures of Tony Khan in the thumbnail. <laughs> we just say Rhea Ripley could be in the main event, so she should be in the thumbnail. Again. No, unfortunately not. Is that, is that track record not working anymore? <laughs> oh, no, it still works. You just I'm can't do it every it week, can you? Let's find out. <laughs> it's bullshit. No, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, I can see them doing a multi-man match and having... Well, maybe even a body person again. Uh, actually, there's so many people on the roster. Yeah, people are. in different matches. But then pleasing all the quotas. A multi-man match with Punk and Pac. Yeah. And, I don't know, Moxley yeah. and Just Danielson. All the big stars. Yeah. Yeah. And Kenny Maker's on the outside just giving away stuff. Have you seen rumours that Nigel McGuinness might be involved somehow? Well, it's just him tweeting yeah. going, ooh, I might be showing up. And it's like, all right, that'll oh. be nice. It'll just be nice to... for him to have a moment. Yeah. It would be nice. It's it's not like the main draw of the show, though, is he's not making us do a thing. It's, oh, I just imagine a pop, Brian Danielson's yeah. about to do something unscrupulous, so he runs out and grabs his arms. So it's like, oh, no, it was him doing it to Nigel, wasn't it? The In the ring, that was a silly spot, actually. It's hard to watch, isn't it? Yeah, why did they do that? That was in Liverpool. It was. Liverpool. History making. Liverpool. You support Liverpool. I do. But you're from Leeds. It's mad, isn't it? That's crackers, <laughs> that. <laughs> Why'd you be, why did you support Liverpool then if you're not from My America? dad did. Oh, is fair. he from Liverpool? No. I, uh, they were just I good always in ask the him 80s. and I can't remember <laughs> the reason why yeah. he supports him. Oh, fair I enough. need to ask him again. Okay. But yeah, that's the reason why. Fair so, enough. I remember asking my dad why he supports Newcastle because it's on their God's team. God's <laughs> team. He's an atheist as well. So I don't know <laughs> fair play. Quite a lot of Liverpool fans in the office. Three? No. There's a lot. Not anymore. Jack Atkins. Moved away. Still works with us. Moved away. Moved to Merseyside. That's how much he loves the bloody football. He yeah. does, more yeah. than us. Yeah, he does. I don't know how that works. God. Fair play. I miss him. I'll miss him too. Have you been watching Succession? Because you mentioned it earlier. Not I might the, avoid spoilers. Not the most recent it? season. I've watched no. a few episodes oh, of season one and then I stopped. I've been too busy it's, watching Barry. Barry is also fantastic. Oh my God. Such good tell you. I love this ending of the podcast. Just what you watching with it? Joel's got the same energy I bring where it's like, I'm bored of this now. <laughs> I just noticed you mentioned Succession earlier. I was like, oh, it's, it's oh, wait, so bollocks. Good. I've been calling it AW Succession. That's not the name of the show, is it? I thought you were no. just joking. <laughs> I appreciate I thought, that Jack knows us so well. It's the chemistry no, we no, have. I just I've called you... it the wrong show. Because <laughs> of all the infighting, I thought you were just... <laughs> That's right. It was a deliberate yeah, mistake. It, it, it was a poon. It's like, yeah. <laughs> Play on words, bastard. What's it really called? I don't know, but you've like, Collision. it's like when someone <sighs> nearly, it's like when someone <laughs> nearly botches and then lands on their feet. And, oh, yeah, go. I need the crowd to go, way. Hmm. You know what? AW Succession was a deliberate joke. I'm so smart. Can we have, um, what's he called? The senior Roy in the corner of the thumbnail as well. Just, yes. Yeah, just looking and yeah. 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 Can we have Brian <laughs> Cox maybe make an appearance at all in? Because he's British. Brian Cox? The guy yeah. who's in Succession. And the professor. Oh. I, mean, I thought you meant Professor. And Louis Oh, a Brian Cox in every corner. <laughs> well, two. Cox in every corner. Yeah. And with that. With you know what? That's yeah. a good way to end it. Cox in every corner. Jack, apart from that lovely pun, what have you got for us <laughs> until next week, mate? Not a lot. Um, I've been, because uh, I've been, I've not been back very long. I've just been getting back caught up on everything that's been going on. So, uh, Twitch every Wednesday, but not this week because I felt a bit poorly which is a shame but me and Owen will be back twitch.tv forward slash cultaholic every Wednesday from 6pm um, and I, I, I assume we'll be doing lots of content in the build up to like Double or Nothing and Night of Champions and all that stuff this month quite a busy end to the month mm. Mm. fantastic Joel what have you got for us um, oh, sorry. And, oh, my, and, and my matches of the month <laughs> podcast even though it's a bit late because I was off my matches of the month for April will be out shortly on the audio feed too beautiful Joel you may speak uh, well, I've been editing a list for the past few months, but I don't know if it's been announced yet. And I don't like want to long... spoil anything. Oh. Yeah, it's all okay, yeah. So that's exciting. It'll be out soon. Were you I think, sick of it by the end? I'm sick of it now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get you on something different. Yeah. Sorry about that. You've got cool glasses, by the way. I've just noticed them. Thank you. Yeah. So often we oh, get this man. this close. So. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. wanted to do this on a podcast, and then I, I was off last week. I was going to ask you to rank every producer we've had on the podcast from your least favorite. To favorite. What the behind the camera yeah I think you'd be like second That's, you can't do that uh, wait a minute, what do you mean like you... I think you'd have Andrew Joel, oh no it's gotta be R Tubman Tubman no he's Tubman he started to resent him because of the segment and then the no, bottom the I think segment. would definitely be Dan the definitely. only reason <laughs> I would rate any of them slightly low because they're all great 
but do you want that to my answer? It was sometimes I got a Tubman, like Tubman, I think that camera's a bit off shot, and he go, ha, ha, ha. I'm like, <laughs> no, no, I'm not taking the mic. It's, it's, but he was just like, oh, I thought you I think I had this filter where I go, no, Joe, I'm, I'm not, I, I'm not trying to do your job. I'm just saying I that. Thought you and he like, would just laugh. <laughs> me. I thought you didn't like Dan because he'd replaced too. Andrew, who I assumed was your fave. And then when he Dan no, started, everybody hears when Dan started doing it, and I thought you'd be like, and, oh, Andrew, oh, I didn't, I didn't like that. You're you not, Andrew. you're not no. Andrew. <laughs> Andrew didn't do it for long, did he? Though? No, no, no. Yeah. I can remember Andrew doing it. To be honest with you, no, not really. Not. Pacitti's also technically done it right at the start oh, course, as well. Yeah. Don't know where he'd be in the list. Well, that was good because him saying just constantly cut. No, Matthew, don't do that. Joke. <laughs> Every three seconds, we I still not get. I it. just remember him on the roving camera on that weird setup we like had at the Kubrick. start. Yeah, 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 I was. Oh, yeah, I'm true. glad it's become less like that. Hey, Pacini, what should we do for this bit? I've no idea. Just make it up as you go along. Great, we'll do it that way then. <laughs> it is a, amazing we've pro progressed the level. Got recommended got. a YouTube channel recently, which I'm not sure what to make of it, but it was. It's called Turd Towns. <laughs> Sounds which great. is. A guy, <laughs> <laughs> which is a guy going around from county to county. Because the reason I saw it first was because I just saw it pop up and it caught my eye because it was the worst places to live on the Isle of Wight. And I shared it with, I was oh, like, Pacini, look. Pacini was like, yeah. but they've done, And he was verifying whether it was accurate choices or not. Because, but it turns out it's not just the Isle of Wight. He's done it, for, it seems to be going through county by county. So it's like Somerset, Devon, but it's all southern ones at the minute. If he keeps doing his channel long enough to get up here, I'm so curious to see the Tyne and Weir edition or the Ooh. County Durham edition for yourself. Ooh. Ooh. If Bish is on there, you're going to kick off. Absolutely. No, no, unless he goes to Shield and says worse. Okay, fine. Fair but it was, um, there is that website that rates, people give their you know, re user reviews of places in England, right, yeah. think of it. And it's amazing. Some of those places. It's like, <laughs> play, I don't know, Huddersfield, the place that God forgot. It was just of people's reviews. At first, just... I thought the guy doing it was a bit snobby because he's got he's a bit posh or southern certainly, and it's him going oh, like I beg him to come it's him off. going like look at this rubbish place. But actually, when you listen to what he's saying, he's just very honest. He says this place is a bit shabby. There's not it's not easy for people to buy houses here. Do you think that they should ban? The two property things. So I think he's got good. I think he's good at heart. I think his heart's in the right place. I don't. But it's called turd. Turd it's called towns. <laughs> <laughs> but it's him going around to the worst bits of every county. So heart's in the right place. I don't know. Yeah. I, I think because a lot of them he's the saying like, of turd. He says like <laughs> this place has got a bad reputation, but I thought it was fine. Like he says that sort of stuff. So, be, if he comes a bishop, like I've been places alright. Probably well, people chasing him, me out the town. I'm imagining him, him, him in the West End going around going like, "What do you think of this place?" Oh, yeah, I know. Nothing against the West End of Newcastle. No, I'm, I'm living there right Because they'll now. come for me. There's the good bits and the bad bits. All right, fair enough. I'm the good bit. Oh, you? Yeah, if I'm here, then it's just all bad. Um, <laughs> so, what have I got for us? Uh, bugger all after Why, that. what have you got? Um, no, what are you doing Bret, on no Bret Hart book this Sunday because it's my mate's birthday. And we've got a Pizza Punks. Oh, lovely uh, place. It's to be the number one thing that UK journalists will do in wrestling to do a pizza this week. And I will be oh, no, getting ready mind. for the sign the podcast. Uh, gee, idiot. Sonic the Comic Convention. That is Sonic the Comic Convention? <laughs> yes, there's a... Sonic the Comic was a little old comic from... Bastard. It's a 30th year of anniversary. Nice. Which I just can't get my head around. Is Tom going as well? Because he likes Sonic. Yes, he is. He's, ah, like, right. gonna say. he's like the mayor of Turd Town for that event. So, <laughs> um, so yeah, just be going to that. And I guess I'll publicise it. Just I'll just be going after a good old time, I guess. Fair enough. Nice. That's good. Sounds good. Yeah. It makes it look like I'm doing work when I'm not doing work. Yeah. <laughs> I won't be doing that, but I will be having a good time. Sod Oh, man. Oh, I'm oh, start, yeah. I was trying to think, what am I doing this weekend? Sunderland have made the playoffs and I'm terrified. Against all yeah. odds. <sighs> yeah. With your young team. They're like 22, average age. It's Rugrats. disgusting. <laughs> it's really not nice. Have you got Luton? Luton? No. Luton, yeah. Is it Luton? Yeah. Oh, who finished third, though? Oh, so scared. <laughs> But if we make it somehow to the Premier League, the team's not ready for that. We'll finish 20th easily. They ain't Question, got, they ain't got Nathan you... Jones anymore. <laughs> Which might be a good the, thing. The Undertaker's apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is a good thing. He's terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Palmer, WWE world champion. No, yeah. Um, yeah. But there's a question. You've obviously been a very, very proud Sunderland fan. Sunderland. Do you... <laughs> what's your opinion on Jimmy Hill? How do, you know about, how, do you, how do you know about this? I was just reading it up the other day. So I didn't realize that another one of the, the Sunderland fans still hate him. So another one of the RIP. So another one of the teams. He is dead now. So I think it's softened a bit since he passed away because right, right, right. you can't be like that about a dead person. Yeah. But um, you can. You know what they say? <laughs> speak ill of the dead. Yeah, exactly. That's what I thought, famously, what you, they you, say that, Joel. So, so good. You should say. So that. another one of the teams <laughs> in the Donald. another one of the teams <laughs> in the playoffs is Coventry, who I think was who Jimmy Hill was with at the time. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So he was either what, like I don't know if he was their manager or just some figure in the team. 
And there was a last game of the season once. This is like going back to like the 80s, the 70s, mm. where it was like Sunderland and Coventry battling to stay up. And he deliberately delayed kickoff in Coventry so they knew what the score was ahead of time. Oh, wow. Because you know all the games went to kick yeah, off at the same time yeah, last yeah, and he delayed yeah. it. Got news that Sunderland were losing and they just sat back and, and drew just and to, sent oh, us wow. down. And That's Sunderland genius. have never forgiven Jimmy Hill for yeah, that. Genius! It's pretty Boom. good. <laughs> yeah, how dare you use good then, strategy? Yeah, there man. was footage of him decades later at the Stadium of Light probably giving it to the Sunderland. They're all going, oh, you are. And he's oh, just I've been told about that. He's just waving. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Is that when they brought Jermaine Defoe at the arena? At the WWE House Show. Oh, yeah. The yeah, week yeah. after he'd scored the winner against Newcastle. I was like, what are you <laughs> oh doing? Oh, my God. Oh, he got booed. It's risky business. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, Americans are like, hey, he's local. He'll get. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, I think Defoe knew what he was doing because he's smiling and waving. Oh, yeah, but yeah, I don't know yeah, if yeah. WWE. Classic we should end the podcast. Right? We yeah. should. We're very sorry. We've gone off the rails slightly, but we're having such a good time. Mm. Four hours in the woods. So thank you very much. Patreon.com forward slash called the Holic for all <laughs> so the dramatic. Show, for the Hall of Fame <laughs> picks and you were like Job from um, Arrested yeah, That's exactly what it was. My illusion. <laughs> <laughs> and mail back at callholic.com for all the questions, Reese's pieces, and, com and, com and complaints. This has been Jack. This has been Joel. This has been myself. This has been Pubba Jack. This Big has up been Ross. This has been cancelled Taz. <laughs> so you'll be working next week, I guess. Um, how we on the show was point at that and saying something, but what do we do here? Like, what do we share? Oh, Jimmy man. Hill. No, oh, I can't. I can't. Ah, okay, fair enough. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, no. Oh, what's the first lyric of the Bad Bunny song you brought down? Shambaya Halla. Shambaya Halla. Three, two, one. Shambaya Halla. I don't know the next line. That's it. It's all, good. It's all you're getting. Bye. Bye. Adios.